What's up, Green Nation? Come here! What's up, Ron? What's happening, man? What's happening? It's brew nation time, y'all. Saturday, go brew some beer. Today we're gonna brew a mango IPA. Hope y'all are doing well. It's been a while since I've been around, a couple of weeks, I guess. So we're getting ready to uh, start some water, getting hot. Get some water hot. Hi, hi boo. What kind of, uh, so what's the name of this? Tango the Mango. Hey, I love it. Tango the Mango, man. man. Tango the Mango. Tango the Mango. So those are five gallons? Yep. Just making sure I made a fatal, fatal error last time. What'd you do last time? Well, two fatal errors, really. Uh, I used these uh, Deer Park. Hold on. Uh, oh. Yeah, you can open that up. Um, I used these Deer Park, what I thought were gallons, uh -huh. and they were three quarts. Oh. So I got ten of them, so I was short a little liquid, and then I uh, burnt myself, man. I, you burned yourself? Yeah, dude. Okay, so listen. What did you do, man? Last time I tried to clean this, yeah. right? Uh-huh. I took this off, uh -huh. right? This tripod. And then I tried to separate this part from this part. I could not for the life of me. Yeah. Right? So, but then after I was done cleaning it, when I was putting everything back, because this was stuck on so hardcore to this, I forgot to put this tri clamp back on. And I didn't notice because I installed this and nothing. You know, I'm, I'm, I was like, you know, I'm wrestling with this when I'm putting on this tri clamp when I was setting up the whole equipment, but this one was missing. So I start the, I start the pump to do the sanitary thing of all the hot, super boiling liquid, right? Yeah. And then I see it start to drip from right in here. And I'm all looking and I'm like, the hell is that? And it was like, and I was like, and I burnt the hell out of my hand. And Dude, are you okay? Yeah, fine. I see your hand. Damn, bro. Yeah, <laughs> hot liquid's no joke, man. Yeah, no, it was, it was not a fun time. I had to spend a lot of time making sure that this floor wasn't sticky. Yeah, I bet, man. Yeah. But uh, safety first. Safety first, man. Yeah. Is it beer yet? Is it beer yet? What's up, Brown? Good time, Brewmeister. Hey. Are we doing well, man? How are you? Welcome into the stream. We're uh, we're making Tango the Mango IPA today. It's gonna be awesome. We're, uh, so what we're are we doing at with it, this? We're coming at it from a couple of different angles. Okay. We're, we're gonna be using, um, as you can see, uh, a Tango is two thing two two entities coming together and and dancing this this like passionate thing right and not i didn't choose that just because it rhymes with mango of course i did but um you know uh really the, yeah i know right <laughs> really? i was thinking about a tango before i was thinking about mangoes <laughs> but uh yeah mango ipa and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's gonna be uh, a fun time. Uh, basically, it's a merger of like two styles of beer uh, together, uh, and then uh, the hop choices that I made are uh, exclusively pointing towards the tropical mango fruit. Uh, Sweet. Yeah, that that angle. So we're not so, putting any fruit in here. Uh, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about adding a mango addition, but a very small one. Like, take a slice of Do mango. You have mangoes? Yeah, they're in the store. I checked. I, you, dude, I checked. You, you can. Oh, you're talking about in like secondary or something? What are you? Yeah, like oh, okay. what I was gonna do is I was gonna cut a quarter out of one. Not even a whole mango, dude. I was gonna cut a quarter out of one. Uh, kind of mash it with some water and sugar. You should do the whole thing, man. No, we I'm made a mistake kidding. about that I'm last kidding, time. Dude, chill. What, yeah, with the. Uh, <laughs> Relax, yeah, 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 you know. You know. Hey. But um, but yeah. So mango IPA, yes. Yeah, that's so, what we're doing, Brahms. Yeah, the the uh, the main hop that we're going to be using, the ninety minute hop, is Azaka. Ooh. And uh, that is a mango forward uh, stylage of hoppage. Mango forward hoppage. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, what's our grain bill look like today, right. Mang? Uh, it's, it's pretty simple. We're going to be using what we've got. Uh, we've got two row. We've got uh, an Irish pale malt that's a little less modified than most malts. And then we've got a little bag of Maris Otter. Uh, we're going to be using more two row than... You putting any specialty grains in there? Uh, you know, I was figuring uh, because I wanted the hop to shine, I, I wasn't going to really make it too malty. I figure I wanted a clean, crisp body with a nice hop finish. You don't finish. want to put any crystal in there or anything? Color? Cause well, you're, I mean, you're we, could, we could break out the mystery bin and pull from the many Let's do unmarked it, bags Let's that do are... It. <laughs> Let's do that. Hey, what's Come up, Bear okay. Bear? Okay. What's, yeah, up? Yeah, what's up? Yay, beer! Uh, hey, so it's Saturday. Me and my brother are getting ready to brew some... Some mango IPA. Oh, El Pusher Man auto hosting for six viewers. Thank you so much, man. Hey. Appreciate that. That's super nice of you. We always appreciate you. How you doing? The auto host. Oh, come on. Yeah, the mango taste will be mostly from hops. That is yeah. correct, Brahms. Yep. yep, you got it. Let's break out the... What do we got this in here? This is a mystery bin. This no, is there's some of that stuff's marked. No, it's all marked. I want one that someday that it's all just unmarked. You know, just go to the local brewery and our homebrew store and, and just get all. Oh, there's flies in there. Oh, dude, uh, we got. Oh, uh, we can't use that. Nope. Nope. Yep, we cannot use any of that. Fucking shame. Well, I'll just throw this stuff out. Well, that's a shame. Well, that is a shame. A lot of the screen is from 2000. Hey, Lance! Slave of Hell! Hype, hype, hype! Mm. Oh, Jubilane! What's up, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we. Well, that's. The, the uh, grain has some. Uh, looks like meal. Like some of those meal flies in it. A lot of that grain is from 2015. It's old. Yeah, yeah, a lot of that grain is old. Nader. Hey, Nader! Yo, what's happening? Hey, you know. Hi. Our main, our main grain is not flied up. High pipe? No. I can guarantee you that. You sure? Oh, yeah. Let's open this up. Grain storage is a big deal, y'all. Yeah, there ain't not, there's not a single one in there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah grain storage is a big deal. Uh, slave, we are doing well, sir. How are you? Hopefully, uh, everything's chill for you over in Europe right now. Ooh. Yeah. That's a nice shirt, dude. Hey. I like the I like the color. Like I have a a gray one that's like that, but it's like you got that navy blue going on. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Broken Planet. Good morning. Good to see you, man. How you doing? How you doing? So uh, we still could use some crystal though, if you want. Dude, dude, we're in it together. Color. I made it's this just, recipe. Crystal would just be you for can, color, you man. Can, for real, dude. Yeah. You know, we should we use can... some like C60 or something. Let's just a do little it. Bit. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we this should... isn't a strict recipe. No, man, we just have fun. Kind of came you know, up with that on the fly. Just yeah. doing it. Yeah, I just came up with that on the fly. What is that? Oh, that's a lemon. Ooh, a thing. zester. Yeah, that's a zester. A zesta. Yeah, like, I, I, I wanted to go a all the way. A zesta for you, zesta. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Right. You were like, what is that? What is this? Yes. What is it? <laughs> all right. They are just going doing it to get drunk. That is, of course. You guys brew in the garage, starting up a business, or just for fun? Um, we have a plan. It's kind of gotten a little bit derailed. Hey, who you know? Because that's my fault. Um, I'm going through some stupid crap in my life, but anyway, uh, I'm here and we're doing the thing. Yeah, there. So we do have a plan um, oh, to yeah. try to make this something bigger and get this beer into the hands of people. Uh, yeah, but yeah. we do do it for fun. Hey, we do do. We do it for fun. Um, hey, Ink, what's going on? Uh, the other thing is, is yeah. So we we. We brew in the garage. Brewing in a garage, something special about brewing in a garage. Yep. It's like, you know, I, we... This I, garage is especially nice. It is nice. It's a nice it's, garage It's wide and in. open and, and lots of space. The last garage we were in was like, uh, pull the walls out like two and a half, three feet this way. Yeah, it was pretty small. <laughs> it was a lot smaller, actually. It's a nice looking garage. Yes. <laughs> It is. It's a nice looking garage. 
All right, well let's uh let's get some malt. You know, let's get make some grist, man. All right. Yeah. Let's grind some malt up, dude. Yeah. Let's do that thing. I imagine mango will go well with like galaxy or mosaic. Yep. Uh, we're using uh, are we? What are we using? Azaka and what other hops? Here, I'll just give the recipe. Yeah. I'll just do the recipe. Oh, did you pick up alcohol, by the way? Alcohol. Alcohol. Like alcohol, like ISO. No, I thought you meant like beer. No. That's what I thought you meant, man. No, Sorry, I saw I alcohol. Yeah, we oh, out. Do we need it? No. No, not really. It's star sand. Yeah, I'm planning star sand. What are you, what are you doing with that? Uh, man, these rollers don't look so nice. Alright, hold on. Yeah, I was gonna... Make notes. Azaka, Cascade, and Rio. Chinook, and Cryo, Cascade. Damn, sounds pretty damn good, man. Yeah, these, this roller does not look good, dude. Look at this. Ah, it's just grain, man. You sure? Yeah, it's fine. It's just, it's just pummeled grains. You like pummeled grain? I do like pummeled grain. Pummeled grain! We must pummel Lord, the pummeled grain. grain. They sent us here to pummel the grain, and we will pummel it. You will go to Castle Pummel Grain. <laughs> <laughs> there at Castle Pummel Grain, you will find... <laughs> oh, wait, somebody, what happened? Oh, yeah, we got a... donation! Two lanes! Oh, oh hey, hey, bring hey. that bell! Oh! Thank you very much, man. Appreciate I, that. I have to fix this. I have to fix... Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, appreciate that, man. That's really nice of you. Um, how have the Four Seasons meads turned out? Oh, they... Okay, so the summers are gone. Um, the summer uh, apparently didn't finish fermenting. Right, I bottled it too quick. And they they popped. <laughs> Boop. Yeah, they popped. Um, which was lucky because of the location that they popped. It. I didn't... You were know, they, were, they were in here, right? Yeah. How can you taste our beer? Uh, you have to use your imagination. You, or just imagine or like you the, can come on down. Yeah, you can come on down. Maybe, or you can come on down. Yeah, we, we can't distribute. We can't really... I mean, we could yeah. give it away, but it's... You know, we can't really mail it. Nope. So, uh, meet gotta, them in the... That is right, Slade. You can meet us in the garage. We would be more than happy to have you all right. come over. He's still alive. We need to store this grain a little better, I guess. This stuff's good. Any of these these BPA containers are like almost air sealed. Okay. Where is this fabled garage? We're from Asheville, North Carolina. Asheville. Asheville. Oh man, guys, one month till TwitchCon. God. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get. Uh, Pummeled today, I know it. People are gonna be like, "Where are we gonna go to TwitchCon?" You know? We <laughs> oh, you're in Florida? Cool, oh. man. Cool, gummy bear. Dude, get out of my face. Yeah, we we are. Low pummel grain. Yes. <laughs> no, this is Mount Pummel Grain. Mount Pummel Grain. Yeah. Yeah, one month till TwitchCon. <laughs> yeah, Gummy Bear, how are the hurricanes? Did it mess up your place? I hope not. Hey, Bud from AVL. Good to see you, too. Appreciate it. I had a recent experience with bottle bombs, apparently, from my last homebrew. I didn't distribute the priming sugar and got one bottle bomb and 23 flat beers. That feels bad, man. Yeah, that feels bad. Feels bad, man. You know, uh... We, we don't get paid or, or we're not on any commission or we don't are affiliated with um, Blickmon and there's other companies that make these things too but uh, you might want to consider uh, carbonating your beer like with a, a, for, a forced carbonation 
and then bottling with something like a, a last straw or whatever the other equivalent that's is. That's hard if you just bottle, though, if you don't keg at all. Oh, just yeah, that's it. right. You yeah, really that's really to hard to do. Yeah. Snapshot. Oh, man. Oh, man. In there. Oh, you know, yeah, Gummy, good to hear that you uh, had fun in Nashville for that little bit. 6.5 million back. Yeah, I saw that. There was that funny meme going around, too, with that one person that was driving the other direction and was like, forgot my weed. <laughs> it's funny, man. Come on, laugh. Wow. 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 <laughs> All right, man. Come on. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just trying to do a balancing act, man. It's been a while since I was in the circus. You were born in the circus. <laughs> <laughs> Next to an elephant. Next to an idiot. All right. All right. We're gonna go with a thousand grams of Maris Otter. We'll just do that first. Okay. Mango, what's up, Mr. Monkey? What's happening, man? Mango beer, yep. Uh, actually, we're gonna have to. I did not think when I went to the store. Well, you do. I got a pound instead of two pounds. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, you just have to modify that. Yeah. Let's pour some C60 in there. That's what we're substituting for. Well, that's not base grains, but stay right there. All right, so we're going to add. Let's say it's five. Yeah. Let's do, let's do six. So this is 150 grams. Yeah. Oop, there we go. Cool. Okay. And then uh, this is this is two row, and we're gonna put two row. We're, we're gonna put 4,000 grams of two row. Oh really? Yeah. Is the gap on this mill set okay? Yeah. Okay. It should be. And then somebody came in at the in the night and was like, "Someone came in the night." They were like, "It always happens in the night." Run, man, get more. Yeah, we are just kind of winging it today. Oh, 2,000. Oh, 2,000. Yeah, 2,500 almost. Mm -hmm. Probably get three in there. Yep. Eight. Nine. There we go. All right. So that's 3,000 grams of two row. Yep. This is a big old grain bill, man. What do you, what do you, how much of that Irish caramel are you putting in there? Uh, you know, it's actually really not too big of a grain bill for the amount of water we're using. Or for our efficiency, let's say it that way. Nice, sweet IPA, yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, so hold on. Everybody, just anyone with headphones on right now, this is your fair warning. We're giving you like a, a 10 hold second. On, we can just turn ours down. You can just turn the mics down. Oh, yeah, that's true. We're I was like. turn the mics down a little bit. Hold on, hold on. So, yeah, we're we, we going to grain, we're going to mill the grain.
Okay, so uh, we are having some problems with the uh, with the mill. Uh, it's dirty, so we've got to clean this mill. <laughs> yeah, it uh, the bottom roller is uh, really chunked up, so it's not turning, so we can't get anything through it. But it happens. Here we go. We're gonna give it a good toothbrush. Yeah, where's the star sign? We'll just we'll just give it that really good nice go. Clean that mill. <laughs> So what are you bitches up to this weekend? Anybody got anything good going on? What's the matter, man? Hose first, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but first. Hose first, bro. Ugh. Yeah. As long as the roller motor doesn't burn out, yeah, this this shouldn't. It's a it's a pretty nice drill. Little momento, so a second. Low low speed, high torque. Pressure washer time. What's up, refresh rate nine thousand? Yeah, what are you doing? Can you give me that toothbrush under here. Yeah. Installing solar panels on the boat to be more off the grid. Sweet, man. That's a pretty good uh, thing to do this weekend. It's sustainable. Yep. Good refresh rate. Glad you're doing well. We're fighting our, mo our mill right now. Although this mill has been way better than the last one we had. The last one we had was... It was a really great design. Like the rollers were really nice because they were instead of being like knurled, they were actually machined. Um, but the damn thing just never worked. I mean, it was a piece of crap. And so, um, the we got we bought one and it worked for a while and then it quit. And then we bought well, we didn't buy. We had another one shipped to us because that one was still supposed to be covered under warranty because they had a design flaw in the first series or whatever. And then we had that one, and it worked okay for maybe a week, and then boop, it was dead too. So, how's it going there? Just fine. You good? Yeah. Yep. Okay. It's gonna work now. I guarantee that. Sweet. I'm excited. Cool, man. Catching up on work in the office. Sweet. Breakfast stuffs, potato skins, bacon, egg, pepper. Dude, why you, why you gotta do this to me, man? I'm so hungry. I'll trade you, man. I'll trade you beer for for some breakfast stuff, potato skins, bacon, egg, pepper cheese. Dang, man. That sounds really good. I had to, I had a drink. What 
did I do with my drink? What did I do with my drink? Damn it! Yeah, that looks so much better. And it's sweet. And it actually turns. Will you, uh, will you help me? Help you with what? No! <laughs> hold this, just hold it. Okay. Yeah, that looks gross, dude. What? Look, oil. Oil? Yeah, see that, that black stuff? That's oh. oil. You're gonna have to wipe this thing down. That's what I'm doing. Deep down, I'm a villain. Nah, you just know the way to my heart. Harvey! <laughs> Harvey! I'm not wearing hockey pants! Ooh, sharp edges on this thing. Man, you got to be careful, man. You're accident prone these days. No, no. no. Burn yourself? Oh, no, yeah, that was just a. That was a rookie mistake, Brian. You burned yourself? Ooh. Sure? Oh. Positive? Oh yeah. You wanna bet money on it? No. Sorry, I don't have any money. <laughs> I love money. I like money too. We should totally hang out. I can't believe you like money. I can't believe. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> We fixed the mill! And now we'll get back to mill cam, y'all, because I love that part of this. So what else mill what else you gonna put in here, brother? This Irish mill. Uh, I got a thousand more of this uh this two row here to measure out and then I'll measure out like uh Five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand. No cap. Yeah, it gotta, works. You gotta turn down the mics before we kill somebody. You know? I like that. Yeah. That was like one of my favorite purchases I've ever made from the, the flea market. Yeah, that bell. All right, we're turning the mic down. Got it off.
So there's a thousand grams of two row and uh, two thousand grams of Irish pale. Yeah. This is a monster mill. Yeah, this is a monster mill. A monster mill. It was a monster mill. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> oh yeah. Woo! Yeah, that's it. Fire. That's that's it. Light us. Light us. On fire? This is a moissanite. A what in light? Moissanite. Not real. Not genuine. A fake. It is worth suckle. <laughs> It looks like cereal. It looks like a really dank cereal. It smells really good. Will grain on fire? Yes, grain will on fire. Yes. Yes, grain will on fire. Yeah, pretty bad too. That's why granary fires are the worst. Sugar is the worst. This camera. Oh, that's... How's everybody been? That's I'm better. You know who's here tonight? Celine Dion. But I'm better. <laughs> uh, what are we up to? I love that. That's such a good episode. We are up to one forty. One forty. We're hitting for one seventy usually because we do end up losing some. Uh... No, we we need like one sixty. Really? I usually go with 168, somewhere around there, and then it always uh, uh, doubles down. <laughs> it doubles down. Yeah, it doubles down. It doubles uh, down on the 17? Yeah. <laughs> Let's give this a little stir here. Yeah. Kind of that nylon's degassing.
Dude, that's baller. Yeah. Ballin'. Stay high. No lie. Oh, yo. Notice. Yo, Jade Silk, welcome to the Brew Nation. Thank you so much for joining. I forgot to uh, get to you there. And Lika, yo, Lika. Lika 80. Yo, what's going on? Welcome to the Brew Nation. Everybody yeah, welcome boy. these two. Oh, yeah. Everybody welcome these snapshot two people. To the Brew Nation. Everybody treat them really well. Yeah. Welcome to the Brew Nation. Welcome to the family. Hey, hey. Thank you, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, best new beer that I found recently. Uh, you know, I haven't actually gone out and bought beer recently because I have four kegs of beer in the fridge. Yeah, so, I know. Um, you know, I, I, I can't say... Uh, I know which beer I want to try, and it's Stones. Uh, they've got an IPA out right now that's like, <laughs> it's, uh, it's supposed to be like the juiciest IPA ever. And... Uh, yeah, I've, I haven't gotten to try it yet, but uh, I did try some beer the other day that I still have some left uh, of, and it's a uh, Hop Knife by Trogues, and uh, it's interesting. It's a very piney beer, very pine, you know. Um, it's piney, <laughs> you know. That's that's all I can say about it. I don't want to say it's a good beer. I don't want to say it's a bad beer. It's just very, very hop forward pine. Oh, yeah, boy. Cool. 142, we're almost there. You got about 20 some degrees to go. So, uh, um, so I didn't actually get a chance to try this beer, but, um, so, uh, well, I, Scott I kind of told him about this, but it's always good to repeat. Always. So, S Scott and I actually entered, um, the, sl our Slow Day, uh, NEIPA into a, uh, homebrewing competition. We didn't place, um, in the top three, um, which was a little disappointing, but, uh, from what I understand, there was some really there was some really interesting brews of this thing, and one of them, which I am I've never had it, but I heard really good things about it. It was a New England dry hop saison. Ooh. So followed the sort of you know um, first Krausen uh, dry hopping schedule of, of an IPA, but instead they used saison yeast and a in a more saison centric hmm. grain bill. So I heard so you get, it came like the, out really you get well. the fruitiness of the wild yeast, but you also get the fruitiness of the hops in there. That sounds mm -hmm. pretty good. Sounds pretty. Dumb Somebody good. else did a, a white stout, which looked like and it just looked like a pale ale, or it was a lot lighter than that, I guess. Um, but apparently, it had like massive coffee flavor in it without looking like a stout. Hmm. Uh, somebody else did. Um, what was the other one that I was really interesting? Uh, it was called Firkin Gherkin. Firkin Gherkin. And so a Firkin is uh, traditionally it's um, it's like pub ales where um, they're not uh, dispensed under carbonation pressure. They're dispensed under air pressure, and they use a, uh, a cool. No, it's a, a beer engine is what it's called, and it's like the old style you know pubs where they have the the tap where they have to continually keep pumping it, yeah. and they have a dip tube that goes down with a sparkler on the end, and so the the vessel that's called a gir, uh, it's called a firkin. A firkin. It's a, called a firkin. Mm -hmm. And then um, the gherkins. This guy made this beer that um, was made with pickles. Ugh. And I heard it was really good. Ugh. I mean, I'll, I'll bet you it's probably pretty good with whiskey. Firkin gherkin. The firkin gherkin. Oh, the firkin gherkin. Yeah. Firkin gherkin gherkin. <laughs> yeah. I heard it was pretty good though. It sounds pretty good. Pickle. I can I can understand cucumber beer, that nice cool like watery kind of like a watermelon fruity. Yeah. Firkin gherkin. Yeah, firkin gherkin. Yeah. No, I think it's um F I R K, E N, and then gherkin is G E R K I N, gherkin. Can you use gherkin that is a in, type of pickle? Can you use that in a sentence? The firkin gherkin. The firkin was gherkin. sour. 
How do you, uh, so that's the thing about uh, like a pickle beer. How do you, uh, like, avoid over saltiness? I don't think he cared. Oh, oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, I don't think he cared at all. Oh, your pose is so long. Oh. Bollocks. <laughs> that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, pickle beer. Pickle beer. Firkin gherkin. Yeah, there we go. Got some dry skin on my elbow. I know it's kind of gross, but pick it. Stop. I don't want to be talking and the flakes in my mouth. <laughs> they're coming for you. Yeah, they're coming for you. <laughs> my elbow skin is coming for you. It's coming for your lungs. They're coming. Jade silk and Lika. Yes, welcome, welcome. There are moments when sharing is Welcome, welcome. Is a bit weird. Hey, there was always that one kid at Show and Tell that would bring in the most odd thing. I mean, you know. <laughs> this is the this is, my this is the end of my toilet paper roll. This is I drew a face on it, it's my friend. This is the shell <laughs> of the first lobster I ate in, man. <laughs> Kept it in a box. I kept it in a box. <laughs> yeah, I believe I'm gonna have a beer as well. We're right there on top of that fridge, just on top. I don't, do I want one of those? Probably. What is it? It's a Trogue's beer. Knife? Harvest Ale, huh? It's piney. Show these to them? No. It's, it's piney. So we're gonna drink this, uh, this Trogue's beer here. So, 87 so. IBUs, 6.2 alcohol, using Cascade, Chinook, El Dorado, Centennial, Citra, and Columbus. It's a deep amber. They put it through a hop cyclone, which means they torpedo it. Uh, citrus rind. Cr I don't understand this last little bit. What is a crushed jungle and... What is crushed jungle? What is that? What is... What is, cr what is crushed jungle? Yeah, what, you, what is jungle? You guys know what jungle is? Crushed jungle. Uh, and tropical aromas. I don't know how... I don't know how you add tropical aromas. <sighs> crushed jungle. I wonder what that is. Try to stout with 120 IBUs. I bet you it wasn't very bitter though, was it? Because the stout probably had enough residual sugar that it offset the bitterness. Oh, I bet not. Crushed jungle. Yeah. That sounds like, that a, sounds like a band name. Genre. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. Crushed jungle. Yeah, it's like glitched out jungle or they, they compressed jungle so it's like. <laughs> Ducks. Yeah, exactly. Hey, hey, Bit Crush Jungle, how are you? That's gonna be a new Reddit channel. A I swear, that's gonna be a new Reddit channel overnight. <laughs> Crush Jungle. Crush Jungle. Yeah. Crush Jungle. It smells good. Let me get a glass. I like seeing the beer. Let's start tapping that, bro. Bro! Google's got nothing on crushed jungle. That just gets that just gets you going. You wonder. It's like marketing, you know? It's like what what can you make up? You can make up anything here in marketing. What are, what's, what's this taste like? Crushed jungle. 
It's like you're in a jungle, but it's getting crushed. It's like somebody who's been juicing too much recently. You've been, been juicing, juicing a lot. lot. Yeah, I've been juicing a lot and uh, it, crushed jungle. It's like a big ass glass, man. Lee, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Brew Nation. Carly, Carly. Cheers, y'all. Blink. Yeah. That tastes good. It tastes like crushed jungle. I know, right? It's a new flavor. Howdy, sour beers. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, I left that inside, huh? All right. 160 something. So we're gonna turn this heat off here in a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we're, gonna, we're gonna mash in. Geppetto. Yeah. Didn't you say crust jungle and topical flavors? Mm hmm. Yes, tropical. Topical. Topical flavors. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Do, do, do. Try something new. This this mic is over here, and that mic is over there a little, kind of like an Ableton Live, where it kind of gives a stereophonic kind of thing. Oh, you, oh, you pushed them over to the right and left. Yeah, just oh, that's cool. Just a little, you know. Just trying something new. Yeah. I'm loving how this computer hands up. I mean, just hands down, this computer. Using a hundred percent right now. Just oh yeah, bawling just. Along. <laughs> Sounds like a fan. It's louder than this thing. TJ said he wanted to come brew beer with us today. Well, why not? Well, I told him yesterday, I was like, I, I appreciate your enthusiasm, <laughs> but let me know if you really feel that way in the morning. We, we killed some beers last night, man. We did. It was a lot of fun. I went to bed early last night. I ended up trying to clean this place out here, and I got like four things done, and I was like, I'm tired. It's nine o'clock. I don't want to be staying in the garage. The moths like, <laughs> we gotta clean. <laughs> you know what always boggles me? If if I'm here at night and I see at least like there's twenty moths in here, all clinged onto the walls, right? You ready for this? What do they What do they do in the morning? Cause they're all gone. Oh. Where do they all go? <laughs> Am I ready? Yeah. To wait. Are you ready to wait? Yeah, am I ready to wait? Sure. Absolutely. Two seconds. Verify the temperature. I don't think you'll have to worry about that much, brother. What are you doing, man? Oh, I did not know that. Anthony Hopkins freaked out uh, Jody Foster when he did that slurping noise. The of course he did. That was freaky as hell. It was totally improvised, and they had to stop filming for a moment. It's because Jody Foster's a wuss. Of course she is. Just goes to 
it just makes you think too. It's like, man, how how into roles do people get to actually like forget that they're acting? You know what I'm saying? Like Tom Cruise does it every time. Tom Cruise is ne he's never Tom Cruise. He's whoever he's playing. He's a method actor. Tom Cruise is the greatest actor that's ever lived. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> Harrison Ford was Han Solo. I mean, was, because now he's dead. And that means Harrison Ford is dead. Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. I was like, no, Harrison Ford's not dead. Yeah, he is, because he was Han Solo. He pushed him off the edge, man. He pushed him off the edge, man. So? No, no, Luke got pushed off the edge, too. Remember? Luke got pushed off the edge and got sucked into a little hole, and then in the Sky think, City no, he hung man, on he at dead. the end. He dead. No, man. Han Solo's alive. Hell no. Han Solo dead. All right, you ready? Yeah. You think that LucasArts is going to be like, oh, okay. Yeah, we can throw away uh, Harrison Ford. Let's go. They can't throw away oh, Harrison wait, Ford. Oh, see? You ready to hold on? Shut up. We mashed it in, eh? Yeah. Hmm, that looks good, right? It smells good too. I bet you wish you were here, right? Not just that Pink Floyd song. I'm talking like actually here, man. Delicious. Oh, weren't you gonna put flake dots in here too? Uh, yeah, we don't have them. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yep, they would have been in that bin with all the flies. You know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. What a shame, what a shame. I mean, come on. Can you imagine if you put hops in right now? What happened? I mean, you know, what would, what would, uh, what would happen there if you put hops in right now? I don't know. No. You think anybody ever has? <laughs> you think anybody ever had? <laughs> I don't know, but maybe, just maybe someday. Uh, where's the? Oh, the paper towels? Yeah. They no. ran away, bro. No, they didn't. Cool, so we're sitting at like 158.2. So we're gonna go ahead and cover this up and set a timer. Timer! Look at that address. Winesearcher1.freetls.fastly. Huh. Coronado Brewing Company, Orange Avenue, Whip Beer. Cool. Very wide. T 
too soon. All right, we're going to check this after 30 minutes and see what we're looking at for temps. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah? I'm going to take a break. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Breaky, breaky. Breaky, yeah. breaky, breaky. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. I, uh... I carved up that,
What up, what up? We back. So what up, Brew Nation? Anybody, um, you guys brewed any beer lately? Maybe wine, mead, anything? A little half Sammy. That was good. We ate some lunch. Dexline, what's up? Um, no, I was uh, wondering if anybody in the in the watchers has uh, made any beer or wine, mead, anything like that lately. Cider, yeah. Nice, cool, Link. Kind of cider. Apple, pear, peach cider. Mmm. Three weeks before you can taste your double, huh? Mmm. Patience is a virtue. Mm hmm. It's good to see you, Dex. Mmm. Mott's apple juice cider. Cool. Um. to have your apple juice uh, pre-pasteurized when you're making cider? It's not? Oh. It has a small effect on flavor. There's people who just want to be a super authentic, you know? Cream ale last week, a Mexican lager on tap next weekend. Oh, you're gonna, you did a kettle sour? Mmm! And an MLK Goza? Cool. Very nice sour beers. That's something Scott and I have not forayed into yet is uh, doing a kettle sour. Mm -hmm. But apparently that's becoming a more popular item to uh, do blends with. Because it can give your beer the sour qualities that you're looking for. And so that kind of opens up the palate a little bit for all these other flavors to come in. So they'll do like a small bit of kettle sour and add it to something else. Thanks, Dex. Appreciate it, man. Glad to be back. Glad to be back. Malic acid and turn stuff to compensate for taste. Cool. 
Nice. I'm digging this fall weather we're getting because it's like 70s and not humid. Very cool in the morning. All right. So I'm enjoying um, Hop Knife, and this is by Trogues Brewing. Um, it's a real nice, crisp IPA. Um, they say it's a harvest ale. I'm assuming they probably have their own hop field, that that's where they got the hops from to make the harvest ale. That's what, that, would, that would be the only reason I would think that they would name it a harvest ale. Um, and in the pot today, we're gonna be making Tango Mango IPA. Um, it's basically uh, some Two row, some Irish pale malt, some C60, and that's it. Oh, and some Maris Otter. Um, and the hot bill that we're going for today is, is supposed to lend itself to having mango flavors. I'm not sure if Scott's quite decided if he's going to actually add some fruit into it at some point during the uh, fermentation process, but he's going to, he'll do whatever he does. He makes good beer. I do. Yes, you do. So, right as it stands, hey, Jambi Chick, what's up? Whoa. Pickle Rick, um, what's cooking? Hey, Zombie Chick, thanks for that host, appreciate that. Um, what's cooking today? We're making a mango IPA. And we've got 10 minutes until we hit our 30 minute mark on our mash, and we're gonna check some temps, make sure they're all good. Brooklyn East IPA might be the worst brew I've ever had. Huh. Brooklyn usually makes pretty damn good beer. What's uh, what's going on with it? Yeah, hell yeah. Is Brooklyn East the brew with the green circle and the B in the middle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't enjoyed many a beer from them actually. They're still de they're still decent brewers though. A little skunky. A little skunky. A little skunky? A little skunky. Yep. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. It tastes like dried malt, huh? Interesting. Huh, that is weird. But they call it an IPA, so like the, the hops aren't the forward flavor. It's, it's dried malt. Sounds, yeah, it sounds like he's getting more malt. Maltiness. Missing from modern um, radio on the internet. What's that? Some awesome dude who's like, that was just the beer rib that was go funk it out with the big gym bird. I mean, they do that sometimes. There's, there's, you know, there's radio internet out there that people do that. It's called podcasts, I think. Huh? <laughs> huh? What's a podcast? I don't actually know. You don't know what a podcast is? I never got it back in the day where it's like, yeah, I got a podcast on my iPod. And I'm like, but, like, what is it? Like, is it like a show that downloads onto your thing? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Some of them actually have videos, but it has malted barley, but this is worse than Lepe. I have not had that. What is this sorcery you speak yeah, of? Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, that's so good. Feeling better, man? Are you insinuating that I wasn't feeling good before? You, you're the king of lies. <laughs> I can't, oh, God, I got to <laughs> Don't change this. This is nice. Have you seen this? Have Check I seen what? Out. What have I seen? What have I missed, man? Uh oh. Alright, so Microsoft upgraded Paint into Paint 3D. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Mm -hmm. 
Dude. Dude, you can be like... You're killing your computer. You're gonna take our stream offline. Oh my god, I am. Oh my god, you killed our stream. Nah, we'll just ignore it. It's okay. Dead. Click on, right click on it down there in the bottom and kill it. Oh my goodness. You don't have to. You don't have to. Rip stream. There we go. No, no, no. We're all good. All right. Belgian brown ale with dried malt and sugar, which kind of dominates the flavor, but I'm not big on sugar. No, I mean, me neither, Dex. I like brown sugar. I like, I like, um... But I will tell you, in a beer, honey, brown sugar, um, molasses... Caramel is good. <laughs> caramel. If you don't use them in small amounts, and it's powerful, like, power, power, I don't like Powdered it. Powdered sugar! Yeah, I, I, I don't like it. Like, I don't like a honey brown beers. I don't like it. It's those. mostly donuts and powdered sugar. <laughs> it's that powerful. Channel, that channel's dead. I know. Rip bad lip reading. I know, right? They went totally commercial, and it feels like somebody else is in charge of everything. They probably got bought by Disney. Oh, I guarantee you they have. They probably, like, stopped making fun of everything. And advertise our shows. <laughs> I just sat on gum. <laughs> Yeah, even the NFL ones, they're different. A chair is somewhere to sit. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, the NFL ones are funny. Oh, yeah. That, um, that one, the Game of Thrones one is the best one, though. Happy Fun Get Time the Land. Filipino boy back up yeah. on his horse. <laughs> Happy Fun Time Land. Tad out here, you chowds. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even seen Game of Thrones, bro. Yes, I have. I've been watched, binge watched all the way to season five. Oh, did you now? Yes, I did. What do you think about it? I think it's pretty badass, actually. I've been avoiding it for some time for some reason. I don't know why. Well, I mean, you know. Your that. stream is about as chill as the time I went to the bank and there was an old lady in front of me banking grapes, bags of. Bank, banking bags of coin. We're Can super chill. Yeah, man. Thanks for noticing, Constas. Is, is it? Can't sass. Can't. Can't sass. Yeah, you can't sass. There's a little baby sass. <laughs> <laughs> you are JB. You're my, You're my son. <laughs> <laughs> You're my little baby sass. Now where the Sasquatch hide? In the misty mountainside. Sasquatch is my papa. It's a good show for bringing on a rainy day if you're not feeling like happy endings. I always feel like a happy ending. <laughs> yeah, we bring on those rainy days. Yeah, we do. When I get so you can inside you, baby, when I feel it come low. <laughs> Can't say it. You just have tools in your garage to pretend you're men. You've never used them. We brew beer in our garage. Oh, we're getting I don't even know how to use... What are tools? I just see, like, metal things with handles. Dude, it's a band. Bro, it's a band. Oh, tool? The band? I've, yeah, I've never bro, used them. You can't use them. I'm gonna sneeze. Do it. <laughs> Get those demons out of you. <laughs> really, you saw a man cave today? Did you ask the did you ask the man it belongs to if you could hang out with him in his cave? Those caves are Oh wait, his notice the guy's man cave is larger than the actual house. <laughs> hey, Damn, hey, that's nice, man. You should go hang out with that person, for sure. Yeah, he's probably cool. He built cool. it to hang out with people. Yeah, I don't think you make that for yourself. You make no, it for other people. No. Yeah, other you, dudes. Yeah. You bring it for it's other It's a magnet. Man. It's a dude magnet. Have I seen it? I saw the original. I haven't seen the new one. Me neither. Not really interested. They should have done the gender swap version. It's a female clown. Bro. 
Two minutes and we're gonna check this temp. They did, yeah, I know they did that with Ghostbusters. Blasphemy. I'm not saying that girls can't bust ghosts, but man, come on. Well, you know, what I would have thought from that is that uh, instead of making it an all female cast, they should have done the mix up. You know, like they should have had like. Uh, dudes and girls getting along and doing it, you know, like yeah, they should have franchised it. Like, like two guys, like two there's girls. Ghostbusters in Chicago, Ghostbusters in Miami. Oh, you could reality TV show it. Sure, they could have had every single demographic. They, they could have had Ghostbusters that were like. Well, no, I'm just saying, like Latin it could have been America. like, it could have been like Italian dude with, um, um, I don't even want to get into it. it doesn't even matter. I'm not even a fan of the whole um, forcing a creative mind to war uh, warp their creation into a social fabric that is acceptable at the time. You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> like a uh, let's see. Oh, so Dex, you didn't hang out. You were on your way to meet another friend. Does your other friend have a man cave as big as the one that you, you went by with brewing gear and loads of tools yeah, and TV? You should have grabbed your other friend and then driven yeah, back to the man cave. Yeah, you should have been like, we're going cave. back to the man cave. I, again, people don't make those things for themselves. There's no way some dude has like this racked out, bigger than your house, you know, man cave, and then they're like, "Dude, get out of here! You can't hang out you here. You can't hang out here." No, they're gonna walk in, and it's gonna it's gonna be like an arcade owner when kids walk in. They're gonna be like, "Hey!" But what is creative about the social fabric of a man always being the leader? There isn't anything creative about that. In fact, I'd say that's the opposite of creative. But. I, I'm, I wasn't saying anything that they shouldn't have done Ghostbusters in the... Who was the leader, who was the leader of the Ghostbusters? Yeah, was there a leader? I don't think there was. It who, was Venkman. There, <laughs> no, it wasn't I'll Venkman. bet you you're going to be thinking about me when Venkman I'm gone. Venkman was the uh, Loki. He was the troublemaker. He was not the guy who you would trust the company to. Hell yeah, he is. He's the guy who sat in the back ah! office. <laughs> he sat in the back office. Yeah, that's true. He didn't run the business. You know who did? Janine, or whatever her name I is. I mean, all movies in general. Oh, uh, archetypal stuff. We can go into psychology if you want. Yeah, but uh, for a story to be relatable, it has to have some sort of uh, relatable uh, emotion, and that is usually derived through uh, uh, abstracted uh, feelings that humans have in relation to each other that, that expand beyond time and uh, uh, culture. Uh, and that is, uh, i.e., the hero, the underdog, um, uh, life versus death, uh, you know, romance, love. There's, you know, archetypal stories are the reason why Hollywood keeps pumping out all these stories that are basically the same in the end. Uh, that's why audiences get used to, like, hearing, you know, oh, you know, they, they, they predict stories the way they're going to turn out, you know, and that's why directors usually use the whole, it's a twist kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, no, um, yeah, no, anybody can do it. What if the woman is, what if the, you know, hey, it, it doesn't matter. You see, that's the thing. I think everybody's too, uh, too deep, deeply ingrained within the, the backs, the back, uh, the Sweet. back end of the, like, imagine, imagine you're more interested in the back end of a computer, i.e., like the actual physical back end of the computer where all the inputs are versus are looking at the monitor. You know you what like I'm saying? Like or butts. Yeah, yeah. You like the back you, end of a computer are, are, or the monitor? Yeah, are you, are you, are you uh, a boobs or a butt guy? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. It's not regurgitating, but... Winter Having an all-female cast becomes creative Winter's due to the standards in Hollywood. Well, you know what? Hey, you know, I'm, I'm not, uh, see, that's the thing. I'm not too ingrained in all this, uh, this, this fight or battle that is happening, whether it be on, uh, you know, local terms or on the internet, but, uh, hey, I just happen to think that, um, if there was a better way to wipe your butt, 
Do you know how long it would take people to get off of toilet paper? Even if you spread the knowledge, like, everywhere, people would still use toilet paper to wipe their butt. It would be very hard for you to get off of that track. So, I mean, you know, that's, that's what I'm equi- as I'm- Okay, so, we've got a reactionary troll on our hands. We're gonna have I'm not, a- Yeah, I'm not saying No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just no, kidding. I mean, I'm just kidding. I am totally just kidding. Um, I think this is one of those things that no one's right or and no one's wrong. Yeah, exactly. I think Different. it's- I think- I think that it's- I'll, I will say this. I think it's kind of ridiculous, honestly, to feel like because stories have been told a certain way and- now there's more than ever. There's more, you know, like feminism going on, and there's there's nothing wrong with that. But I think it's it's fairly ridiculous to think that you can just tell those same stories and flip the genders, and now everything's okay. Yeah, like I mean, it just no, doesn't like, work that way. Siegfried, if you if you switched Siegfried's gender from a uh, male to a female, and tell, she was tell si- other stories, make make it, new ones. It wouldn't make too much sense, in in the sense of like a biological, um, like. Like, it just wouldn't make too much sense for Siegfried to be a woman and the, the guy would be saved from the dragon. Like, and, and I know it's possible to write a story like that and it worked perfectly. Like, maybe even better than the original, but it just doesn't, like, in an archetypal sense, like, throughout human history, it just doesn't seem like the, the, uh... I think there's the, always in... I, 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 I think, think there's, there's a balance that can be made. Again, well, I think like, there's I don't been think a lot it of strong been, female characters, and especially in, in some modern things, like, let's put, um... I think it's all about balance. I think it should all be about balance, like balance out your cast. True that, I feel that. I don't think it should be like one extreme or the other. I think it should be like balance out your cast. Like everything should be a little bit balanced. Like it can look like it's swayed towards one way or the other, but like, like if if you're watching a crime drama that's about gangsters in the 30s, you're not going to see much about women in it because it was mainly men that were doing all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like true. It, it like. It's like sort of historical telling stories. Yeah, like, exactly. Like you, yeah, I mean, it, and and it just depends on the creative vision. Like again, it, I can I can see that again. Regurgitating everything isn't creative. That's true. But it's money making. That's yeah. what I was getting back to when I was earlier. Yeah, it's like you make it some money. If if you if you told everybody in the world that there was a better way of wiping your butt, but they had to stop using toilet paper. <laughs> do you know how long it would take to set in for people to stop using toilet paper? Oh, that's, why are we? Talking about like that, that's a bad way to look at it to me. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> if they told you you had to start using something else to wipe your butt, you know how long it would take people to get on that? Yeah, I mean, oh, it yeah, it would take ages. People would be like, I ain't stopping doing that. Not me. Or be like, no, no, no. even better. Automatic, uh, auto, automatically driving cars, or whatever they're called. Autonomous driving. Yeah, autonomous driving cars. Good luck getting the majority of people on that. Seriously. I ain't gonna have no computer drive for me. Hey, there you go. I like that, Dex. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. It's good, but I'm normally just slipped onto. I like it.
So Scott and I were just talking about um, the advantages of boiling for 90 minutes versus 60 minutes. And he said that he was reading on Brew Lossifer. There was a panel of people that were saying that it's kind of bull crap. And I was no, saying... they didn't say it was bull crap. They just said they couldn't tell the difference between the two brews. Well, of one course. One was 90 and so one it, was 60. So the, the reason why, as a home brewer, I like to do 90 minutes is simply because uh, as, as a result of your mash period, um, you are going to have DMS. Um, I can't remember what, a dimethyl sulfide or something like that. Um, and so that, that lends itself, if, you, if it ferments and it's still in your beer, um, it lends itself to having like cream corn flavors, stuff like that. Right. It's, yeah, it leads to some off flavors. The only way to get rid of DMS is for your, when you're doing your boil, you want it to be real. You want it to be a very uh, vigorous boil, and you want it to uh, because you want all of the, the DMS to vaporize off. That's the only way to get rid of it. So, 60 minutes is usually typically enough time to get rid of it. But if you ensure a 90 minute boil, then you're ensuring that almost all DMS has been vaporized at that point. So, nerdy conversation. I'm oh, sorry. I, I didn't. I didn't do this last night because I was bored and not bored. But... But uh, this what is you, what you do. What this you is what do. I have planned for the intro of our uh, our show, and because it's it's called uh, K Mango. Oh, show, what mango? Right? Well, okay, so listen. Uh, get near the microphone and prepare to do an NFL uh, bowl uh, introduction, like Fox News. I can't do this. Yeah, Hold you on. can. Right. Yeah, get ready because right. you got it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brew Nation. Today we are going to be brewing Tango the Mango IPA. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here at the Brew Bowl to brew up a storm for you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, man. This is a. It's actually the 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 album is from the 50s by Les Baxter, and it's called K Mango. And because uh, I was looking up all this music the other day, and I just came across this, and I was like, "Hey, this was a coincidence, actually." Unlike the name earlier, where I was like, "Yeah, I was thinking about a tango before mango. I thought about mango, whiskey tango, yeah. mango." Yeah. But uh, yeah, this this album is awesome. It's good. It sounds like sports background music, though. Yeah, it does sound kind of like. Like forty fourth on the second floor, you know. No, it like, sounds to me. It sounds like like you're watching a like a like a Spanish or South American football club like yeah. highlight reel or something. Yeah. Or you're watching like futsal or something. It gets good. It gets good. It goes all over this weird spectrum of, of good uh, old fifties music. Have you guys seen that stuff called Hetty? I think that's what it's called. It's called Hetty, dude. Okay. No. So these guys invented this sport, and it is, it is pretty badass. So what they do is they take a ping pong table, and they set it up and it, you know, with the net and everything, and they play with a soccer ball, and they only can use their heads. These guys are freaking amazing. Like, dude, there are some, there are some highlights. He heady. Hetty. Like a head yeah, like wide. A head. Yeah, yeah, like heady. Um, so these guys are amazing, though. They're like... Some of their shots that they're taking and some, some of what they do, they're like basically on the ground sometimes, like well beyond. How many times can they bounce it on their head? No, you can only do it the once. You have to hit it over. It's just like ping pong, except you only use your head and it's a soccer ball. Oh my god. It's a European thing. I saw I saw on Reddit this, uh, it was a gif, and it, it's, it's real, dude. This guy is leaving the grocery store, right? And the, the, the title of the, the post on Reddit was only in, uh, only in Brazil, where it shows this guy and he's walking out a uh, grocery store and this thing falls out, because he's holding his groceries, but this thing falls out of his groceries and he's all like, brah, brah, oh, yeah. brah. And then it lands in his bag and you're like, yeah, baller, you know it, you know. He, he just, hey! I can't see. I think it's 
Dennis. Dennis. We Sunbow. got a new follower. We got to wait for our little thing to update. It sucks that we. It was on the screen right here, but we can't see it for a second until it shows up on this slow. There it is. Okay. Den Dennis Un Unso. Dennis Unso. Dennis Unso. Follow. Welcome to the Burnation. Everybody treat Dennis Unso. Sounds like something Very from. Very good. The, the Ocho on Reddit. Yeah. The Ocho. Just, guy just flawlessly too. Like, he didn't even worry about it. The like, thing fell out of his bag and he's like, yep, yep, yep. All right, so we got about 13 minutes left. And then we're gonna take a gravity reading. That's true. Ultimate Frisbee's blowing up. That's gonna be a sport soon. Ultimate Frisbee's been a sport, man. What are you talking about? No, I'm talking like a major, major sport. Oh yeah, it already is kind of, man. I mean, people play that in disc golf all the time. Oh yeah. Disc golf is so, so fun. Super hard though. Oh yeah. People who can trick shot it through the trees and like have it curve a hundred meters from you. Like, I don't understand. Hi right, mate, I'm gonna take this uh this hair swinger. No <laughs> bend it around the way. <clears throat> hmm? What are you looking at? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Alright. You know. Probably next time, yep. Yeah. yeah, that'd be awesome too. Yep. Yeah, it would. That'd Olympic, be really cool. ultimate. Olympic ultimate frisbee. That would be so bad. They wouldn't even That'd call so it. No, awesome. they wouldn't even call it frisbee. They'd just say Olympic ultimate. Olympic ultimate. Yeah, dude. Because that's what they call it. That's the sport's name. Ultimate. ultimate yeah. Olympic ultimate medal. <laughs> got that hanging in your house. Somebody walks in. I've got the ultimate medal from the Olympics. Ultimate medal. Yes. I'm gonna grab a glass. Do it. And I'm gonna try that lager. Do it. Is it ready to go? Yeah, I carbonated it yesterday, last night. Let will, it. Will you rinse this out? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We're gonna try some of our beer that we made, the, the lager. Yeah. From the last time I brewed with Scott. Yep. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Here, let me uh, let me change this music real quick. Do it. All right, so this is this is library music. Hold on. This is this is called library music. Library. Like where the books are held? No. No. Oh. Like as in like a gigantic music library. Oh, that's cool. There's a out, out there, people don't realize it, but there's a <laughs> there's a Sony music library. There's a Disney music library. Oh, of course. There and they are huge collections of really high grade samples and orchestras and everyone doing everything. This was made in the 70s from library music when they first started recording music like as a library. Oh, are we using dry yeast? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I like no, it. I, I, dude, I, I, I said this last time. Are we time. using Safal? Yep, USO5, always. I, sw See, I, I swear to God. I wanted to use this today. Maybe we still can, uh, but this tube doesn't fit on this. I wanted to use this. There's an aeration stone in here. We connect our air filter Wait, to this. Wait, is that to the quick carb? No. Did you make that? This, this is, dude. What are you doing with that? This is so we can oxidate our beer without having to drop this sucker down in. And this is a lot easier to clean because you can force star you, sand through. Where you, you don't have an oxygen tank though. We don't need one. We have that. So you get it like this plugs into this. I Aeration stone in here. Input from there. Oh, okay. Coming down over here. This goes to our fermentation unit so we don't have to drop this guy down in there. We can just close, basically, fill a fermentation unit with this. And then this is easier to clean. 
Gemi? Yeah. So it's, it's the same thing as, as using the quick carb, but we're using it to oxidate our beer because every drop of beer goes over that stone. And it's oxidating it instead of us just dropping it down in Are the bottom of it. That? I would like to. I have two, but I can't get it. This. This tube right here. Yeah. Will is it, I thought it would be, you know, but it's not. You can. Yeah, you just have to get it warm. You'd have to get the you have to get that hose hot. It'll go on there. But the only thing that I see that's weird about it is if you put that in a line. You can't. How do you stop the beer? With the valve. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but they, I, they, no, hold on. Look, look. You I'm going to try clamp, right? No, yeah, I'm going to use this. I'm going to okay. take this off of there, and I'm going to put that in here. Okay. Right? And then I'm going to connect that to here. Yeah. And then I'm going to do the same thing on, on the, the other, other side. End. Yeah. Okay. And then. Uh, and then all you need to do is hook up the pump, the air pump? Yeah, to right here. Do you have hose for all of this? We have the green hose right here for this. Does that go on there? That hose is really small, brother. No, it well, won't. No way. Yeah, no way. Yeah, we'd have to get a different hose and an adapter. I just thought it would be an upgrade from what we've got. I got this off of a uh, homebrewing uh, place. The homebrewing the home brewing place? Yeah. The store? Yeah. You got it from the store? Yeah. And I thought, hey, wow, that's good. You know, instead of having to worry, like, because this thing, this thing is big and it's hard to clean. You know, like, I, I push my power washer through here and you can see all the stuff come out. Right? And then I spray it off on the outside and then I do it again. And then I drain it and then, because this is bone dry yeah you know and then before we use it I've of course got alcohol yeah, we, we don't have you could call mom and dad and ask them if they pick you some up did they bring their cell phone no probably not god their cell phone it's weird it's just a foreign thing I'll call it. You're calling inside the house. It's coming from inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, as always, y'all, you know, this is what we do. We brew. Y'all have any questions about what we do or questions about brewing in general? You know, we're pretty knowledgeable. We're not, you know, experts by any stretch of the means, but... Can you hear me? Hey, can you can you do me a small favor and drop by Ingles and get us some 95% uh, isopropyl alcohol from the any isopropyl a, any isopropyl alcohol? Yeah. Oh, cool. The big ones, two of them. Yeah, the, the big big isopropyl alcohol, 95, the highest percent one. Two of them. Two of them. And I'll pay you. I'll pay you back. Awesome. Uh, no, Dex. Thanks. Good, Love you. That's actually a good point. Bye. Awesome. Hey, they actually took their cell phone with them. Yeah, no, yeah, just go to recipe. It should be fine. Oh, yeah. Delete that. No, just we use C60. Oh, yeah. No, no, you should just go from their profile. You shouldn't alter that one. Yeah, you should just delete that one and add. It's not the photo. Guaranteed. Oh! It's in. It's set to 60. Yeah, this is gonna pull us down underneath the 
gravity and just close it out. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I think, no, but I don't think this program is set properly. Because I set our efficiency down way low. I did. I set it down to like 70%. Because yeah. that's what get her out. You know? Alright. Alright, here we go. Alright, so um, our uh, grain bill today was... Uh, yeah. I got you. It's already... You just turn it up. Yeah, so our um, so our grain bill today was uh, two three I'm sorry three thousand grams of uh, two row pale, uh, two thousand grams of Irish pale malts, uh, five hundred grams of Maris Otter, and uh, one hundred and fifty grams of C60. Uh, hot bill is uh, Azaka, Cascade, Amarillo, and then we're gonna dry out Azaka, Amarillo, Chinook, and some Cryo Cascade. So our yeast bill is uh, Safal US05. Uh, let's see, mango edition. We're gonna boil a half sliced mango with water and sugar for 20 minutes. Strain and cool, and then we're gonna add a secondary. Um, our expected gravities are probably not correct. I don't think that we're only gonna hit 0.3 or uh, 1039. I think we're probably gonna hit quite better than that. But um, color is supposed to be around 7 SRM and bitterness around 55 IBU. So, um, I don't, again, I don't think that that 3.4% alcohol is what we're going to know. We always kind of over, uh, we always hit over our um, expected targets. Uh, a dance of passion, flavor and motion, tango the mango is a crisp take on an original American IPA with a mango twist The Zaka hops help accentuate the Free flavors while cascading and refused to create the amazing beer for the ages. An amazing beer. Cool. Um, so, I see this question. What are our thoughts on Pico Brew? I don't know. Well, I've met uh, I've met one of the sales reps from Pico Brew before. Um, in fact, uh, if you guys are familiar with the name um, Gary Glass. Uh, he is the um, president of the American Homebrew Association. Uh, I had the unique pleasure of meeting him and his wife, and she actually works for Pico Brew. Um, the systems are cool, they work fairly well from what I understand, um, but uh, you know, it's just not for me. I don't, I don't dig that level of, you know, just kind of set it and forget it. I like to kind of do the old school brew thing. But, you know, I think it probably makes pretty decent beer and you don't really have to do much with it, you know? We have about a minute left on this mash. I'm gonna take a gravity reading, see where we're at. Hopefully we're above what I think we're gonna be. What the program thinks we're gonna be. Oh shit. So our pre-boil um, is actually the our, the what it says we're hitting on this original gravity. We're at, we're at ten three nine right now. I bet you if I stirred it a little bit, I'd probably get a higher reading than that. So that's what I'm gonna do.
give this a good stir. And then we'll take another reading. See what that gives us. Pre-boil, our pre-boil gravity is exactly what the uh, program says we should have post-boil. Oh, really? Yeah, we're already over our target. That's good. That's fine. Yeah. Plus, it'll, it actually, I didn't even let it cool off at all, so it's probably a little bit higher than that, to be honest. Hey, will you turn the other camera on? So that's pretty good. We'll probably end up with like 10.5 or so as, as the boil happens. Cool. stuff to worry about in that right now. We've got to get this bag out of there, dude. Yeah, okay. I'm here. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'll just... I'm doing the solo so I don't have to do that. pull and, and drop, it's right there. Okay. Like, it's literally right here. Cool. I'll do it. You want me to have it? Oh, if you want to do it, here. Yeah, yeah no, maybe I'll just hold up the bucket. What am I doing? Jeez. Teamwork, bro. Teamwork, bro. These are wet. I washed them. They're clean. They're wet. Oh, this here feels weird. Oh, that's so funky. <laughs> this up.
Flame on. Flame on! Yeah. I usually squeeze, uh, turn it vertical instead of like that. Yeah, turn it like, yeah, 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 yeah. Then this reminds you of Ghostbusters. And the ladies in the, the library. Oh yeah. Squeeze of the bag. I think that's a good enough squeeze. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Does it drip? Does it drip? <laughs> Does it drip? <laughs> I get these off. Not with the water in there, man. Part of your body. God, now. that sucks. Yeah, it's part of your body now. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be calling you heart gloves, man. Cause they are heart gloves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Ugh>. Help! <laughs> I have no money, sir. Give me the money. <laughs> I have my hand now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, yours. <laughs> ew. Ew. Yeah. No, there's no ew in that. It smells. Yeah. It smells dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me have that bucket. Because we're going to drop this goodness right back in there. Yes, we are, Dr. Venkman. Yes. Well, we can put it right back in there. Right, 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 right. Thanks, coming through. Class 5, free roaming basis <laughs> apparition. Oh yeah, we drained the bag. And we just added it. During the we rectification of all dry eye. We got our flame going. We've got a, a brand new beer that is carbonated and it's cold and it's it's ready to go. Me and Brian the are gonna came as a large movie tour! The tour! Maybe something wolves me when it's like the rest of the depths of the sore that day, I can tell you. Alright. Alright. Got a fan doing an oscillation motion. Oscillation motion. So, uh, yeah. We, uh,. We've got our sugars. We've made our wort. It's here in this kettle right here. This kettle. And uh, we're gonna boil that. We've got a flame going already underneath. A uh, little butane burner. But uh, it's, it's, a, it's a butte. <laughs> Get it? It's a butte. <laughs> that butane burner is a butte. Ah. Well, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're rolling along. We're gonna hit a rolling boil. Ha <laughs> ha! Number two! Oh! Throwing them out there, man. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. 
Yeah, we're gonna boil once we hit that boil. Uh, we're gonna hit that boil and do it for 90 minutes. And then we are going to start our cooling process. <laughs> and along the way, we're gonna add our hops. If anybody has any questions about like our process, your process, the process, you know. The faculty, yeah. that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did you guys see they were remaking Flatliners? What's a Flatliner? Flatliner, the, the movie? Oscillate me. No, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Well, there's a movie. It doesn't sound too PC to me, bro. It's a movie from back in the day. Where, like, kids were flat, making them, they were killing themselves, basically. Oh, well, that's... And then bringing themselves back. Here. And put that down for a second. Play camera, man. Oh, hold up. Said no. Okay, I'm gonna play camera man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Got the black man, buddy. Oh, I don't know. Oh, 
Oh my god, mango. Stream Snipers loves mango. <laughs> Can you imagine if your bartender poured like that? This is going to happen right by the floor. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we're using uh, look at the pressure, dude. That, what, what I, know, that's, I know, that's what I'm... Dang, man, you killed it. It's got to be like 12 pounds. Uh, 30. No, it's, it's like 25. Send us all the mango IPA. Here we go. Get in that little hole. Yeah, I know you're over. So you know to hit that, right? That's something else. It needs to be on like 12. No, I'm gonna put it on. Alright, whatever. Whatever you say, brother. Look at that. See, that's a gorgeous, that's a gorgeous pour right there. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my god, it's over fun. Oh. That tastes like a domestic beer, bro. That's what it tastes like. Domestic beer, bro. Good domestic beer. Nice. Beautiful, man. My god, it would not be healthy for me to have all that beer. It's not. No, no, it's not. I've gained like five pounds. Yeah. It's not healthy. No. You are a good sir. Um, here you go, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. It smells pretty good. Yeah, it's light. Yeah. It tastes like if we used cold yeast in there. Yeah, it does. That's actually really damn good. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes like a German lager. Did we use German lager yeast? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, that's really good. It's crisp. It's good. It's very good. Super. No protein's really forming at this point. Ooh, that's exciting. Full keg of good beer. Oof. Kind of tastes like a Mexican lager. That's why I was saying, did we use German lager yeast? Because that's know. what Mexican lager yeast is, right? I mean, it's basically German. Because that, that's what all, well, not all, but that's what like a large majority of the Mexican breweries that are old are. They were that's Germans true. that came down to Mexico and then they, they built a brewery down there. It's a little dark for the lager that I was looking for. This looks kind of like a Vienna lager. Because of the are you color. serious? Yeah. Oh, it does have an amber tone to it. Yeah, it's a little. Bit, it's not as light as I probably. It yeah. kind of like Dos Equis. It does. No, that's what. It, it, yeah, it's like a. It's like um, yeah, it's like Dos Equis. It's almost exactly like Dos Equis. That's pretty damn good, though. Yeah, that's really good. See, si. grande. Yeah, grande. <laughs> Brooklyn malt water. Mmm. I might have to give, have Dad give me a ride home. Lucky, luckily, I don't look far from here anymore. I don't think they mind. Very nice. Very nice. We'll take a short little break here. We'll be right back, huh? We'll go nowhere, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's actually really good. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Can we grab one here? Yep. Mr. Smooth Beard. 
and Mr. Crazy Beard. Who's got crazy beard? Is that you? That gotta be you. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got crazy beard. I got smooth beard. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't have the I don't have the thickness to have the uh, the smooth beard, but I do have the I have the length. I have longer beard hair than I'll ever have hair on the top of my head ever again. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. Well, thanks for that stream, snipers. Appreciate it.
Stuff on the top. Yep. I need a bucket though, or something. Use that. It doesn't matter if that stuff's in it. Here, I'll get it. I got it. That sucks, stream. Yeah. I watched a I watched a gif on the map of Florida when Irma was hitting, and uh, I watched uh, I watched. Uh, sorry, I'll restart that sentence there. I watched a video of the power outages as Irma was hitting Florida, and you could see it just red all the way up the state. The whole state lost power, basically. That's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty unheard of. I mean, we've got, we've got, uh, when we got hit by Irma, we had to, uh, we had to, uh, basically use, uh, a very few of our crews that were here, because a lot of our crews were out in Florida, yep. helping them get, get their power back. That's true. See, I've, that's another thing about living in the mountains that I feel fortunate about because it's very rare in certain spots in the mountains for there to be like severe flooding. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Asheville's flooded before. No, yeah, no, that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I'm, I'm saying like it's less prominent because of the way that the landscape is set up. You know what I'm saying? We're getting ready to start boiling. You can do, uh, I'm gonna sneeze. Pops. 
<laughs> we eat hops. Oh yeah. All right. These are bad. No, no, don't use these. No, no, no. Alright, I'm gonna take this uh, stainless steel tube here, this uh, hop, hop sleeve, hop spider, probably a bunch of different stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this ounce of uh, Azaka hops in there. These are uh, pellet Azaka hops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's seen these. These are BSG. Uh, I'm not privy to one brand or another. So that's, this is just an ounce of Azaka hops. It doesn't look like much. You can't even see it. It's down in here. Uh, a lot of people will just toss these into their brew. But uh, because we don't transfer, kind of like to keep the plant particulate matter separate from our, our work. So, uh, yeah, we, we got a, a very, what appears to be a very little bit amount of hops down in here. But uh, it's an ounce of hops, so it's, you know, it's a little... A little bit of much, a little bit of much. All right. So we got a what? Almost. It almost is. I mean, it's. We're gonna leave that in there. Oh no, it's not in the beard. I know, right? It's a common thing that happens when you when you sneeze and you got a beard. That's all you put in there? So we could probably just throw it in there. Just throw it straight in there. If it's not a whole cone, we can just put it right in the brew, man. Alright. It'll, all, it'll all fall out. It's hot matter. It's just wait until it's boiling. <laughs> It looks like it is boiling. I mean, it does. It looks like it's boiling. Like on a portion. <laughs> like on a portion of it, you know. Yeah, because there's, there's an ounce, or, yeah, there's an ounce of Azaka at 90 minutes, and then two ounces of hops at 15 minutes and then two ounces of hops at zero minutes. Are you sure that's enough? Oh yeah. Is this an IPA? Yeah. Let's double up the Azaka in the beginning. I won't have enough to dry up, but I'll just buy it. I'll buy more. Just double it up, man. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Yep. I'm gonna double it up. 
Or we could do... No, just try it. Do, try it on there. We could do it, this at, at 90, and you could do another in, at 60. Dude, this is 9.8. It's not going to be bitter. Yeah, okay. It will say it is. Say. But it... There's no way. Cool. Yeah, there's no way it's going to be 99. No way. Plus, I want the... the yeah, I want this to be mango-y. Yeah. mango -y. mango -y. mango -y. Gaming Cove, what's up? Pickle Rick! We're boiling, dude. Double up, Pickle Rick! We are? Wouldn't you say? I mean, come on, look. Here. Take a look. I mean, wouldn't you say? That's boiling, right? See, it's bubbling. You're good. Throw it in. Mm. All right, and I'm going to start a timer for 30 minutes. Or, no, you're putting it all in there, aren't you? Yeah, I'm putting okay. this in there. All right, so I'm going to start it for 75 minutes now. Uh, Nobody. An hour and 15 minutes. Cool. <laughs> we need to double it up emote. We do. We need all kinds of emotes. Anybody, does anybody want to volunteer to make us some emotes? Well, no, I mean, I could probably do it, but golly, I'm not good at small art. But That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, I'm not. No one's saying that you couldn't do it, bro. It's like, do you have to do it? I want to do it. Shoot, we'd even. I'd even pay somebody to do it. I would too. I'd pay him a hundred bucks, man. Did you guys hear that? I'd pay him a hundred bucks. Brew Nation's offering a hundred dollars. Make us ten emotes. Make ten awesome. ballin. Ten ballin ten emotes. Ballin That's emotes. ten dollars an emote. They have to be good though. Good emotes. Ten bucks an emote. So we're now getting into the conversions of these <coughs> these alpha acids into iso alpha acids. Alpha acids into iso alpha acids. If no one heard that, this is what uh, the process is happening uh, with the hops, the oils that we the isomerization. Yeah, isomerization. Yeah, see, they have to be good. Yeah, they have to. We're we're talking like you know, no copy pasta, you know, nothing like that. I mean, you could. If it's something invented, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's hundred just, bucks though, man. Hundred I mean, bucks, dude, good. Who yeah. out there wants to earn a hundred bucks and we'll, we'll rep you every How hard time. is it to make ten emotes? You know, you just you send them in and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll pay a hundred bucks. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Escape time. Tom. Hey, Tom. Wait. No, it's Ted. Ted. Thanks for the host, oh. man. Well, that car is so uh, so loud starting, and it's so quiet. Oh, stream snipers. Thank you. Host. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. Escape time. Thank you so much for that host, man. Appreciate that. Had a slip of my my brain, my memory there. Yeah, that'll work. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thank. You. Scott will pay the bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh, hey. Ding, ding, ding. Yes. Hello. Hello. How are you, baby? Wow, that's expensive. Three bucks for that. Three dollars. Three bucks. Dollars. 
That's expensive. Hey. I swear I got I got when I went to Walmart I got one of those for like a dollar fifty. It's the difference between going to Walmart and the grocery store. That's true. Mm -hmm. I like lobers of love. Look at that boil. That's what you want to see. You want to see it rolling like that. It looks like it looks like a planet. It looks like a like a Jupiter, but like one side is like boiling. That's all they're doing on Jupiter. That's where all the beer comes from. Did you only hear that they're trying to make a new state out of California called Jefferson? Yeah, there, there's this huge thing where people are saying that California as a state is too big and that they need to split it because it has so many different people in it that they need to split it up. Stream, why don't you make us why don't you make us one emote and we'll uh, we'll pay you for that. I'll pay you 20 bucks to make us an emote even if it is a labor of love for you and it takes a while. Yes, please. The craziest bid. Crazy. Neighbor, you make fun of me. Yes. Lober. Lober of love. I make you remote with a crazier beard. Yes, the craziest. Oh, the craziest of all. Just the perfect pour, man. No way that doesn't spill over. <laughs> it's got no airspace. <laughs> perfect. Yes. It's got not a drop. It looks empty. No, it doesn't. Sour beers. Thanks for hanging out with us today, man. Oh, yeah. More like the Beard Nation. That's what's up. That exists, I guarantee you it does. And if it doesn't, or it does now, like, I'm not making it, I'm saying like, somebody just sparked into it. Some dude in, some dude in Seattle was just like, Beard Nation! Just oh, got that's zapped. It's already been a thing. <laughs> beard Nation. <clears throat> you could sell it. Everyone in the nation with the beard, get together. Do it. All beards join forces. <laughs> Rub your beards together. It's like Beardtron. Make a big giant robot out of Cap everyone's beard. Captain Beard. Captain Beard. Captain Beard. It's good. It's crisp. It's clean. It is. It's good. Had to go in for a second. That's good. Captain Beardatron. Oh yeah. Captain Beardatron even. <laughs> Beardy McBeard face. Beardy McBeard. You want a post boil? Yeah, I'm just going to it off. Oh. What's that? We'll take a reading now. Exit stage left even. Did you just try to do a Hanna Barbera character, the blue, yeah. the blue cat? Exit stage left even. Whoa. <laughs> ah. A good day to brew beer. It's nice out, man. It is. Oh, what are we doing now? Are you taking a sample? A little taste. It's gonna taste like work. That Azaka hops are good, though. They haven't fully got summarized yet, though. Grapefruity. Yeah, it is. 
What did I have that to do? Some real mango. Mango. You wanted to have that real mango. Oh, I have like a slice of it. Seriously. I'll Scott had a concentration phase. Oh yeah, I always have. <laughs> I have uh, I have either resting sad face or resting concentration face. I could be thinking about absolutely nothing and people walk up to me and they're like, wow, what problem are you solving, you know? Like, what are you thinking about, you know? And it's like, it's like a hard moment for me because I'm like, I have to make up something or something at the spot because you're like, yeah, that was oh, a... Like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can't be like, I wasn't thinking about anything. I was just I, almost having a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what a good day. I'm going to go over our recipe again. Real quick. Alright, so uh, this is uh, Tango the Mango IPA. It's a, uh, you know, tango is a, uh, it's a dance of passion, you know. Gotta have some flavor in that motion. Uh, tango the Mango is a crisp take on an original American IPA with a mango twist. Uh, we're gonna be using Azaka hops today. We've already uh, put two ounces in there. We doubled up. Doubled up! Oh, baby. Zaka hops will uh, help accentuate that fruity flavor that we're looking for. Uh, already just made a comment that it uh, it really tastes uh, before the acids isom uh, isom mal uh, uh, isom before they change. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, it's very grapefruity. Uh, we're gonna add some Cascade and Amarillo later. Uh, it's a uh, Gonna be a good uh, twist on the IPA with a, a mango, uh, you know, a mango theme. Uh, we are going to add a, uh, a little bit of mango addition in secondary, and it's going to be a good time. Uh, these are our expected values. As you can see, it's going to be a, uh, you know, it's not going to be a super light beer, but uh, it'll be golden, uh, maybe even a little bit of amber in there. Uh, this bitterness here, I don't, I don't believe we're going to hit 99 IBUs. I think, we're, I think this is a little bit skewed uh, in how it calculates what the bitterness is going to end up in. But, uh, you know, we're, we're looking probably at about, you know, 60 to 70 IBUs in the end. Uh, it's, that's what my projection is going to be. Uh, our batch size ends up being around 6 to 7 gallons in the fermenter. Uh, six and a half, six gallons. Uh, our original gravity is going to be uh, a lot higher than it's on this track here. We're going to be uh, you around about. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, it's not going to be 3.4. That's for sure. No, we already hit our. Uh, we already it's, hit whatever it says our post boil is going to be pre boil. Yeah, it's probably going to be closer to 10.5 something. Yeah, we're going to get about 10.51, 10.52, some, somewhere around there. So it's going to be around say 5%, 5.2% alcohol. Uh, so this 3.4 is probably it's not good. It's it's already not correct. Uh, so our efficiency is set a little higher. Uh, so we're going to be using some two row pale. Uh, my brother here is drinking an Oktoberfest from Sierra Nevada, as you can see down below. Uh, I've not had that yet. It looks delicious. I always love Sierra Nevada's Oktoberfest, so I'm excited to get myself uh, a little taste of that later on. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we're using two row pail in the largest amount, so we're using 3,000 grams of that. And then we're going to use, or we already are using 2,000 grams of Irish pale malt. It is an authentic imported Irish pale malt. From Ireland, uh, and then we're using some standard pretty Maris water. You're a pretty can. Huh? Huh? Say what? Keep going. Oh. Uh, and then we use some caramel crystal, uh, caramel crystal 60. We use 150 grams. Uh, we're using some, again, Azaka hops. 
We doubled up on this, uh, 56 grams. We were using 28, but now we've got 56 in there. A full 90 minute boil. We're it at, uh, you know, say, hmm, 15 minutes till uh, the end of our boil. We're gonna be adding some Amarillo and some Cascade hops. Uh, the Amarillo will be a pellet form and the Cascade will be in whole cone hops. Uh, and then we're also going to be adding uh, some uh, Chinook as a uh, zero minute hop. Yep. We're, beginning, we're going to be using some Sapala US 05. That is a, uh, a, an excellent dehydrated dry yeast. Uh, they come in little red. No starter. Yeah, they, they come in uh, little pink packages. And as long as you lightly spread them on your Krausen, you don't have to make a starter. They, they immediately take to your, your beer. It's, a, it's an excellent uh, yeast to start brewing on or to make professional brews. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a really good... It's a really, really good yeast. Uh, they, they call it Chico yeast because it, it origina yeah, originated in uh, Chico, California. Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada's yeast. Yep. Um, Dex wants to know how we choose all those hops. Uh, well, for this one, I, I chose Azaka because it, it does lend itself to a supposed mango flavor. And I also chose uh, the... Uh, Amarillo because it is uh, it bursts with hop flavor. Uh, Amarillo is one of my favorite hops now. Uh, ever since I, I found out that it was used in Space Dust, uh, mm. I I started using it in a, in a couple of beers in him that uh, in that new uh, uh, slow day. Yeah. The IPA had mm -hmm. Amarillo as the main hop, so and it was absolutely delicious. So yeah, I, I'm I'm uh, I'm down with using Amarillo now. Uh, it's, it's one yeah, of my favorites. Yeah, I'm down with the Amarillo. Um, and also, you know, I mean, I, uh, Chinook is always a good hop addition. No matter how much you put in, it's always a good it's hop a, addition. It's a good all-around all hop. Yeah, it, it, it seems to be very complementary to the majority of hops that are out there. Some hops don't work together. Some hops will end up with, like, a really bad combination together in your mouth. Like, too bitter, uh, you know, like... Well, there's way like too much grapefruit or well, way there's too like pine. citrusy, pine, herbaceous, yeah. earthy. There's all kinds of different like overtones for hops, and like a lot of times, like some of them don't mix. So, I think what Dex wants to know is, did you like research each one of these hops individually and kind of like you were experimenting yeah. because they all seem to work together? Yeah, I did. But I, I also, you know, I go with my gut feeling a lot of times when I'm writing a recipe. So sure. Like, I will, I will think about what I'm trying to accomplish. I will think about the ingredients that I'm using, and then I will make a you know decision. Right. Sometimes I'll go. So sometimes I'll I'll go and reach into the dark, you know, with something new that I've never worked with, just sure. to see if it'll work. Yeah. But a lot of times, you know, it, it's just one of those things where, uh, and I, I'm still young in the brew game. I mean, I've been doing it for three and a half years, but I'm still very young. That's extremely young in the brew game. I mean, there are people out there who've been doing it for fifty, you know, forty, fifty years. Oh yeah. And. They, they know all the changes that have happened since that, that very young 1960s, 19, early 70s. There, like, there aren't actually brewing. a lot of, well, there's not, there's actually not a lot of people that are, have been brewing that long. There really aren't. Like, that's a... Well, because it exploded in the 80s when that law was repealed. And what, prohibition? No, the 80s, when uh, home brewing wasn't... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I... I tend to think about a lot of the, the different. Uh, I, I tend to think a lot of a lot about the the different ways that flavors will meld. And I mean, again, I'm I'm very you know experimental when it comes down to the fact that I'm inexperienced. That therefore I am being experimental. Well, that's the best yeah. part about home brewing is we can do whatever we want. Yeah, exactly. I mean, literally, that is the best thing about home brewing is you can do whatever it is you want. If it turns out terrible, who cares? You know, I mean, you, I care. Well, I mean, <laughs> how many beers? Have, how many beers have we experimented with? A lot, actually. Two. No. This Two or three. Experiment like we had never done what we were doing before. Uh, Dude, uh, that goes cocoa nib stout. This goes now. This goes way back to even last season and before, like before we were even on Twitch. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like the co we've never uh, done cocoa nibs. We've never we had 
Yeah, it's still, no, and still, I swear to God, I think we're probably one of the only, we are probably one of the only videos of somebody adding fresh caramel mm. to a beer. To work. Like, I did that again. I that we'd done that twice, man. I did that I with didn't that do golden it. frog, dude. I didn't do it. I didn't I kinda did the oh baby, but it felt forced and I didn't like it. You know? Oh my god. Yeah, I know, it just felt forced. Holy I crap. didn't feel it from the soul because it wasn't like you know, I wasn't like experiencing it. You know, I was, but it wasn't, you know, like it was like oh I've So what hops would you throw into a brew with oranges? Citra. I would, yeah, Cascade I would do together. Citra, Cascade, uh, probably Chinook. Or, or Chinook or Columbus. Yep. Uh, I would think about... Um, I would think about... Mandarina. Uh, here, I'll one. show you. Well, I can show you in a second. Uh, in this program we have, uh, and online when you look at any kind of hop profile or anything like that, uh, they'll segment them out into three different categories where there's bittering hops, uh, there's aroma hops, and then there's multi-use hops where they're they're all over. You can use them in you can use them as a bittering hop, or you can use them as an aroma hop. They're both, right? Um, it's always best to if you're making like an IPA or something to grab one from each category. And sometimes when you sometimes when you're when you're thinking about the hops you're going to use, you wanna you wanna stick with what you know is going to work, like. If you if you look up online, because we're in the modern age, you know, and this this is, it sounds like bad advice for a, like even like imagine a professor being like you need to just Google this, mm -hmm. you know. But that, that's what I would suggest because it's, it's research on your own part. Just Google um, that if shit. You Google like because <laughs> there are websites. The websites that sell hops or the companies that sell hops, oh, they've got full breakdown PDF profiles of every hop, and it's always good to take a look at it because like. They don't want to lie, you know, about the profile. Oh, of course not. That's a marketing thing for them. Yeah, because they're, they're selling they breweries. Sell yeah. But, uh, yeah. Throwing it in with oranges, throw in citro and um, cascade. Cascade. Together. Ooh. Oh, baby. Mandarina is another one that would work. That's a, yeah, I think, that's a, would work. I think mandarina is a, uh, gen, a genetic modification to... Or no, not genetic modification, but like a uh, what do they call it? It's a hybrid. It's a Hallertau and something else. It's a, it's still a German. So hop. it's a Tetanang and, and like what? Uh, no, it's like Hallertau. Hallertau is Tetanang. Oh yeah, you gotta look that up. Hallertau is Tetanang. No, I have to this I I learned that recently. Hallertau is Tetanang. It's a, it's a, because there's two tetanangs. So it's tetanang mandarina. Oh yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, bro. Shut up. <laughs> oh, but that gear will last you well beyond the years that you. If you think about it, um, you say you know this thing, this piece of gear is gonna last you five years, ten years. If you divide the price by that amount of time, oh, you, it's just dirt cheap. It's dirt cheap. All the it seems like it's they're giving it away, you know. Not saying like you should put it on a credit card or anything like that, but you know it's it's just one of those things where uh, it, it's. By the way, Hopstarter has a freaking phenomenal website for this. Yeah, Hopstarter's got everything. Denali, have you ever heard of Lemon Drop Hops? Yeah. I haven't. That's new to me. Ariana. Oh yeah, there's a ton of new hops, dude. No, no, there's a ton of new hops. Because think about it, dude. Um, the big, okay. the big fields that grow all the major hops that are sold out for years on end. No, that's not. Hallertau is not Tetanang. There's just a bunch of different ones. So there's Hallertau Black or Blanc, Magnum, Merker, Middlefra, Taurus, Tradition, and then you get down to the teas. And there's Tetanander. And that's it. It's a specific hop. 
Yeah, that, that's the original from... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, but Hallertau has like a bunch of different varieties. Oh, oh, you're, you're saying Hallertau is a company. No. No, it's a, that's a variety. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a good Oh. Oh. <coughs> you. You know, to brew beer, you need this equipment. What? It's a joke. I know, right? It's like, huh? Yeah, that thing died, dude. What thing died? You know a thing. Oh, yeah. Well. I don't know what happened, but it's it's, it's dead, dude. Batteries is probably looking for a Bluetooth connection. It's kind of it, they're more gimmicky, man. That's why they gave them to us. They're gimmicky, man. They're yeah. not gonna sell those. When people realize, give it a couple of years. No, it. give it a couple of years, and maybe there will be something out there. It needs there. to have different. It needs to have Wi-Fi connectivity instead of Bluetooth. It needs to go to a computer, a real legit program. It needs to go to anything. That's the thing. Something other yeah. than phone. No, it just needs to send text data through a Wi-Fi signal. That's the thing I don't understand about all these complex apps that people release for things. It's like, just send the data as simple text through a signal. Well, it has to be encrypted, but yeah. Why does that have to be encrypted? If it's the Internet of Things, then they could hack our... Sh our they could know what temperature our fermenter is at. <laughs> they could take over our phone via Bluetooth these days. What a... Just let them. Let the Filipino guy do it. You'd have to be here, though. That's the thing. They're like, oh, a hacker could take over your, your stuff via Bluetooth. And it's like, you really have to be next to them. Bluetooth only has like a 30... Equifax just got hacked, and they got hacked for 139 million people. 139 million people. Do you know yeah, how many people live affected. in the United States? I was affected by that. Yeah, do you know how many people live in the United States? 350, 360 some million people. They got over half of the people's information. Oh yeah. What? what just what do you do? Yeah, I mean, I've already. I mean, put somebody's money. got my social security I've number. Somebody's got credit. your social I've security number. Credit. I've already done all four credit freezes, man. It cost me thirty bucks. Bowser did do nothing wrong. Bowser was just Bowser was in love with the prince, and no, she no. loved him. Yeah, man. no, because she kept going Mario along kept with trying it. to steal her. No, no, she kept going along with it just because it, in the end. It wasn't like she was trying to fight him off. She would just be like, okay, he stole me off again. It's like her, like, Saturday night, my where new boy. Where did you read this? Why are we on this? <laughs> oh, no, it's Bowser did nothing wrong. Oh. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, he, he steals the princess, right? And she's not, like, fighting and kicking and biting or anything. She's like, Mario, come and get me. Take two days. <laughs> You know? Take a week! Yeah, take a week! Go through You're the gonna die a lot! <laughs> Go through the levels! You know? You know? <laughs> and then she, on the other hand, while the cameras aren't rolling, it's just, they're having, like, hot time. I will time. say this, one of my favorite games of all time, and I wish they would re-release an HD version of this, new, Mario RPG, man. No, I, I don't let them touch it. No! No! No, they should! No, don't let them touch it. No, just update the graphics, that's it. It's fine. Leave it where it is, dude. The member berries won't help you, bro. Shut your mouth. No, the member you berries. Shut your mouth. Leave it where it is. It was good. Oh, you think you made an emote. Uh, post it to... Uh, uh, Discord. You can post it to Discord, or we could use... Um, what is that? Uh, there's a image posting site. Uh, what? It not... Uh, there's an image posting site. Uh, it's... What is it, Scott? There's a... The, Imager. No. Shut Giffy. Up. It's not... No, it's not Im, I, Imager. Twitter. No. <laughs> Facebook. No, it's like one of those ones where it's like it creates... You upload it and it creates like a specific... Your L for the thing. God, stop. <laughs> Just put it in Discord. God. Words. Pinterest. Google Plus. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I overcomplicated it. Anything. Just put it on the internet. You know, with a link. I feel ashamed of myself now. <laughs> uh, so ashamed of myself. I live here, man. Where's that Oktoberfest? It's in the refrigerator. 
You live here. Yes, you do. I don't. I live with two guys. It's weird. Never thought at 35 I'd be living with two guys again. It's weird. It's weird. But it's good. Beardtastic? All the beard. Is. Yeah, but did you think you'd have this much beer? Uh, you know, when when it was at his house, my uh, former house. Yeah, the former house. It used to go a lot quicker because we only brewed every two weeks. But plus, I, I was drinking a lot more than I do these days. Yeah, I've, really, I'm, I've, I've really taken like, over. I've taken over that shift with the whole. Yeah, I've really like slowed up on how much I drink these days. I, I tend to usually have like two beers if I'm drinking a night, and it tends to be I just either like a fifth of whiskey. Bullshit! Just kidding. I know, right? Snapshot. This much beer. I like having this. We have record. a lot of beer. Well, okay, so listen, I'll, I'll be I'll be completely honest with you. We say we don't brew we, we say we don't brew bad beer. We have brewed a bad beer, and it is that that uh, Coco Nib Stout, dude. Is it really bad? It's really bad. What's wrong with it? You can have it. I'll, I'll, I mean, I don't want to dirty up the the picnic dispenser, but is it really that bad? It's bad. What's what's wrong with it's it? It's a banana. It's a banana fudge sundae, dude. I mean, like, it's full on, like, you want some banana? Here, have a banana. That's Esther's from her... We left fennel, it in, That's fennel from I, the It yeast. was 70 degrees, 71, 72 degrees in that house, and we left those cocoa nibs in the fermenter. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Damn it. Oh, well. It's a, it's a whole keg of Commander beer. Spicy Nibs is a... Yeah, Commander Spicy oh, that Nibs died that in That actually battle. could have been the uh, peppers that did that, too. Perhaps, yeah. It could have been the peppers that did that. I mean, it, it's bad. It... Well, let's just, had, dump, I, just dump it then, man. I mean, it happens. No, we're not above making There's, bad beer. So when Shoot, you I've gone to places that are in business that I've been like, here, just have this back. <laughs> I'm serious, man. I had a beer at um, at Whistle Hop that I was like, and this was when, not when they first opened, but it was like, I don't know, it was probably like a year after they opened. It tastes like they put a little cinnamon or nutmeg in there, bro. You're, you, you're drinking it out of a can. So? Give it to the homeless. You know, it's not actually technically... In our state, this is the weirdest thing. In our state, it's not even legal to give homebrew away. You can't do it. Like, I couldn't bottle up homebrew and stand on the side of the corner of the street and be like, Here, you want a beer? Couldn't do it. You just, you can't... You, it's so weird. G yeah, I know, Giraffe right? and Kush? You're what? There are four people watching us. Nice. What? That's awesome. Appreciate that, man. I'm glad you guys are huddled around a uh, monitor or TV somewhere watching us brew beer on Twitch. That's awesome. Yes. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, all four of you. Four people. Yes. Yeah, so uh, today we're making a mango IPA. Uh, we already blew by our um, specific gravity, that or our original gravity from uh, pre-boiled. Yeah, so we're going to... We're going to have a lot stronger of a beer than our recipe tells us. Yep. Which is good. That That's is a good, good. thing. Yeah. Because our recipe be a, says it it's like kind of weak. IPA. Apparently our efficiency is a lot more when we squeeze that bag. I think the squeeze... Well, no. The the, no, it was reading that before we squeeze the bag. That was straight out of that. Yeah. While... No, that was the reading while, I took was before we squeezed the bag. Pre... So it's probably out. better than... Oh yeah, it's probably more. Oh, that Apache blueberry wheat ale. Oh, that sounds nice, so man. good. That sounds so good. So but, how are you? What are you doing with those? Uh, what are you doing with the blueberries? Yeah, blueberry wit. Will that have an I effect the on the color? Again. I could. Yeah. Blueberries are very prone to um, to dying. Like that's a blueberries are like All a right. pie. yeah. Maybe turned a little pink. Hmm. Yeah. Add a little uh, purple or a little uh, red. Maybe. Yeah. Depending on how much. Yeah. I mean, if you go overboard. 
Yeah. Could just make it more brown. I want all the mangoes and blueberries, stream snipers. Alright, so our next edition. It's coming up. It said 41 minutes. Oh. Yeah, in 41 minutes we have to add hops and uh, Irish moss. And a, are we doing water treatment at all? No, we, we don't need to. Well, we need to put zinc in there. Yeah, but we don't need to treat it with like any, you know, because yeah. that water is... We already did it. Well, no, but that water is from the... Uh, it's from work. Yeah, yeah, it's from work. Wood style lead. Secondary for a week. Cool. Are you going to crush them up and throw them in, or what are you, how are you going to do that? You got to. There's no way. It wouldn't get through the... I was just asking a question, man. I was just asking a question. You shut up, man. Shut up. You shut up. Dude, I like how the fact I like the fact that we have all these stickers on that refrigerator now. Do you like that? Yeah, I do. This is the evil fridge, you can see. The evil fridge. Yeah, no, I don't put too much on there, but it's always like a demonic bear. You know, that bear actually looked really he looked super nice before I did that to him. Dude, no, and I, I made know, that like that. I know, but no. He looks even especially eviler now because I took some alcohol and I kind of smeared him. Oh god. So he looks all bloody, like he looks yeah. even worse. It's nice. Crushed. No, no, jungle. Crushed jungle. Crushed jungle. Yeah, crushed jungle. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. No, 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 like... Crushed jungle. Crushed. What of the jungle is crushed? Crush jungle. Oh, that exposure. See that kick up? Yep. Yeah. Scott's a technical guy. That's right. A little bit. I'm just here for the ride, y'all. We've switched we 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 switched places for this the last season it, I was him, and this season he is me. That's right. Yeah. My responsibility, my responsibility level went like way down. Yeah, he shows up and then he leaves, <laughs> and then I'm stuck with everything. But that's cool. Uh, this time I'm gonna help you clean. No, 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 do it again. All right. Well, <laughs> no. uh, all right. No. Cool. All right. I'm gonna go home then. See ya. Because <laughs> I don't want you to see my process and be like. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I probably would. I'd be like, what are you doing? Why are you doing it like this? Yeah. When you show up and you look at the equipment, you go, okay. All right, everything's great. Everything seems fine. Yeah, everything seems this fine. Seems, I'm not even great. questioning it yeah, anymore. Exactly. Don't question it. I don't question it anymore. Yeah. Just let me do my thing, man. <laughs> you have, this is your deal now. Yeah, that's right. You basically you basically inherited like a really nice brew house. Yeah, dude, half gallon brew house can brew whenever whenever I want. You just can't sell it. That's the only thing you can't do. You can use it however you want, but you can't sell it. Don't even get. Look at your eyes. You're like, could I sell it? Why no, no, no. no I it's, sell like, it. it's like it's like bu uh, the buyers club, Texas buyers club. It's like twenty bucks to enter my house. Shut up. People walk in and they're like, I am in your house, sir. And you're like, yes, sir, you are in my house. <laughs> you can have these six free beers. And here they're you like, go. Here you go. Well, not I, 20 bucks, but. The face. Yeah. <laughs> the face. Come in. Come in. Why? Here's your ticket, sir. Can I punch you? your ticket to get into my house? No ticket. Yeah, no ticket. You gotta get out. <laughs> This is like the um, this is like the potato latte or no not the potato the potato latte. What is that? Is that a thing? No. Potato latte. No, the pumpkin latte. <laughs> this is the pumpkin latte of beers. It comes around in fall and everyone's like, ooh, Oktoberfest, and then they grab on house tour with a complimentary beer. That's right. You guys can come hang out with us anytime That's you right. want. Really. That's what I'm saying. Drive up. We'll let you know where we live. I don't care. The potato latte. <laughs> the potato latte. It's Irish. Yep. The potato latte is also, they make it green like the shamrock shakes or whatever. Mm. 
You are not right. But I am. Uh -huh. Yes, stream. Yes. Potato Pilsner. How'd that turn out, man? Love you too, stream snipers. Slight potato flavor, reminiscent of Lucky's. Lucky's. Yeah. Oh, nice, man, dude. That's a brilliant idea. We can make potato waffles or pancakes and throw them in with a beer. You can totally do that. Oh yeah. We Let's should do, do that. that. That sounds awesome. Taking a baked good and putting. Nader it in. just gave us the best idea. I want to take a baked good and put it in. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I do. I want to take a baked good like Otis Spunkmeyer. Oh yeah, muffins. if I want to do no, if I toss them in oh, there. Oh yeah, if you wanted to do like a apple cinnamon beer, you could just toss in like an apple cinnamon muffin or some shit. Mariah. Ooh, Yakuya. <laughs> ah. Let's call it giraffe beer. Yes. Look at what Big you did. Long neck. Look at what you did, Nader. You did us a great, great service. You know, I want to make exactly what this is supposed to be about. I want to make a beer called Tree Star. Yeah, bro. You're going straight back to Land Before Time. Yeah, dude. Funk it. I love that movie, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Don't talk to me about that. Dude, that was a big part of my childhood, man. I love no, that, that movie. Was, we were we were born to in this like you know we're brothers, bro. We watched that movie together a lot, yeah, a lot, yeah. VHS was all the rage. Uh, <laughs> no, mom and dad, you don't believe that. You probably wouldn't believe this, but they put that movie on repeat. Oh yeah, that was Dude, our no, babysitter. We watched. Yeah, that, that was movie our babysitter over and over and over. Again. All right. Chocolate starfish since it tastes like a beetle. We could name it um, Balloon Knot Stout. Hey man. Hey man. It has racist undertones. What? Balloon, balloon Knots? Why does it have racist undertones? Because balloons are often recognized as red, like on it. And red is the skin color. What? <laughs> oh my god. Drawing lines, man. Woo! Woo! <laughs> now, I am just playing. I'm playing right Oh, by the way, uh, Giraffe and Koosh, thanks for the follow. We appreciate you for watching us today. 
Scott making a stretch. Oh yeah, yeah. making making the liberal stretch. Oh yep. god. <laughs> Spoons are not there, dude. Well, if you open this guy up right Here's here. Here's a little spoon. Not, hey, oh, yeah, no, you gotta wipe spoon. it off. It had PBW on it. Tim Curry is a legend. I know it's... Yeah, I get it, but... I don't know. I, I just... I'm not interested, to be honest. I don't like, uh... I don't like, um... That's not a good way to start a sentence. I'm not a fan of, uh... Modern horror. It doesn't seem to hit the mark on me. It's either, it's either innately, uh, scary, which is forced, right? Or it is uh, too jump scary. You know what I'm saying? Well, people. Rely I might. On the jump I might scare. watch it if it when it comes out on like you know Amazon or something like that. But I'm not gonna go to the theater and watch it. I've already seen a couple of movies lately that were pretty damn good. Like what? Um, I saw Leap, which was a it's a kids movie, but it's it's still pretty good. Um, it's got a really cool storyline. And it's not like overly cheesy. Um, and then I saw uh, Wind. Is it Wind River? So you're seeing like indie films? No, it was these were these are films that are out in the theaters right now. That's how out of touch I am. I have no idea what's in theaters. No, you gotta spin it the other way, dude. <laughs> you got the right socks on the right feet, bro? We're gonna need more zinc. You are talking to yourself, right? I know. Because I, I can't. I just can't even. People probably think I'm building a bomb if I'm like, can I get some pure zinc? <laughs> <laughs> probably. This boy is trying to build some sort of chemical reaction with that pure zinc. Oh. Too jump scary. That's, that's what my opinion is. Majority of new movies are too jump... Horror movies are too jump scary reliant. Korea has a, a, a lockdown on horror oh, yeah. films, in my South opinion. Korean South Korean horror films are a lockdown. Oh my goodness. You want to get scared? Watch a South Korean horror film. Yeah, they are really fun. Whoa. They do stuff that Hollywood wouldn't even dare. They wouldn't even dare. Honestly, it's probably 
It smells so good in here. Giraffe Kush. Giraffe and Kush. Giraffe and Kush. Probably not pronouncing that right. And this is probably a very late. Hey, hey, welcome to the Brunation kind of alert. But yo, what's up? Welcome to the Brunation. Everybody treat Giraffe and Kush very nicely. Welcome, welcome. Cheers. I've got a cold glass of ice cold water. You gotta stay hydrated, that is number one. That's key. You gotta stay hydrated. Yeah. Oh, look in Discord. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, you're hired. Wait. Oh, he's hired. Hired. Nader. Nader, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you come up with ten badass emotes. You're hired. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Oh, you have your new stickers now. New emotes. Yeah, emotes. Emotes. So they made them. My for face. You? My face is emote. So they made that for you, Twitch. Yup. Yeah. So my face is now an emote. Yeah, my face. Oh, we'll get him. Oh, yeah. And I know what the face should be. They're making the double chin up, so I'm like, 
Got family over, you know. Dank emotes, dank emotes, new emote, tank on uh, the Discord. Wow, Nader, thank you. That makes me feel very awesome. That's, uh, yes. Uh, double, double toil and trouble, fire burn, cauldron bubble, fillet of fenny snake. In the cold and boil and bake, eye of newt and toe of hog, wool of bat and tongue of dog, 
Adder's fork and blind worm's sting, lizard's leg and howlet's wing, for a <laughs> for a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth boil and bubble. Yes. Uh, yeah, here, I, I'll go right through it. God mode, I like your name. That's awesome. God mode. What's happening? What's happening? We're going to go over the recipe here real quick. Uh, I, I like doing this because it, uh, it is visually exceptional. Here we go. All right. So this is Tango the Mango. It's an IPA, an American style IPA. Uh, it's a dance of passion. You know, we've got some flavor and motion. Uh, it's a crisp take on an original style American IPA, but it's got uh, a little mango twist. The Zaka hops are gonna throw their little uh, grapefruit mango accentuation in there, and then uh, we're gonna be using Cascade and Merlot and Citra hops uh, along the way. It's gonna be an excellent journey. Uh, very hop forward. Gonna be uh, we're expecting about 7 SRM, and uh, this says 99 uh, IBUs. I'm expecting probably about 70, 60, 60, 70. Uh, and the original gravity, as this program pr predicts, uh, is definitely not. Uh, we're expecting about 1, uh, 10, 5, 1, 10, 5, 3 uh, after the boil. We are in the middle of the boil. Man, go. Yeah, that's right. Man, go. Yeah, you know. Mm. You know, you know, that's how it is. Uh, we're using uh, a large majority of two row, and then we're using some authentic Irish pale malt, which is odd. Uh, that, that is, <laughs> it's imported from Ireland, which is excellent. Uh, using some Maris Otter and some Caramel Christi, Crystal 60. Crystal 60. Hot bill is pretty intensive. Uh, starting with two ounces of Zaka at 90 minutes, so a full boil. Uh, when the alarm goes off, we're going to be adding some Amarillo and Cascade. And then once uh, 50 minutes passes, we're going to be adding some God mode, what's happening, man? And then we're going to dry hop with some Cryo Cascade. That's some Pow Pow. we got that Pow Pow in the house. There is only one. Yep. And then uh, we've got uh, another addition of an ounce of... <laughs> Amarillo and an ounce of Azaka as a dry hop. It's going to be very juicy, very uh, very mango forward. Uh, we're going to be using Cephale US05. That's Fermenta Cephale US05. Uh, we don't start it. We don't do a pre-mix. We, uh, I don't think that bitterness is, is right. LA no, it's cider, not right. But yeah, it's not going to be right. No, we're going to hit about 60, 70. Yeah. Uh, we start around. We, we start with uh, ten gallons, around thirty-seven point eight liters, Dude, and then we end you? up with twenty-two point four liters. And uh, we might be adding a mango addition, maybe, uh, just dependent on how I feel about it. Uh, and if we do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, slice a mango into quarters, and I'm going to take a quarter of it, and I'm going to boil it or basically caramelize it with some water and sugar for about twenty minutes. I'm going to strain it so that it's not uh, uh, plant mattery, and then I'm going to cool it, and then I'm going to add that secondary uh, about four to five days after pitching. Uh, add some more sugar into that mix. Sparging. And uh, yeah, so it, it, so it's going to be a uh, an interesting IPA, pretty simple, um, but you know, it's, actually, sparging is interesting. Something, something awesome. Something awesome. So, yeah, there we go. It's not complicated. Anybody can do it. They can. Anybody can do this. Yeah! There literally isn't, there's is nothing about brewing beer that anybody can't do. This is literally like making macaroni and cheese. Yeah! Uh, you just have to do it. There I mean, there's specifics. a. There's, all right, so it's the difference between making macaroni and cheese that's like you're like, oh, this is just okay or it's unedible versus making macaroni and cheese where you're like, hey, this is good. Following instructions, having the right equipment, that's yeah, all you really need. It's all you really need. That's exactly right, God Mode. Thank you, man. Yep, it is, that is making alcohol is, is fairly easy. Uh, making beer is fairly easy. Making it worth drinking is is very. That's the difficult part of it. That's the art portion of it. You know, the science is is easy. It's mathematics. It's using specific amounts of grain and instruments to measure like you know where you're at as far as your conver your starch conversions go. Uh, you know, I, you can measure the you can measure pretty much anything about beer. Beer is one of the oldest products. 
that is still being publicly traded. I mean, really, literally, it's thousands and thousands and thousands of year old. I mean, it's bread. years old. It's like bread and Was beer like and bread, a few beer. other things. Yeah. But yeah, pretty much beer is one of the oldest products that is still what else like is produced? sold. No, really, what else is produced? I mean, there's bread and beer, uh, there's fruits and vegetables, but those aren't produced. Those are harvested. Sure. Right? Uh, cheese. Cheese. Yeah, cheese is, yeah, well, so cheese cheese. is right in line with, with making beer, though. Yeah, cheese Wine. And beer. Wine. Wine, spirits. Spirits are a little bit more difficult than than uh, making wine or, or beer, but yeah, I mean, meat and cider, beer, old old drinks. I mean, still being traded to, and uh, and sold today. Um, but yeah, making it worth worth drinking is very very difficult because there's so much out there too. I mean, think about how think about how many beers are on the market these days. It's a lot. It's a lot of beer. Um, people are experimenting with all kinds of stuff. Um, like I was saying earlier in the stream, uh, something that I want to do that I heard about recently that I had never heard of before was uh, a, a friend of mine used a, a New England IPA hop schedule for a Saison. Um, I don't really know how it was. I wasn't there to drink it, but it sounded amazing. It got really good feedback from a lot of people that I know. So I'm like, hey, you know, what's break all the rules. Break, break all of them, and especially if you're home brewing. I mean, why not? Like Scott said, I mean, you know, we've only brewed a couple of really, really bad beers um, where they were undrinkable. Two, one, yeah. one or two, one, two, one, two, two. No, our, glu one, one. our gluten free beer was completely undrinkable. That, no, no, that was a failed experiment that wasn't for even us. Undrinkable. That was just failed. It was a failed. It was a that failed was process. Just, we, didn't, we didn't even get. Did we ferment it? Did we? Yeah, yeah, we did. It just kept coming out like sludge. I mean, literally, it was so much. There was so much small particles in it. In the end, because like it was, we basically like tried to convert like millet flour. I mean, this the millet that we have, we ground down so fine that it ended up being just like a powder. And you know that came out in the in the beer itself. Like after pitching yeast and it fermenting forever, it was yeah, it was not good. And then the uh, the. Commander Spicy Nibs uh, chocolate stout, chocolate chili stout that we made, that didn't turn out very well. Apparently we're going to dump that too. Is she trapped in there? Anyway, sorry, a little bit of a rant there, my bad. Yeah, chocolate chili stout, we failed. Yeah. Something happened with the fermentation process. It went horribly wrong. Created a, a lot of phenolics. A uh, lot of banana flavor, apparently. I haven't had any of it, but Scott says it's it's pretty undrinkable. Oh, it's bad. So, yeah, we're, we're just going to dump that. I mean, every now and then it happens. Could have been a dirty valve. I don't know. Yeah. Because, I mean, we don't take apart the, our valves every time we ferment, which we probably should, but... What, 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 what don't we do? Take the valves apart. No. I used to do that at my house. I, when I'm cleaning the valves, I open and shut them. I know, I know. Dirty valves, you. Those dirty, Those dirty, dirty valves. Uh, what yeast was it, Scott? Cephala US05. No, for the stout it was? I thought oh. we used liquid yeast for that. We used, it's on the, go look at that. Give me a second. What are you looking for? Give oh. Me a oh, okay, cool. I was like seeing this massive list of links and I'm like, what is this? Are you on the dark webs? It, dude, it looks like it. It does. Yeah, it does. Valves and pipes. I'm literally envisioning you seeing glass and tubes. Uh, but I have a motorcycle. Wolverine, what are motorcycles made of? Bunch of glass and tubes.
This is good. This right here is good. Oh, Lagunitas sucks? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lagunitas sucks is this really is good. good. Yeah, it's, it's one of the best IPAs out there. You're a dirty, dirty valve. Gotta turn that valve hard. Stream Snipers is a dirty, dirty valve. Open it and shut it. Open it and shut it. Open it and shut All it. All right. That's right. Yeah, give it a good jerking motion. <laughs> we have gone off the rails. It's, we're headed to a fiery crash. We're no, nah, we're not going things. off the edge. No. Yeah, I'm kidding. No. It's a joke. Man, these stools though. Those stools though. I know, right? They look pretty nice. Don't use them. No, I stand. Yeah. We stand when we make beer. Don't use them. Wait. What are they talking about? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Do right now? Do right now? <laughs> oh, without his brain, he doesn't know what to do. Balloonenstein. Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Do right now? He's out there floating. He's got, this, he's got this static charge. He's trying to blow the balloon up. Come in, to Jacqueline. You have a sample of. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Here's my stool sample. <laughs> Here's my stool sample. You can have. Uh, Everyone loves the stool sample. Yep. Yeah. It's a little stool sample for you. Pretty weighty, pretty heavy. Come in, to Jacqueline. <laughs> Uh, I got these here binoculars. <laughs> not fishing <laughs> goggles. <laughs> yeah, what is not <laughs> Why do you mean not need night vision goggles? What are you going to do in the night? <laughs> You're a fraud. You're a... <laughs> he got a knife on the end of his uh, amputeed hand. <laughs> Dude. They were, so be they were so much better back in the day. Even their pilot was good. Dude, they had a good successful 7, 8, 9 series, dude. Seriously. I don't know. I'd say the first four seasons were probably really good. Alright, yeah. So we're going to check, yeah, what, we're cool. gonna check what yeast yeah, we Yeah, used. let's see what yeast we used. Shoot, we got off on the... We got to go on yeah. tangent. Tangent. Commander Spice Mid. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ah. Oh, we, used, we used Irish ale yeast. Oh! Holy crap, Norwick, what the house? Oh, welcome, hey. welcome. How's it hey, going, thanks, everybody? Everyone. Hello. Oh, so. Oi. Oi. Nice to see y'all. Thank we you so much for that there. house, Norwick. Appreciate no, it. Oh, what's happening? We're, uh, we're brewing an IPA today, as you can see in this kettle right behind us. Oh. Tango Mango. Yeah, what's going on? Hello, hello. Morwick with the house beats. Oh, baby. Yep. Hitting us with that dankness. Hey, we hope it. everything's well with you, Morwick. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, appreciate it. Cheers, man. Cheers. So we have three minutes. We are adding more hops and Irish moss and zinc. And we're going to start this pump, too. We're getting to the end. Well, no. Well, if you don't count clean. Yeah. Dank. That's true. Really yeah, God, God mode. That's a, that's absolutely correct. Ferric acid is a. Yeah, you're right. Do it, man. Get your bio break in. Um, nature calls. Yeah. 
intro. I'm Mark Bat. <laughs> Magnum. T minus okay. two minutes. Come on, Scott. You got this, man. You got this, right? No, the I think the, I think the banana galaxy. flavor is like, it's not like the banana, like when you think about bananas like as a fruit, I think it's that banana flavor that you think about like the circus peanuts. Ugh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the banana flavor that I think of when I think of off flavor. There you go. All right, so 15 minutes is up. All right, so we're adding an ounce of Amarillo and an ounce of Galaxy. So you're going to change that. Yeah. Excellent. Yes, overwhelming banana. Like banana beyond your wildest banana dreams. So like, yeah, no, listen, see this? Yeah, yeah I know. No, this is I what? did, no, I did this. This right here, this tripod, wasn't here. This disconnects from this. Yeah, it was bad. Dude, it was really bad. All right, so what we're doing right now is we're running our boiling wood through our pump. And we, you only have to run it for a short period of time. But what, what's going on is there's a sanitation period where the pump is getting sanitized by the boiling hot wort because no bacteria can obviously live in a, a boiling environment touch those dirty valves mmm stream snack whiskey why do you do this alright so wait this, that's our last hop addition so we're not doing it we no doing we're doing a zero hop we're doing chinook an ounce of chinook yes, chinook yep. you have that we do have chinook alright I know that for a fact so okay, I'm going to well, set this timer for 15 minutes yeah I know that for a fact. <laughs> the horse fly. Did you eat a horse fly in your, your beer once? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, there was a time where a fly was in here and it wouldn't stop bothering me. And then I killed him. And then everyone was like, add it to the beer. Add it to Did the beer. Did you do it? No. I didn't. Oh, I would have done it. If it was still boiling, I would have. It wasn't. Pain. It wasn't. Oh, yeah, you can't do it that way. See, look. Yep, some Chinook. So let's use this. Because you got a measure. Well, here, grab a, grab that sucker. 
grab that sucker. All right, and then we're gonna bring it over here. We're gonna put that on the apron. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you did it. What cam? I've noticed that too. Beard and Butts Brewery. Hey, Morwick. Yo. I thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, doing really well. Um, been through a lot in the last few months. It's been a crazy summer, uh, but yeah, I'm doing well, man. I appreciate it. Thanks. I hope you're well as. God, man, seriously? What happened? What's going on? Dude, the storm took out 20k of Morwick's gear. And oh, then, and no. then trashed oh, the first floor no. of his house, dude. Did you, uh... Dude, I am so oh, sorry, no. man. Oh, I'm no. I'm glad no, you're no, okay. No. That's a lot of gear to lose, though. Oh, no. Yeah, can you imagine... Dude, if the water was like up to here, though. No. Can you imagine that? Dude, that, that blows my mind. You know? Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. That's true. That's, yeah, see, insurance yeah, companies... Yeah, shit happens, man. Freaking insurance companies, though. What isn't an act of God if a flood is? You know, like, that's... I mean, that's, that's, like, that's one of the main <laughs> stories in Christianity is is Noah's Ark, and that was a flood. That's an act of God. God was mad. He flooded the earth, apparently. What is... I know, like, what isn't an act of God if a flood is? Uh, yeah. What isn't? You know, like, if, if a flood is an act of God, right. what isn't an act of God? For, yeah, <laughs> there's not a lot. A, uh, no, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm with you on that yeah, act of God. Nature. Oh, yeah, okay. it's, that's well, nature. Yeah, that's nature, Well, if I'm insured against this, then that's bullshit. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? You better find something. <laughs> no, I mean, it's fine. Like... Brian? What? Are there any hopped loggers? Yeah, oh yeah. Hoppy loggers? 
Would you mind if I hopped that logger? Do it, man. Yeah. Do it. I want to hop the Absolutely. Hell out of that logger. What's our cow? Oh, it's still boiling like hell. No, I was just, I, I'm just making sure that's still actually moving. Yeah. Of course it is. Of course it is. Of course it is. I'm gonna sell my NPC. The thing you just got? Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah, because I want to get, I want to get something else that's different. I want to get one of those um, seaboard controllers, expressive ones. You see those? There's a keyboard to change the. It looks like really otherwise. Yeah. Gray one. Yeah. Gray and black and gray and black instead of white and black. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. I want to add more hops now. Do what? I'm going to have glass zero minute hops in it. I want to add some more here. Just wait, 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 wait. You think that'll do well? Warm up? Oh, here's the warm up. I know this is going to be a little problem. Oh, yeah, we do have citrus. Over there, tell me what's it.
we got left? <laughs> three minutes. And then we're gonna start cooling this shit. I said give me three fit it. Tree fit it. Tree fit it. Tree fit it. I feel bad for anybody who was in Florida when that that hurricane hit Irma. That uh, and I and I also uh, that extends to Houston or you know I mean it, it just feels bad. That I don't know. It, there's no way to describe it. The 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 uh, the, the damage is done and that sucks. Just one of those things where you can't avoid it, you know. I'm gonna add some more hops to this recipe. To this recipe, I'm gonna add more hops. All right, pop it up. So we have a minute left. Are you gonna double this? Citrus. Yes, you were looking for citra. Yes, you were. Well, you found it. <laughs> yeah. The eye of born. <laughs> this way. so much. Have a great weekend. Uh, yeah, man. Appreciate the host, dude. I, I, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, 
Thanks, Morwick. Appreciate that, man. That's right. Sorry about your gear. I'm glad yeah. you're okay, though. Yes. Everything will get back to normal at some point. Have a good uh, you can, lunch. You can rock out any gear. You know? It's you, man. You're the important one. You can rock out any gear. Yes, you can. All right, so we need to hook this, uh, all this up. The chilling. Oh, the are we about to chill? Are we about to chill, man? I thought we'd been chilling all day, man. I'm just telling you it's hooked up, man. Definitely a flute. I appreciate you, man, but you really don't need to clean it all. I, 
I, I got it. Okay. You're saying I shouldn't touch anything there? Yeah. Don't, you're like, don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Brother, don't touch it. <laughs> It's a D&D &D game right there. Brother, don't touch it! <laughs> Brian is instilled with the the need to touch it after his brother. 100. Yeah. His brother said not to touch it, and Brian is filled with an insatiable urge to touch it. <laughs> Brian must touch it. There is no choice now. Brian, roll a perception. <laughs> roll perception. Do you notice your brother saying, don't touch it? Yeah, I did. Then you must touch it. Then you must touch it. <laughs> you must touch it. You must touch it. Yeah. There we go. Lots of hops in this, in this beer. Lots of hops. Almost half a pound of hops. Oh, what, what happened? What happened? Yeah, it's got to fill up. It's very low. There we go. There we go. The water's going somewhere. Let me tell you that. This is a uh, jacketed kettle, so if this was a real kettle, I wouldn't be able to hold my hand right here. And we just stopped boiling. We just stopped boiling. This thing would be super hot. The outside of this, uh, there's water running into here, and then it comes out the other side, and that we're uh, spinning the liquid with our pump and uh, creating a whirlpool. And this is cool water coming in, hot water going out the top into the yard, so we can water the plants instead. Yeah, and, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Touch me. Oh my god, Crowded Kitchen, what's happening? Hey! Touch me. Touch it. Yeah, it's, it's... Brian, touch it. Yeah, I mean, it's like right down here, it's, it's cold. Cold, cold. Oh, yeah. It's, well, it's, oh, warm it's nice here. and warm it's up cool here, up here, but it's not, like, it's not ultra hot. It's hot. These are oh, cool. These fittings are Oh, hot. that is. Uh, yeah, the that fittings are hot. Is hot. Yeah, everything else, though, the kettle and stuff, it's cool. Oh, yeah, I can... That's insane. It was just boiling. Touch me. Oh, yeah. You're with your dirty fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Been a minute. Yep. Yeah. Good to see Touch. you, Crowded Kitchen. Mm. Touch Crowded Kitchen. Crowded Kitchen's another uh, creative streamer. That is absolutely correct. Excellent cook. Yeah, boys. What's up? Wait, that's like a 90s and a 2016, 2015. Yeah, boy! I got that text from you earlier. Yeah, that's a meme. I got this text yeah. from you earlier. Yeah, boy! What's up? What's up? 
Yeah, we all went through that, right? Oh, the Budweiser Some phase. Did. Oh, yeah. No, that was the uh, uh, scary story, remember? Or scary movie? Well, yeah, but it the whole Budweiser thing, that happened, too. Mm. Scott's all about those dank memes. Snapshot! I do like some dank memes. Yeah. Nothing wrong with some dank memes in your... <laughs> dank <laughs> memes! <laughs> Oh my god! His power is over 9,000! 9,000 and can't be! <laughs> yeah, boy! Don't blow our camera up, man. We need that. <laughs> I think you almost did it. I'm gathering all the memes from everywhere to make a meme bomb. <laughs> A meme bomb, <laughs> dude! I swear to God, that's probably the best thing ever. A meme bomb. Mm -hmm. That is a meme in just itself. Just drop Somebody it on North Korea. That. Just meme bomb on North Korea, dude. Kick it up, just. <laughs> <laughs> if all the memes explode, no one knows what reality is anymore. <laughs> Oh my God. Wow. How are you still single, man? It's by choice. Because you want to be. Yeah, yeah. It's by choice. It's because you want to be. Yeah. I can go out any night. I could. I know it. You could. I know. I you could, could go, go out tonight. Yeah, I could. I could go out tonight. We could Actually, clean all this up and we could go out. Dude, you're dude. insane, dude. I'm not insane. Insanity means doing something and it has like specific results every time and then expecting different results when you do that same thing again. This is not insanity. You could come out with me. We could go drink, man. We could get an Uber and go tons of places. Hey, I got money. <laughs> I like money. I got money. <laughs> yeah, but you're not gonna come home with the girl? Doesn't matter. You could meet somebody. Just saying. Because being awesome is more awesome. Yes, right. Tell them. Yeah. Well, you gotta like that. bring this up to the next level, man. And it's not even about like not being single or like whatever that is. Yeah, I know. I don't understand what the whole thing is. No, we just go it's on Jewish out mother time. shit. We just gotta get married. No, we gotta get a girlfriend. Wait a second. How is this? No. How, wait. How is this? I know. Well, that is loud. Somehow somebody turned the music up. How, how is this at all? No, man. I'm saying we could go have fun, man. We could go do this. Oh, yeah, dude. I guarantee someone cool is playing downtown tonight. Oh, yeah. It's Saturday, man. Oh, yeah. And we just brewed beer. We could just take our business cards and go to a rooftop somewhere. Call me! Did you hear? No. But Basic what? Brewery's gone. Oh, yeah. Done. They closed. Dip. Yeah. Done. Poor Richard. Not poor Richard. You know what they said on the news? They said they had to shut down because the hour commute was too much. And my brain is like, you don't start a $100,000 plus brewery and then complain about an hour commute on the way there. So it's two hours a day. You're driving two hours a day. That's a lot. That is a lot of time to be driving every day. Yeah. But you own a business. Yeah. It's not a good excuse. Okay. Yeah, that's what I think. I don't think that's a good excuse. I think it was... Clip the meme bomb. <laughs> Did somebody clip that? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, you just brewed a buttload of Tango the Mango. Yeah, dude. dude. Oh, yeah, okay. You should be like right here. <laughs> right up in the camera. <laughs> How am I gonna get the mics over here? Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do that. Ooh, that's stretching it. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that didn't work. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
Too much weight. Too much weight. Wait, sideways? Whoa, whoa, what are you doing, bro? I was turning it sideways to see if it would oh. hold it better. No, it doesn't do that. Oh, no. Those things are flimsy. Dude, are they mine? Yeah. No. 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 What are you talking about? I didn't buy these things. Yeah, no, I will say this. Uh, and I don't mean any disrespect in this at all. What are you talking about? You can't name your, your brewery basic brewery. That's like just inherently a bad marketing <laughs> move. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's just a bad marketing scheme from day one. And I know Richard Rick well, the guy who started it, he is he was is sort of a friend of mine. We worked together for a long time. Um if he had won that by me, I would like No. I would like what no. Yeah, basic brewery. Yeah, B A S. Yeah, just spell the. Yeah, basic. As in, like, not not complicated. You basic. Yeah, you basic. You not complicated. No, he wasn't. He's actually super smart too. He's a. His trade is that he's actually a controls engineer. Like he's an automation engineer. He's very smart. He knows a lot. He's a very smart man. And yeah, he's very good at brewing. Marketing was not the thing for them at that point. It just wasn't. It isn't. <laughs> it wasn't. They're dead now. Yeah, but still. Oh, come on. Was this one is always dead. Yeah, this one. There we go. <laughs> I don't know, for naming his brewery basically yeah, kind of. But they brew good beer though. They yeah, they they brew pretty good beer. Oh yeah, no, it was really good actually. It wasn't just fiddling with the mics the whole time. That's exactly what we need to do. God seriously man, get out of here. Go, go. That looks good, right? Look, look at the screen, look at the real life. <laughs> don't look at the screen, here, look at why real don't, life. Why don't you just do it like this instead of coming closer? It was basic beer. It wasn't basic beer. It wasn't. I mean, they had good beer. They no, it did. was good beer. They did. They had good beer. I'm going to um, tilt that up. I'm going to tilt that up a little tilt bit. Tilt it up, man. Just stay right where you are. Yeah, stay right where you are. All right, Crowded Kitchen. See ya. Hey, thank you for the host. Yep, appreciate that. Oh. Well, hey. That's cool. Hey. You know, thank you for showing up. It's good. It's good. So here we are. Yeah, this is a little bit closer, right? A little bit. A little bit close, right? How close do you want to get? Yeah. We can do that. Okay. Whoa, we're tilted up. Down. What are you doing? Why are you going up? Oh my crotch in the screen, bro! <laughs> What's scary about my beard? You have a scary beard, man. I know, right? What's scary about it? I'm not skeletal, you know? Skeleton with a beard. No. What's scary about my beard? Oh my god! <laughs> what is scary about this? I don't know. It's squiggly. It's the not beard thick. is scary. Yeah, it's not it's squiggly, it's not thick. She needs a screenshot of you doing that face. I don't know what face. Dude, what have you done? Yeah, you got... OCD people are going crazy right now because... Here. There you go. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm.
I've had this beard for well over two or three years. I haven't actually never shaved it off, but I do keep it. I do keep it really kind of short for a beard. But I use beard oil and stuff and a beard comb, and it feels pretty good. It never annoys me. I feel. I feel like I would look really strange without it. What a beard? Yeah. Babyface Brian. Yeah, I don't want to look like a twelve-year-old. Babyface Brian. Dude, you wouldn't look like a 12 year old. Yeah, you'd, look like a, you'd look like a 25 year old who needs a job. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you'd look about 25, 26, guy who needs a job. Yet I'm a 35 year old who doesn't need a job and looks like I don't need a job. That's a better scenario. No, nah, you look like you need a job. Shut up. Why do, why do I look like I need a job? Because you need a job, I mean, man. You need a job. You need to figure that out. Yeah, you need, I a, do need job. a job. Whatever, you gotta, you gotta. No, listen. What well, you got people who would step on your heels to get your job. Oh, I have people that would like burn me alive for my job if it didn't get them in trouble. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. That's true. You can't say you don't have a job when you got a job that people would. One twenty. People would kill you and not even feel any remorse. They'd be like, oh, "You're right. down the drain. Welcome to the well, bitch." And you're like, <laughs> you know. I don't see why you told me I needed those stupid plastic bins. I took care of it on my own. I put him in the bathtub. You did what? Yeah, I put him in the bathtub. And then the bathtub, the just, bathtub just comes scoosh. down. That'd be me. I'd be the guy in the bathtub. Yeah! What, yo? What, J- or Jerry? What, Jerry, are you talking about? Hey, I'm a, I'm a simple office worker. I'm a simple office worker. I, uh. Yeah. Hey. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. We'll be right back. Hang tight. Uh, I know this is like a boring shot right here. Look at our kettle. You can think there's a reaction happening in this kettle. It is cooling in temperature. It looks so small. It looks like I could hold it in my hand, but it's, it's very weighty. I will, uh, I will be right back and so will my brother. Just give us one second.
Let's see. Oh, wow. There's a whole thing going on here. I'm going to scroll up and look at this conversation. Science, bitch. All right, that was the first thing that came out of me. All right, here we go. Hit it. Oh, I was, I was talking about I was talking about stuff. Who browses Reddit for memes eight hours a day? I do. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna beard. oil our beards, beards. yeah, beard. and rub them together. Yep. It's called unity. Yep. Get it right, sister. It's called unity. Is your timer set right? We're we're all set right? No timer. There is no timer. We're just waiting this to get down to temp, man. Your timer? <laughs> there is no timer. We're at 110 degrees. Bam. Oh baby, Prague Rock is where it's at, dude. I'm serious. Prague Rock. Turn on some Dream Theater, man. No, that's not Prague Rock. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. That's Hard Rock. No, Dream Theater. You is... don't even know. No, no, no. You no. have no idea what you're talking about right now, dude. I'm talking about Prague Rock from the '70s, dude. All right. Yeah, they're not from the '70s, but. I'm talking about when this came out. When when people started actually experimenting with the idea of Prague Rock. I mean, people can continue right, that on so nowadays. I don't mind. And Dream Theater is one of the most uh, skilled bands there is. The drummer alone, if you watch a video of the drummer, he has this wide span drum set that's just... Oh, it's huge. It's encompassing of him. And he can, he can play it like it is uh, a young boy ringing a bell. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was that? What was that? Like a young boy playing a bell. <laughs> Dude, no. Good for you. Good on you, man. Oh, it's, that's terrible. <laughs> it was just a real... I'm just making memes here, man. It was just, you are the meme bomb. The meme bomb, dude. I'm just gathering my Dude, meme you bomb. have to... Somebody's going to do this. Please, somebody do it. I have never heard that. I, neither <laughs> have I. <laughs> it's a meme bomb. It's Cheers. happening. The meme gods are loving you right, right now. That's right. I'll do it. Oh, 
Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What? This is a good time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> this is a good time. Mm -hmm. We are doing the thing. Yeah, I'm just saying. You know. Gotta, gotta have a good time when you're brewing beer. I'm, man, I'm still drinking our water. I'm just glad I think you're it's here. amazing, man. I'm just glad you're here, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate we, it. We miss you. I know. But you're going to be here? Yeah, I don't have anything else to do, man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll drop a little wisdom real quick. Don't ever... Y'all, anybody here who's listening, don't ever make somebody make you feel like you are less than who you are. You'll, yeah. always, you'll always be you. Don't ever let somebody take that away from you. Just got out of something where that happened. Yeah. Better, better now than I ever have been. Learned a, learned a lot about myself. Yeah, man. You are who you are. Yeah, but I'm saying like somebody that, comes that's along, easy to no, say, but no, I'm no, saying somebody like, comes along and they don't even know you and they try to make you feel like less than who you are. They don't even know who you are. Sometimes we don't know who we are until we oh, have yeah, that happen. That's very true. Sometimes we that's don't know the, who we are until that's we have the struggle that happen. Of, that's the struggle of a lot of people in this world. Meeting, they, meeting they, people is hard. Like, not just meeting people, but like forming relationships with people is kind of hard. It's difficult. You really have to like make sure that you're willing to even do that. You know? why I'm single. A lot of people way. a lot of people say they are, but they're really not. They just don't really care. I didn't find whoa, whoa, really whoa, whoa, necessarily whoa. who to I say am. say that somebody doesn't care just because they're not in a relationship doesn't mean that somebody's not an unempathetic. Un no, no, that's different. Because they're not in a I'm, relationship or something. Yo, 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 that's totally different. Yeah. I'm just saying. I didn't I didn't find who I am. I just found out some stuff about me that I was <laughs> like, oh, I didn't know that before. Here we go. So how did you find out about how who oh so how did i yeah <laughs> wait hold on i want to uh, where's all the capital words never did we're getting a secret message from I dex know, right dex keep going man yeah, we're, we're filling your we're filling your your cryptic thing here man there's a message how did end. i find it? i just had a bad relationship man it was not not what i wanted it to be it's okay it happens better for it no but no i'm, no, I'm no, really listen, glad to be here no though. listen it, uh, it takes a brave man to jump into that, you know, to expose yourself to another person. It takes a lot of bravery. Dude, getting naked with somebody for the first time is, is always nerve-wracking. Oh, yeah. That's a yeah. huge thing, too, oh, man. Oh, yeah, like, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, get naked yeah, with someone for yeah, the first yeah. time. It doesn't, so, matter. it doesn't matter your sexual preference. I don't care what that is. Yeah. I'm saying get naked in front of somebody, but for the first time, you're like, ugh. Yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, unless you're, like, 60 years old and play racquetball at, like, a, you know, country club, and you're like, I've seen so many balls yeah, in the that's me on the next cruise, bro. That's me on the you're next just, cruise. Well, seriously? Yeah, man. That's me on the next <laughs> cruise, bro. You know. Let's go eat burritos. <laughs> you're just walking around in a towel the whole time. That's, that's awesome. Oh, my God. That'd be great. It's like Trailer Park Boys. Oh, my goodness. Walk around in a towel. I don't know who I am. I, I uh, how did I find out who I am? I know who I am, but I don't know who I am. If that makes any sense, I'm still developing. I'm still uh, I'm still developing. Yeah. You know. Trailer park boys though, yeah, living the dream. Yeah, I'm crazy beard. Yeah, that's right. I'm just crazy beard. That's what I am. I'm just crazy beard. Snapshot. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I am the liquor. I am the night. That's right. I'm Crazy Beard. This is Smooth Beard. Mr. Smooth Beard. You have Smooth Beard. Yeah, because you, you actually trim yours. Yeah, I do. I, I get mine... This has been a this has been a work in progress for quite some time. The beard. Mine is thickening up on the sides and stuff like that, but you're doing a, good, man. Uh, no, nah, you're saying that like out of pity. I know you are. I can Shut see it in your eyes. Yeah, I know. I can see it out of your eyes. I'll accept I, that I have a crazy beard. I'll be all. I will be all. That seems like an beard. endearing term. Thanks. Uh, I know, Star right? Chris. Crazy yeah. beard. The brain beard the brothers. That's right. 
I am the liquor. I am the liquor. I am the liquor. I am the liquor, am the am the liquor in the night. The mother. <laughs> Oh, the mother of hangovers. Liquor in in the night. Ooh. Liquor in the night. That's yeah. a great sentence. I am the liquor in the. N- I am the liquor in the night. Everyone. What are you loves licking? Me. Everyone loves me. I what am the. What are li- you licking? I don't know. What am I licking? Am I licking something? I'm not licking anything. Right, gaming cove. I, I got your attention. <laughs> Somebody was like Licking The liquor in the night Huh? Uh, that's uncomfortable <laughs> Cheers y'all We're cooling right now The fat Apache Yes Your grind corp The liquor in the night I think it's liquor Like L-I-Q-U-O-R The liquor in the night but what are you licking? It's the plan on reads. What are you licking? The liquor in the night. Her. Yeah, right. <laughs> Her, man. Right. So this is the first time we've ever brewed and had added the uh, the hops brine in the actual match. Seriously, this is it. It'll be fun. Oh, I know. But uh, this is the first time. We've never done this. Is this your first time? First time. First time for you? Okay. You You are good. Awesome. I think I'm five beers into the stream. Yeah, I'm I'm about, uh, yeah, I'm about five. (laughs) It's probably a low estimate. Um, we're gonna put some mango uh, fruit into the. Uh, we're gonna put it into secondary fermentation. But mango does come from the hops because the Zaka is the only hop known to add a mango esh flavor. So that's why I chose the Zaka as our main bittering hop at 90 minutes. We doubled up and we went 56 grams, which is two ounces. Uh, turned out smelling excellent. We tasted it mid. Uh, mid boil and uh, it, it tasted excellent. Had a, a bit more of a grapefruit flavor than uh, I was expecting, but you'll never know how it turns out because we did add Chinook and Citra and Amarillo, and uh, we're going to be dry hopping with some Cryo Citra and uh, Cascade. Or, yo, know, Cryo Cascade. Cryo Cascade. Cryo Cascade. Do you have that or are some, you getting that? No, I'll get that. That's easy. That's easy. Um, but yeah, it's powdered hops. That's what, no plant matter. That pow pow. That pow pow. Yeah, that's what separates. Pow pow. I've come to the conclusion that recently, uh, the brews that I've been making using that, that's what separates a home brewer from a master brewery. That pow pow. Because you can, if it's a hop variety, like if it's an IPA, an any IPA, a pale ale. It's uh, not messy. It's not messy at all. No, no. In no, fact, it's, it's the same as it's the same as pelletized hops. It's the exact same. Only when you when you pour it in, it's it bubbles up. It's it's just crystals basically. It's they got rid of the plant matter. Yeah, this is yep first time. Yep. Master brewing versus master baiting. It's kind of the same. They're thing. actually no, they're quite opposites, dude. One produces something, the other one doesn't. Wait oh, a minute, you, this is for you. you no, I, you, I know, I right? Know, yeah, let myself open there. You did. That was like, ha ha, defense down. Pickle Rick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was a pickle Rick moment. Uh, yeah. See. Yeah. Wide open. One is. Yeah, wide open. Yep. Wide open. Well, okay, so listen. Again, if I do add any mango to this beer, it's going to be... I'm going to take a a mango, right? Which is about the size of this beer. uh, About the round portion of this beer. I'm going to cut a quarter of it off, boil it with some sugar and water... 
You guys and uh, and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut a quarter of it, boil it after I mash it with some water and sugar. I'm gonna let the flavors imbue into that liquid, and then I'm gonna uh, strain it, and then we'll have you know the sugars and the the flavor of a, a mango, and then I'll add that in secondary probably about six to seven days after fermentation has begun. So. Uh, the yeasts that are becoming inactive will have something to reenact with, and uh, also the flavor will get imbued into the beer. Um, we've done this before with a passion fruit, and we've learned recently that we've added too much passion fruit. So that's why I'm saying I'm only adding like a little quarter slice of a mango, just to try and add that mango flavor. Because it's gonna already be citrusy, it's gonna be um, tropical, but we, I want to add a little bit more than that. Um, it just depends on how it smells after the dry hopping portion has been taken. Taken. Before it has been taken. Before the dry hop season comes. <laughs> Fear the dry hop season. For it rains. Acid. <laughs> Overacting me, man. That's not acting. <laughs> you think that's acting? Chips, 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 chips. salty with tears. Yeah. Exactly. Of home brewing. Exactly. We can do whatever we want. It's nice. So we're uh, probably down to about a hundred degrees. Yeah. I'll, I'll bottle it. I'll bottle a couple of them. Yeah, actually, I'll if if I can, I'll uh, I'll bottle the whole thing. We have the thing to do. We it. have the power. We have the we technology. Got the tools. We got the talent. When they play that. <laughs> yes, they do. I don't know what funk we're on right now, but I am digging it, man. That bass line. People don't know how to do a bass line these days, dude. <laughs> oh, but, wait, it's, uh, I have to go to work. Aww. Oh, no. Aww. Bye, yeah, you can peek. Gotta make that money, girl. Gotta make that money. Have a good time at work. Yep. Drive safe. Have a good time. I want to learn how to brew sours too, fat Apache. Can't do it in the same kettle you brew other beers, man. You just can't do it, man. If you do a, if you do a true sour, you just can't do it, man. That kettle is done. You can only do You work from home? Well, that's nice. Okay, so you can kind of like keep us on, right? Keep our angelic voices on then. Yeah. Please. Jeez. I wish I worked from home. I could work from home. Doing what I do at work, I could work from home. Everyone could work from home unless you are taking care of people. No, 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 no. What about the, the packagers and stuff like that? You're helping people. <laughs> Get food and stuff. You're helping them. We have majestic beards. What do I do? Interesting question. Oh, well. A little hush-hush on that, huh? No, I don't have to be, really. I'm a maintenance well, planner. Tell them. I'm a maintenance planner. Where? I can't exactly say oh, where. Oh, okay, okay. I can't exactly I say where, but yeah, I'm a maintenance planner. Okay. So, my job basically... You hear um, that? He's like a spy, ladies and gentlemen. No. Uh, He's like a spy. No, so Where do you work? I can't tell you that. That's under wraps. Yeah, so I'm a maintenance planner um, for a major craft brewery. Um, and my job is basically a lot of data analytics, uh, 
reporting spreadsheets and yeah and making sure that we have all the right skill sets and tools and time to do jobs for the the brewery that's what schedule. i do schedule no that's not scheduling well people divulge schedules I, from what you know i take right? people that have skill sets and i put them on jobs like it sounds I'm, like scheduling kind of it's not scheduling like the like who's where or who's coming in when it's more like when these people are available like our backlog is pretty hefty i mean it takes a lot of maintenance it does on my, my backlog is fucking hefty too bro okay that's what i do though yep i got very lucky yes he did i got very lucky again people would people would probably kill to have my job they literally oh, yeah. would i mean not necessarily kill but they would be very jealous of shit I'm just a simple office Joe. I mean, to be truthful, I'm a I'm a simple office Joe. So, yeah, I'm I'm a simple Highland. Office Joe. Yeah, Highland. I do I do. Uh, Highland is yes. Highland I do things is where I, work. I do things that people in offices do, and uh, yeah, I'm in an office. Which could be any brewery. We'll never know. I know, right? Yeah, we'll never know the mystery yep. brewery. I'm not supposed to necessarily mention that, really, though. He's not. I'm definitely not pointing out anything right now. I'm just saying that uh, this is what's important. That is what's important. Yes, this. If you want one of these t-shirts, which you should, you should want one of these t-shirts... You can get a version of this t-shirt. Not this exact t-shirt. because this We has, got shut down. We have a Twitch logo on the back. They shut that down. Yeah. We got three shirts but, uh, and that shut, they shut it down. Uh-huh. But you know what? If you want one of these t-shirts... You guys are the worst spies. We are. I'm sorry. I'm just actually physically not able to say it. I'm just not. It's... I weird. play League of Legends and... <laughs> Play your guitar, bro! We can get away with being spies if we play your guitar! <laughs> Whatever. It's one of those things, it's like you're not supposed to say where you work. I won't tell you guys where I work, I'll tell you what I do. Somebody's gonna steal my identity, I know it. Dude, you got it. Equifax. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's scary, right? Watch Wait, someday. hold on. Wait, what is it now? Never. Wait, the. Uh, no, 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 words, yeah. No, his words. Never. Yeah, yeah. I'll get it. Hold on. Never did. Ha ha. No, no, no. Ha ha ha. Wide open. No, no, no. We're, no, I know. We're, line. I know. That's next line. So it's never did. did. Have. Never did have. Dex line. What did you never have? <laughs> Dex line. What did you never have? This is a fun game. It's not code. Well, it's turning out <laughs> it to be. It feels like it. Yeah, it's, it feels like it. Never did have... <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I, I never did have that either. Mm-mm-mm. No, it's mom. It's not. What is? What is your name? It's not code. It is code. It's code. It's code. Please that send us even, a code, Dad. That even means it's more code. Yeah, because if you don't the have worst a code, spies ever. no. If you don't have a code, then, then you say it's not a code. I wish I were big. So I made this wish on a Voltar machine. 
Do you know what that means? No, check this out. Do you know what that means? That means that he could have wished anything. Like, he could have wished, like, I wish I was a billionaire. And it would have been, like, overnight, like, this kid oh. is a billionaire. Like, yep. But he wished he was big. That's all he wished for. And he, he turned out to be Tom Hanks, which is equally as good as having billions of dollars. I guess so. No, really. I Dude, he, so. he, he landed an awesome job at a toy company. Boom. Got some of the... The dude, toy company. The uh, toy company in what New was, York. What was her name? Um... The actress's the actress. name. The she was head? super hot. No, oh, she wasn't yeah. redhead. She was the uh, Yeah, brunette. she was. She was hot. Oh, yeah. She was super. And he was like... Jumping on the trampoline? He was like, he's 13 years old. Oh, yeah. He, sp- he stayed... He's he got gave- arcade games in his house. He's got... Uh, no, he's oh, got he a, gave a soda her, he dispenser. Gave her a glow-in-the-dark he compass ring. Right. So she could see in the dark. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He got the top bunk. Why? Who won? No, no. See, that, that was a show of... That was a show. You got the top bunk by choice, you know. The dripping. Oh, it's good. Yeah, here we are. We're uh, we're dank chilling in the middle of a brew session. Actually, at the very end of a brew session. We've got a kettle that is cooling right now. We're down to 91 degrees. No. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. Dex line. Yes. We're proud, man. You're part of the Brew Nation. Yeah. You're an OG. You're one of the OGs. Yeah. Weeds totally ruined the image of her I had as a kid. Oh, yeah, that show. That show. It was a good show. Hey, Scott, do you want to go see something that I made? Yeah. Be right back, y'all. They're not going to sting me. You're just 
too worried. Just too worried. Thank you, thank you for that host, man. Dude, Appreciate that. Weak, bro, you gotta what? get that again. There we go, there we go. Thank you so much for that host, Escape Time. Appreciate it, man. Elizabeth Perkins. Dex, yeah, Dex already has a shirt. That's right. Yep. Ordered it medium. It was a bit small, but now he fits into it. That's good. That's good. Good. This weed's good. Oh, it's not on Netflix. Nope. All right, where are we at? About an 80. Probably. That's about 10 degrees off. Do you want to do that thing? Okay. The thing, man. Uh, dude. Do you want to do it? Not particularly. <clears throat> well, then we need to use that alcohol on that. Has it been clean? Stone. Yes, it has been cleaned. PBW clean. What have you been doing? Yeah. You know what? What have you been doing? <laughs> Man! Man! What, what have, have you, you been, been doing? doing? No, literally. Um, literally, we can do whatever you want to do, man. You want to hook this thing up? Let's do it. I don't think that we can hook it up because we don't have the right fittings and tubing and stuff. But okay. We can heat up the green tube and get... No, we don't. We don't. Well, good luck, man. We don't have the we don't have the tubing. We don't. It would inalterably, uh, or it would inexplicitly alter the equipment that we have currently, so that it wouldn't be usable in previous sands. Yeah, we need to do what we currently. What is that? Do. What you do every time? What yeah. Are you, what do you do? Are you still using that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have not used that new T fitting. I have wanted to use it, but yeah, I, I have not used it yet. <laughs> Yep, as long as 
get the towel all wet and everything. Do a little spray into that little nozzle where the hose goes in. There you go, that's it. Yeah, you got it. This is what old 70s music, electronic music sounded like before techno. old uh, space movie soundtrack. <laughs> it's good to have you along, Bobo. Bobo is a, an intergalactic species who helps out humans when they need help. <laughs> Bobo. That's terrible. What's that? Mm, just roll it around. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Sorry. No, it's good. It's nice and cool. Yo, hit this with some... Oh. I'll do it. I'll do it. This was some alcohol. Uh, where are the, where's the, um, top to this in the, uh... Alright, so, because we're going to have to spray this all down. Oh, that's got stuff on it. Is it? No, it's just the light. What? It's just the light. Oh, what do I say? Can you replace that? What? Oh, top. Yeah, top. Oh no, just the just the uh, the. Um, yeah, we're gonna spray this down with star sand, and then we're gonna. And the gaskets were those. There's that, and then there's this. Where are the gaskets? For the lids. The white gaskets for the lid in this. Look, I think it goes right there. Oh, they're right here. As you can see. Oh, cool. They are right here. There are four of them waiting for you. I think we can probably do this. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's a video game. You gotta stop the valve from stop getting. Yeah, it's it's time to get hysterical with sanitation. That's for sure. Did you hear it? I do. <laughs> Makes cleaning easier. Mm. What did brewers even do before Star Sand? I don't know. Uh, they just kept brewing. They yeah, they used kept alcohol. Brewing. They used their alcohol residual from their previous brew to keep things sanitary for yeah, their next keep brew. Keep brewing. 
you yep. never stop, then that, that helps. Pray. Pray for you as well. Zilchington. I like that name. Zilchington. What did you get? Zilchington. Nothing. You get nothing. You got nothing. You get Zilchington. <laughs> Is that somebody's name? Yeah. I'm Zilchington sorry. Zilchington prayed. I'm not saying that you're nothing, but... Yeah. What did they do before that? They prayed. Yeah, pray for us. Pray for us, everyone. Zilchington. Zilchington, pray. Pray. Say, say a few kind words for us. That's right. My lord. Come on, bro. We're trying to make... Shut up. Oh, I'll get you, bro. Oh, well, I'll get you, dude. Shouldn't you wear... Shouldn't shush, you be wearing shush, gloves? Shouldn't shush, you... Shush, shush. Spray me down here too, I touched this. Yeah. There you go. Get the other side too. What's going on over that? No, don't we flip the other way? No. Yeah, dude, it's no, downward. We, no, we want this up. That's how they're supposed to be used. Are you serious? Yeah, we've been using them wrong. No way. Yeah. Why do they ship them the other way? Because they're easier to ship that way. Oh, man, that's terrible. Oh, wait, so wait, do we have. <laughs> Powerful. No. Do we have a um? What are you looking for? Uh, airlock and uh, yeah, stopper. Yeah, we got one right here. Where is this going? We just need to be sprayed down here. That's not clean. This is clean. Gotta clean. Must clean. Law, law, B. I love brewing beer. It's good times. Gotta say, definitely good times. You got a fermenter right here. Yeah, we got a fermenter right here, and it's uh, it's ready to take that work, and we're ready to uh, spread on that dried U.S. Fermenta Cephale US05, which is called Chico Yeast. Yo, Johnny Rotten, what's going on? Good to have you here. What's happening? Uh, we are probably about... 10 minutes from being done. Yep, we're about 10 minutes from being about done. We're gonna take the beer that is in this kettle right here, and uh, we're going to transfer it into a fermenter that we have been preparing for the last about 10 minutes. Well, why'd you do that, huh? And you can pour that in there. Yeah, you know, yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, 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 like open it up no, and I'm pour. not gonna do that. Why not? Because I don't want to open it up. <laughs> Stop trying to tell me what to do. Man, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. It is a, a American IPA with a Zaka hops, Amarillo. We've got Citra. We've got Chinook. We're going to be using some Cryo Pow Pow, which is powdered uh, hop oils. Uh, we're going to be using some Citra Pow and uh, Amarillo and a Zaka in our dry hop phase. Uh, let me go over through our recipe real quick. This will help. This isn't fitting, dude. What? This doesn't fit. Oh, we'll get a different... Golly, I feel like it's the end of the world. Here, here. I don't trust this. This isn't clean. <laughs> hey, Johnny Rotten. What's up, man? Silting Silting You have the best name on Twitch, by the way. Uh, All right. Hey, how's it going? We're gonna be uh, going over the recipe here. Uh, this is a really simple American IPA recipe that you can follow at home if you want to. Uh, it's very simple to follow. 
Uh, it is a dance of passion. That's why we're calling it Tango the Mango. We're hoping for a lot of mango flavor. Uh, it is crisp and original. It's like an IPA with a mango twist. Uh, Zaka helps help accentuate the fruit flavors while cascading the mango fumes to make an amazing beer for the ages. Uh, the mango addition is going to be added in secondary because we don't want to add that corn yet. As you can see, our uh, expected SRM, which is the color value, is about 7 SRM. It's going to be a uh, very golden amber beer. We're hoping for around 60 to 70 IBUs, even though this program says that it's about 99. Uh, the batch size that we end up with is about 6, 6 and a half gallons in our permanent. Uh, our original gravity, as you can see on this program, is very low, and that is not what, what's going on here. Higher original gravity. Uh, we actually haven't even. We're going to take it. That, we're going to take it when we transfer. We will take it after uh, we're done transferring into our fermenter. So we'll let you know exactly what our original gravity is. And because we're using uh, a very, um, very stable, very um, perfect yeast, which is Cephala US 5 uh, that is going to allow us to get down to about 10, 13, 10, 11. Uh, it always eats down very, very well. Uh, you get a nice, clean, nice beer. Uh, this is our green bill. As you can see, we're using about 3,000, we're using exactly 3,000 grams of 2 pale ale. Uh, we're using some authentic German, or not German, Irish pale malt. Um, that pale malt is uh, an authentic imported pale malt from Ireland. And then we're going to use some uh, Mary's water, a uh, very small amount of 500 grams, uh, which ends up being about just over a pound. Uh, we're going to use some Crystal 60, 150 grams. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this is our hot bell. Uh, we used two ounces of Azaka hops at the 90 minute moment, moment when it started uh, boiling. And uh, then at the 15 minute moment, we used Amarillo and Cascade. And then at the zero minute moment, we used Shino and Citra. And we're gonna dry hop with some Cryo Cascade, some Amarillo, and some Azar. Uh, we've got Safari, again, US Dauphin, which is a momentous brand. Uh, yeast is Chico yeast, which is developed by uh, Sierra Nevada. Uh, our mashing volume is 37.8 liters, which ends up being about exactly 10 gallons. And uh, we end up with, you know, our actual batch size around 6.5 gallons, 22.4 liters. Uh, that is after evaporation. Absorption through grain. Uh, we are cooling our work right now, and we are down to say I probably will get exactly the measurement. Yeah, we're we're down to uh, we're down to eighty. 81 degrees. Uh, generally, I pitch at around 78, 76 degrees because I know the temperature loss is going to happen real quick when I drop it into our fermentation space, which is set to an exact 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, no, it's not going to be 3.4%. It's going to be probably around 5.56%. Um, all of our, all the estimates on this program end up being very minimal estimates. So I'm not saying don't trust it, but it's, it's just one of those things where um, the program expects you to get a certain amount and you know you're going to get more. All right. You ready for this? Drop out the bottom, let the liquid fall out, and then we're all done. Oh, dude! I already did that. Yeah. 
we did. Yeah, I already did that. Alright, well, where, where's our aeration stone? Uh, it's uh, right here. And the, uh... We're going to move this. That spray with this. It's already been sprayed, everything's been sprayed. Okay. Just make sure. We're good. Yeah. Just make sure. So what we've done, I'm gonna play cameraman here. All right, we're gonna dump this. We're gonna dump some of this true. So what's going on right now? Fix this here real quick. Hey stream snipers. Hey. Alright, so down in this fermenter right here. Right here. This little uh this little vessel right here. Uh we have an aeration stone and it is oxygenating the wort that we're slowly inserting into the fermenter and the reason for that is that yeast when they first start growing need oxygen it's it's a portion of their their need to reproduce but you don't want to it, it sounds weird but you don't want to oxygenate beer past this point this is the only point before where, this point. or before this point this is the only moment where you need to add oxygen to your wort and we are doing so with a very large aeration stone that is in the bottom of this fermenter right here 
and we're waiting for it to fill up with about six and a half gallons roundabout you can hear the the pump working hard The beards. The beards. See, there's his beard, and then there's the crazy beard. The crazy beard. Mr. Crazy Beard. Yes. We are transferring and aerating at the same time. You probably want to slow that down a little bit. We have a thick foam forming on the top of this vessel right here. Uh, the liquid is probably up to about this mount right here. Uh, we'll probably stop when it's about here. Give it a little head space. We've added some powdered Irish moss to this brew and all the thick particulate that is coming through this hose down here, uh, down through and into this fermenter, uh, it'll fall out in fermentation. So we'll get a nice, clear, bright beer out of this. Oh yeah, you're getting close. You're getting real close. I'd probably cut it now. Oh, you're getting all of it? Yeah, why not? Most of it will fall out of solids anyway. That's true. That's not good. Dude, pump's not plugged in. Oh. Oh, that's the air pump. I'm like, oh my god. All right, so here we go. All right, so that goes down here. We're just going to let this do a thing for a minute. Turn back. Yeah. All right, so we've got all of our wort down here into our fermenter. And we're letting, as you can hear, there's like a motor in the background. Not anymore. But you could hear that there was a motor in the background. And that is an air pump. Watching the beards. Uh, we're oxygenating our wort right here. Uh, that is a seven gallon stout tanks and kettles gonna pour over yeah. that's a good thing let's do it oh let me uh, let me sanitize my hands here sweet we covered this up when we spray that off dude yep So wait, okay. we need to piss the yeast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're gonna do that. Yeah, I am. You're making beer this time. Can you take a t paper towel yep. from a new yep, I can do it. thing and... Yeah, I'll clean it up. Yeah. I gotcha. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm almost ready to yeah, go. Yeah, you have to wait. Can you give me like two seconds? G give that us two, yeah. yeah. Wait. Seriously. Wait. Please. Okay, I just want to get in the back here. Alright, so your hands spray.
spray him down with some star sand. Well, you're making beer, man. I know, but you need to help me. Okay. Alright. So lift that lid up, please. You ready? Yeah. Hold on. Is that the only way you put it in? Yes. It's one for five gallons, for sure. Here we go. This is when the magic happens. Right, you ready? Yeah. Alright. Pull it off completely. I swear, putting this on the Krausen like this is what makes beer magical. Because it grows up in the beer that it wants to be in. Boom. Done. Alright. And then we take this, and then we take, uh, what happened to the thing? No, I got it. Thank you got it? No. No. You good, man? Me? Yeah. Okay, uh, Brew Nation. Sorry, I'm no. out of here. I gotta go home. Okay. I gotta go. Bye, y'all. Till next time. I think Scott's gonna be on for a little bit. So, hey, Dries, what's happening? Oh, holiday, Portugal. My goodness, man. Bye, y'all. Love you, Brew Nation. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, my brother's leaving. Uh, sad days. Sad days. Give me a hug, bro. And you too. And yeah, you too. You oh, oh dude, I love you too, man. Thanks, Brunei. Yo, down here. See you soon, y'all. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Crush. Crush jungle. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Crush jungle. Oh wait. Give me that Gatorade. Oh. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is my chest. So we made beer. The, the important part was in this little, what looks like a minuscule fermenter in the background, right here. Uh, there are six and a half gallons of beer. Uh, we have added US Cephale, US 05, which is Chico yeast. It is a dehydrated yeast that works excellent in a lot of different applications. I appreciate y'all hanging out. I'm gonna hang out a lot longer. Yeah, I'm gonna hang out a lot longer. My brother completely forgot his acoustic guitar here, and I don't know how to play guitar, so I'm not gonna play it, but I can tell you that it is here, so I may potentially jump on an acoustic guitar. Um, Pretty simple process. After you pitch into said fermenter right here, as you can see, this thing right here, uh, we're gonna take that and put it into a uh, an infirmary of sorts. Uh, 160p. That's terrible. Yeah, that's absolutely. That's no good. Yeah. That's absolutely. That's worse than mobile. 160p? That's 1990. Like high grade 1990. But, anyways. Yeah. Here we are.
Uh, I'm going to take a short break, bathroom break, bio break, whatever they say. Uh, and then I'll be right back. Cleanup's going to be super simple today. We got it. It's going to be super simple. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or... Yo, it's good to have y'all here. I guess that's all I have to say. You know, I'm, uh, it's good to have y'all here. Uh, whopping four pixels for y'all. Rocking it out. <sighs> Be right back. Baby, okay, so y'all, it is cleaning time. Yeah. He didn't even bring a guitar strap. I'm gonna ruin his guitar. <laughs> yes. All right, so we've got our beer in here. Yep, I can be Buckethead. Yeah, absolutely. KFC on my head. Boom, done. Got it. Got it handled. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love a coffee stout. Oh, I like a winter stout. Coffee bock, even better, even better. The the yeast used with a, a German bock beer is just so good. Hmm. It's good. Um, Dries, if you've had a if you've had a stout, you've kind of had a coffee beer. Um, it, it, it there's that that deep roasty flavor in a lot of different stouts, um, and it, it it resounds with coffee. So hey, you know I I think you you've gotten close to a coffee beer. I know you have. Uh, it's good stuff. Coffee beer is good. Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah. Pushing towards the Gordon, not the special export. Guinness is more like a molasses 
brown sugar, uh, nitrogen, just sweet and soft, silky, just delicious. <clears throat> Oof. Yeah, I think you're going to like it. I think you are too. Cold brewed coffee. That's where it's at. It's not bitter. It's sweet. And it tastes like uh, coffee's supposed to taste. I think you're going to enjoy it quite a bit. Give me just a second, y'all. I will be right back. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Charge something all day and it dies in a single day. I'll be your pixel cloud. Hey. Yo, Dries, I'm pixel cloud. <laughs> you can see, like, you know, some pixels. What's happening? See you, Dries. Cheers, man. All right. We're going to dry hop this with some powdered cryogenically frozen hops, which are what they call in the industry pow pow, which is powdered hops. Uh, we're going to... I'm going to really add the nice, deep, soft, but also bitter hop flavor of Citra, and Amarillo, and Azaka. So that's, that's what my plan in that is. Uh, yeah. Cleaning up is going to be very simple. I use a, uh, a power washer. And... We finished in record time, 5.01 p.m. Back in the day, we would have started at 10 and been done at 8 o'clock p.m. Boom, baby! You know how simple it is to make beer these days? It only takes a couple hours. It's crazy. Oh, I hope to see you too. Dries, it's always a pleasure to see you. Always. out but yeah I know right j j six hours bam oh let's get technical let's keep doing it we did not write this down we didn't do a single thing unless I missed it yeah, unless I, I totally missed it. Alright. We're going to take the original gravity. We're going to find out how sugary this beer is. Let's do it. All right, let's see what this is. Boom. Oh yeah. Blown away. Oh baby. There you go. So we're at 1060.
Boom, baby! Ten sixty. So we're gonna be around six and a half, maybe even seven percent alcohol on this beer. Uh, way different than the program predicted at ten three six. Ten three six. Can you believe that? No. More like ten six zero. So we're gonna be around seven, seven percent alcohol. We always get really deep when it comes to that alcohol content. Boom, baby. All right, so my cleaning process is very simple. I take everything, break it apart, I power wash it, and then uh, I use a PBW solution to get the rest off. I wait a day and then I uh, rinse it vi very uh, vividly and uh, you know I, I rinse it very very well and uh, then I've got completely awesome usable equipment afterwards so pretty simple uh, as the kettle is basically exactly empty I've got this kettle here right behind me this guy right here I'm gonna pop him in the fridge why not? I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I'll be right behind the camera. I'm only one man. I can't control the camera and the, and the, and the fermenter at the same time. But I can turn the camera around. Oh, that's heavy. Golly. So we got a beer, it's in the fridge, we're fermenting. Uh, I've got about, I've got one week left on the, uh, I've got, thank you, crazy beard. Uh, that's my new nickname. I will accept that 100%. Crazy beard. Yeah. Crazy beard. Give you a crazy yeah with that crazy beard. Oh. But yeah, I did it. We did it together, me and my brother, you, y'all. Yeah, we did it. We made a beer. Pretty simple. Take sugars, extract them using a kettle. Add a bitter uh, antiseptic, which is uh, the hops, which add a flavor of their own. Transfer into a fermenter, put into a fermentation unit. Fermentate at, or fermentate, uh, you know, have a fermentation that lasts about a week, two weeks, and uh, yeah, we're going to dry hop. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be good. Good times. I got two good beers sitting in that fermentation unit. It's going to be great. I'm excited. I'm, I appreciate y'all being here. Uh, you can stick around, of course. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to clean this all up, and it's going to be very simple. Uh, yeah, very, very simple. Thumbs up. I don't. You can't see that. There you go. Thumbs up. I 
I have a lot of family and friends to share this with. Um, turns out, though, a lot of the time they don't even want it, which is kind of strange. Even though it's better than most beers, in my opinion. Hey. Hey! Shrug emoji. Oh. I'll be right back. Give me one second. Good night, Dex. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Thank you, by the way, if you haven't left yet, thank you for hanging out. dollars right there. Golly! There we go. Hey! Hey! Here we gotta open the garage. Good night, yo. Good night, Dexline. Good night, anybody on the European side that is deciding to take the night off course that is a good time because if you're five to seven hours ahead of right now it is 10 to 12 o'clock that is a good time to hit the sack I will say so myself appreciate everybody being here today uh, gonna be pretty simple no I'm not blocked in oh had a moment Thought my brother brought me in with his car. No, I'll be all right. All right. Pretty simple process of what I'm going to go through. I'm going to take this kettle down. I'm going to disassemble it. I'm going to put it in a brown, uh, blue bucket that's outside. You probably can see, maybe not. Yeah, right here. This little blue bucket right here where my finger is. Right here. And uh, I'm going to uh, sanitize everything with a pressure washer, uh, including the pump, valves, uh, all stainless steel things, things, bruh. I'm going to take a break though.
it on me. Stream snipers. What's happening? It's just me now. Uh, I'm setting up the whole cleaning scheme. Just drain the jacket on the outside of our jacketed kettle. And uh, I'm going to disconnect the side glass and the uh, cord, the tubes that run to the, the pump. Oh, baby. I need to fix something real quick.
Creaning, yes. I am creaning right now. Yup. This is where I live. Around. I clean around. You know, this is where I live. I want I want where I live to be very, very clean. Yeah, I clean all around. Yes. I clean all around. And I kinda like it. I kinda like cleaning all around. All around. Yes. I, I very much enjoy it because I get to do what I want to do when I clean. I don't get the I don't get the uh, the the hate where it's like, man, you're not cleaning that enough. And I'm like, no, no, no. Listen, I am cleaning that well more than enough. So, yeah, those dirty verbs. The dirty verbs need to be cleaned our room. That's right. You come with me. We clean the outer room. Twitch wouldn't like that. Twitch wouldn't like that at all. I could do it. Easily. No problem. No problem at all. I got nice bamboo. I got nice bamboo underpants on. I'm it's nice. I could do it. It is it is probably around. It is probably around 79. It's probably around 79 degrees outside. And Nader, yo, you're hired. You want 100 bucks? Make us 10, make us 10 emotes, and you got 100 bucks. I'm serious. Crazy, my, the emote that you posted, boom, you're done, you're hired. Yo, yeah, I know, right? You're lucky, you're hired. Yo, Nader, make us 10 emotes. I'll pay you 100 bucks. Come here, come on. I'm serious. You want a hundred bucks? Make us ten emotes. God, that's so simple. Oh, you know you could. Think about it. Hundred bucks? You could find it. You could go through our our. Uh, you could go through our videos. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Find those moments. You know, make an emote out of it. Boom, hundred bucks. Split it with her, fifty bucks. What's fifty bucks? It's not a lot, but it is a good amount. I'd love fifty bucks right now. Oh yeah, you can go through path. We've got all of our videos, most of them, most of them, saved as uh, uh, highlights. Yeah, you can go through past videos. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You want you want some money? I'll throw it at you. I want emotes. I want emotes. I need emotes. I need the emotes. You made me feel so proud. I I have the first emote ever made about me. It's called Crazy Beard. I love it. I absolutely am going crazy about it. I got my own emote, Crazy Beard. Yo, make it happen. Again, I'll pay you money. Like, I'll pay anyone who's involved money. I have money. I will pay you if you get involved. I will make sure that you get some money. I know that's like, that's the most basic, uh, that is the most basic, uh, inspiration. But, I'm just saying, you know, you want some money, I'll throw you some money. I will throw you money. Make us emotes. I like... Stream, snipers, you weren't even here. I burnt myself. 
I burnt myself last time I brewed beer. I burnt myself. It hurt. I've got a big scar and I had big... I had... I peeled. It hurt. It hurt. I know. It hurt. There, there was a... There was a part of the, the kettle that wasn't secure, and it hurt. I know, right? My <laughs> yes, yes, it hurt, and, and I peeled, and it was hot, it was hot, and it hurt, and, you know, I had to put on a band-aid a couple of days, because it, it hurt, and, yeah. So I made a mistake, and, and that's what happens, you know? Scary beard. That's right. Got that scary beard. It got nothing on me. Show up with the balloon and be like, nah, boy. Show up with the beard. What kind of beard? The scary beard. Show up with that scary hair. Yeah, I know, right? For the boo-boo. Yeah, that's right. I had to, I had to put the... I had to put the band-aid on the boo-boo. What am I supposed to say? You know? <laughs> yes! Yes! Everyone puts on the Band-Aid. Everyone likes the Band-Aid. I mean, if there was a giant Band-Aid, a giant one, we're talking like absolutely giant Band-Aid, and you were at war and some medic came up and was like, yo, dude, I got you, and they put a giant Band-Aid on you, you'd feel so much better. I mean, even if, even if you were in a... a combat situation that was terrible you'd feel so much better I can't imagine everyone uses the band-aid for the boo-boo <laughs> for real somebody comes along I got you Woo! boom big ass band-aid on you you're like oh thank you yeah exactly just big snapshot so Again, my cleaning process is very simple. I'm gonna take this kettle down. I'm gonna de, de I'm gonna segregate it from its valves and the pump, and I'm going to clean them individually with a. Uh, I'm gonna clean them individually with a very low-powered but good, good for sanitation uh, pressure washer. It's gonna be good. Oh, yeah. It'll have Pickle Rick going through a dirty valve. I just did that. Pickle Rick going through a dirty valve. Open. Yep. Open. Open the valve. Pickle Rick. Fire it up. Like with what? Like a single battery. Just. Just. That was an empty beer. I can't believe that. That was an empty beer. I dropped 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 an empty beer. Golly, that could have been much worse if it was full. That would have... I know, right? Oh. Darth Vapors. Yo. You just came at a, a, an opportune moment. I, the hermit, the one who is left to clean the brewing equipment afterwards, after a brew. I am in charge of cleaning my own mistakes, which is a beer that has dropped on the ground. But it was empty. So, c cleaning it is more like picking up the bottle. S so, I will do that now. I will pick up the bottle now. 
here is the empty bottle that I've picked up. And and one that that comes along with it. Yay. Alright, so again, uh, that that's very damn, that was very cynical. Damn boy, that was cynical. Damn boy. So we've got our kettle right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. Of course you can. We've got our kettle right here. Uh, I'm going to take that down. I'm going to separate the sight glass and the tubes from it. I'm going to bring it outside. I'm going to take a pressure washer and I'm going to pressure wash all of that. I'm going to put it in this. I'm going to put it in a blue bucket, which is outside, and it is going to be a good time. Uh, very simple. Very clean. Very quick way to clean equipment. Um, if any of it needs any more cleaning, I will use hot water and PBW, which is powdered brewer's wash. Woo -woo. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's how this shit is going down right now. So hang tight, hang with me. You can watch me clean. Bada bing, bada boom. You know how it goes. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, that's. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Hear that voice? Clicked over. Ah. Okay, that's done. That's done. Everything's done. Yo, double D or uh, really long face. Why the long face, double D? Uh, that is the ending of an album by. Bowery Electric, and it is one of those like secret secret tracks. Uh, I'm gonna change that. I didn't quite notice it, and I appreciate that. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. Uh, you know how you can get kind of like uh, out of it. You know, you forget that something's playing. We made beer! Yo, Alpocalypse! Yo, what's happening? We made beer today. It's already in the the uh, fermentation unit that's right behind the camera. We did it. It's good to have you here. We got your vibes added onto this beer. That's cool, right? You came, you showed, you showed up. We've got your vibes attached to this beer. All the beer. Mm. Oh, baby. Oh! Oh! I missed somebody who followed. Yo, Slade Creative. Thank you so much for showing up. Thank you so much for following us. That's awesome. Woo! This kettle. It's my favorite piece of equipment. It's kettle. It's baller. Uh, jacketed. One of my favorite pieces of ever of all time. I've got a computer here. Uh, liquid cooled. This thing. Ooh, so much better. You know what? Alpocalypse, you'll find the beer that you'll find that beer. I think that you could find that beer. Uh, yeah. I think that you could find that beer. Yeah. Uh. All right. So uh, I'm gonna do a, a lot of cleaning. In just a moment, this is the this is the uh, prep moment that people feel in kitchens and uh, a, a lot of other businesses where the day has happened and then it's over. You've got to clean up, and this is this is my moment. I absolutely love cleaning up. It's it's one of my things. I like making sure that everything gets to a static, pure, um, a, a starting part. Did y'all hear? 
You can play Mario 64 with friends on your PC now. That's crazy. Blows my mind. Oh yeah, no, listen. If you're on a diet, take a diet, please. I I have gained six pounds since uh, since I've, I've started this whole home brewing thing, which was, you know, of course, three and a half years ago. But I usually I stay within a, a very static uh, framework when it comes to my weight. Oh uh, no no no! You have beer available all the time on tap. Oh, it it hits you hard. You'll, you'll gain weight for sure. You gotta you gotta exercise extra. You gotta make sure that you're. You gotta let's get together now. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll go over everything. You ready? Yeah. Look, I'll go over everything that we're doing right now. You ready? Here we go. All right, here we are. We are uh, we're brewing a beer, and uh, I'm going to show you the recipe that I used to brew this beer, and it's going to be a good time. You ready? Here we go. All right. This is Tango the Mango. It's an IPA, a, an American style IPA. We got uh, some flavor in motion. Tang of the Mango is a crisp take on an original style American IPA, but because of the hops and the additions that we've made, uh, we're going for a mango style twist. Azaka hops are the only hops known to uh, you know, a home brewer or a brewer in general that add a specifically mango-esque flavor. And uh, we're using that to you know, accentuate this fruit. You know, this, it's going to be a pretty fruity beer. It's, it's, it's not going to be too bitter. The, the uh, hops we chose, the hops I chose for this, this, this recipe, uh, are not bitter oriented. They're more uh, fruit oriented. Citrus, tropical, mango, passion fruit. The deep flavor of a, a mandarin orange or a, a, a Californian or a, a Florida orange. God bless everybody out in Florida for sure. What a terrible time, especially, you know, in this time and age. Uh, anyways, uh, you know, this is going to be an excellent beer. We're using Zaka, Amarillo, Cascade, uh, Zaka. We added some. We added some Chinook, Citra. Yep, we added some Citra. All right, so uh, this is Tango the Mango. Uh, we're expecting it to be around seven SRM, which is pretty light. A little bit, a uh, little bit, a little bit. Uh, say amberish, amber in color. Uh, this says it's going to be 99 IPUs, and that, that's international bitterness units. This is not going to be 99. You're, we're probably looking at tops about 70, and that's a bitter beer. I doubt it. I doubt it. This program over accentuates the power of certain hops. Um, I'm thinking we're going to top out at about 60 IPUs. Our batch size at the end ends up being about six and a half gallons. Uh, our original gravity was 1060. Can you imagine that? It says 1039. No, 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 no. it's 1060. So our our uh, alcohol per volume ABV is going to be around 5.9, 6.5% alcohol. Uh, as you can see, we're using two row pale, Irish pale malt, and Maris Otter as our base malt. And we added Caramel Crystal 60 for some, some color. 
to darken our, our beer a bit. Uh, again, we're using Zaka, Amarillo, Cascade, Citra, Chinook. Uh, we're going to be using some powdered, cryogenically frozen, and no, there's going to be no powder, or there's going to be no. Fala US05, which is Chico East. Uh, it has never done any wrong. Uh, it always takes on a excellent, clean, crisp beer. Never leaves a negative flavor in the background. Uh, a lot of times, German beers, and a lot of times, uh, there, there are quite a many different kinds of yeasts that can leave a flavor which is expected, of course, but uh, in this case, you know, with an IPA, you want the hops to come forward, you want the, the fruity flavors to come forward as far as like, a tropical base. Um, but yeah, hey, we've got uh, 10 gallons to start out with, which is 37.8 liters. And then we end up with, in our actual batch, about 22.4 liters, which is about six and a half gallons. If we do do this, if we, if, if I feel the need, I will add a mango, which is a half, a quarter of a mango, and then I'll boil it with, or I'll, I'll treat it with sugar and water in a pan. And then I will sip that to make it just liquid. And then I'll cool that down to a pitching temperature. And then I'll add that to our wort or our beer after uh, about four to five days after pitching. And that way we'll get a nice fruity tropical mango flavor. I'm probably not gonna do it. Probably. Just, it just depends. I don't quite know. Uh, it makes sense to do it. And it, it's not going overboard because it's only a quarter of a mango. You know, it's not, uh, it's not a giant amount. We're not taking half a pound of passion fruit and adding it to our beer. We're adding like a quarter of a mango. You know, uh, just, just one of those things where I think it's appropriate, but I don't know if it's necessary. And, uh, yeah, Ireland, oh, we've got, no, no, this is, um, it's Deluxe Pale Ale Malt. Okay, so listen, this, this malt is from Sierra Nevada, and it was used in an Irish pale that they made, and we got it for free. Uh, it came in 50 kilogram, no, uh, 50 pound bags. Uh, I love it. It's actually very good. Uh, it had a woman on it with a shield, and it's red. Uh, I, I don't, I don't have the uh, the actual bag with me right now. I have a, pe a portion of it that I cut out with a with scissors, and I put it in the the BPA free dispenser. Um, but it's got a woman, and she's got a sword and a shield, and it is a direct import from Ireland. It's a... Yeah, 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 you got it. Yeah, you got it. That's it. Yes. Yes, you got it. So, yeah, we we got that, and uh, we use that. I, I love it. It's great. A lot of times, people will say it's not modified much, but I have never had a problem with it. In fact, I've only had good times with this malt. And the fact that you brew with it every day, oh, that's awesome. That is fantastic. But yeah. Um, I felt very... Uh, ooh, let me turn this off here. Yeah. 
Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good about this, though. Uh, this beer has been nothing but pleasure to, to to make a recipe for, to hang out with my brother, to hang out with y'all. It's been a great time. Um, I've, I've got no issues whatsoever. That's what I'm talking about! Yeah! Ugh. What do I do? work five, or no, I'm sorry, ten miles from that farm. Yeah. That's actually very lucky, in my opinion. Ten miles away, you could talk to the farmer. Oh. Talk about fresh. Talk about fresh. Fresh grain. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Awesome. I got lucky because uh, the brewery nearby, Sierra Nevada, uh, decided that they didn't need as much grain as they needed. So they gave us two, two, uh, I, I, I actually do believe they were two 50 kilogram, no, no, two 50 pound bags of Irish malt and I have not had a problem with it in fact I've only had success with it I love it yeah there you go 25 kilogram bags white bags red logo on the front woman almost like a Viking almost like a Valhalla kind of thing but she's got a shield and it's red and she's got her sword pointed north yeah or Skyward. If you could, give me just a moment. I'm going to take a small, short, little tiny break. And then I'm going to clean all this stuff up. It's going to be super simple. Uh, pretty boring for y'all, but I'll put on some good music. And uh, I also... Nader, I appreciate you appreciating this album. I love this album. Uh, if anyone wants to know what, what, I'm, what we're listening to, this is uh, P.S.U.S. P dot S -U -S, take it easy. It is one of the best albums I've listened to in modern uh, stylage. It hits the sampling note. It hits the relaxing note. It rolls over uh, different genres. It's good. It's good stuff. I have posted it on uh, our... I posted it on our Discord. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Meow. oh, oh. But uh, yeah, give me a moment. I'm gonna take a little short little break. And, uh, yeah, I will be right back. 
Again, I'm going to clean this kettle. Clean anything that needs cleaning. Which is pretty simple because not much. Golly! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh my god! Are you serious? Oh shit! Oh my god! 30 hectoliters! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. 39! Shit, even two. Oh my god. Oh my god. move on to electric. I want to move on. I want to move on to electric so bad. I want perfect temperatures. I want, I want, you know, like, I want, and that way when I write a recipe, you know, it's like, oh, everything is so in tune. Slave. Let's develop a, a personal relationship and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Hit us up on Discord. Jump on. And we've also got a lot of members who know what they're doing as well.
So, yo, if you want to start in brewing, you don't need a garage full of equipment. You don't need all the super expensive, you know, the, the, the things that, that put people off when it comes to home brewing or the lack of knowledge. Hit us up. I'll let you know everything that you need to know. And in fact, I'll let, I'll let you know what you should probably read. You know, I mean, I don't want to guide your journey, but, uh, you know. Oh. You know, I like both of those things. Just saying. I like it. Don't ever stop. Uh. 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 Oh. Sarara. Sarara Smusen. Sarara Smusen. I like that name, actually. Sarara Smusen. Thank you so much for the fall. Welcome to the Brunation. Sarara Smusen. So Robert Smithson. Yeah. Take the harassment. You know? It's one of those things. Take it. You'll love it. Yeah, Sarah Rasmussen. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Thank you. Oh, I applaud my own inability to 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 say people's different usernames. That's terrible. <coughs> no. Yes. Yes. Submit emotes. Yes. Hell, I'll, I'll even... My brother's not here. I'll even expand it beyond that. If you, if you post an emote that I enjoy in three different states like Nader did, I'll pay you 10 bucks, I'll pay you 15 bucks per emote, if it's good. If it's a good emote, I'll pay you 15 bucks, I'll just drop it in your, in your, uh, your PayPal. But, uh, yeah. Uh, would I recommend one of those do-it-yourself type kits that you can buy on Amazon for 100 bucks? Maybe. Yes and no. Uh, yes and no. Join our Discord, dang it. Ow! I'm not in there right now, of course, so, you know. But I'm just saying, yo. You uh, you join our Discord. I'll hit you up. I'll, I'll I'll help you out. I make good beer. I make excellent beer, actually. I make excellent beer. I will help you along the way. It's very simple. It's extremely simple. Uh, in fact, I go along with my journey through beer making. I go through along and uh, I I let people know that it is very simple. Quite like people say, cooking is simple. Oh, cooking is so simple. No, it's not. And I could say, brewing is simple. And people be like, no, it's not. But in its base form, it is. It, it, it is. It's, it's super simple. And you can make better beer than a lot of breweries make at home with minimal equipment. It's good. It's excellent. You can help your friends. You can be that guy or that girl you know that oh nailing it somebody comes over hey you want to i made this and somebody's like no way they blow their mind gets blown family friends boom yeah uh 
Exactly. That is yet to be proven. It's one way or the other. Somebody can say, oh, you know. Somebody can somebody can say, oh, you know, you don't need a super expensive equipment. Somebody can say, you do need super expensive equipment. You know, personally, for me, I I know that if you if you hit your temperatures and you're aiming for a goal, if you do it with your soul and your friendship and company, you can you can attain it and it's not hard. It's it's not hard at all. It's probably how the Romans back in the day thought about making concrete. They were probably like, oh it's so simple. So it's so so simple. So I can't believe you don't know how to make concrete? Be like, yeah, I don't. Nowadays, they make concrete completely different than they did in Roman days. But apparently, you know, they, the way they did it back then, it was pretty awesome. But, uh, you know... Uh, yeah. Come on down. Come on down. I'll, I'll feed you beer. We'll make a good time. We'll have good times. Come on down to the Appalachian Mountains. We'll have a good time at a fountain Or a waterfall or mountain We can do it, we can have a good time Come on down, come on get in line We're gonna have a good ride well, That's what I'm talking about Come on, baby, come south If you north, if you south, come north Come now, Appalachian Somehow we got it wicked, we got it wild Come on Gab F, I don't know what that means. Scott, are you great at being Flanders? Yes, I am great at being Flanders. I'm Gab F. I'm great at being Flanders. No, sir. I am, uh, yeah, I know, right? Karaoke stream. Uh, yo, I am, I'm locked here. I, in fact, I, I'll break people's hearts. I'll be like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to TwitchCon this year. I know, I'm, I'm not going to TwitchCon. I, uh, well, no, 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 I'll put it this way. I don't know, I don't know what I would do if I went to TwitchCon. I don't know what I would do. I don't know where I would stay. I don't know anything about that side of town. I don't... Or that side of the country. I don't know where I would go. I don't... I don't know. I'm not a... I'm, we aren't even on social media. You know? Like, I don't know what I would do. Like, I don't... I feel like that guy in... The, I would feel like a useless character. Like that one time aside in a Final Fantasy IX you know, rhyme or dime, you know, that's what I would feel like. I'd feel like somebody who didn't have a purpose. You know, I don't, I don't know what I would do there. I don't, I don't know what, what, I would go, but I don't know where I would stay, and I don't know what I would do there. I could bring beer, of course, and people would love it. I know y'all would. I know you would, but I don't know what, what else to do in that circumstance. do that well here that's the problem if i have to cross the country to do it it kind of seems like i don't like an, i don't know maybe that's an addiction i don't know i would love to go to i i would absolutely love to go to twitchcon i just don't know what i would do i i'm not i'm not a networker i'm not the kind of person who knows how to do the crowd I, if i had a thousand people watching me i'd still be the same way i am right now and I'm, I'm very honest from the heart. I tell people how it is, how I feel inside. I just don't understand what I would do at TwitchCon. Aside from meet some of the people that I adore because they love being here with me and that's that fills me up to the heart. Oh, the people that are the OGs, the people, the new people, anybody. It makes me feel good that people are enjoying the idea of making a beer, the craft, you know, I just don't know what I would do. 
I don't know what I would do there. It, it bums me out inside because I'm, I feel like uh, a little bit of a... You know when you're in it, you, you have an inability to understand something and it freaks you out a little bit or it, it infuriates you a little bit? Uh, that's how I feel about that kind of situation because I'd love to go. I have the money. I have the time. I could ask for the time off. It wouldn't be a problem. I just don't know what I would do there. Like, I don't know. Like, and it, it, it feels so... Uh, From the, you know, viewing from an outside point of view, it feels a little bit fearful. It's like, oh, what are you, you don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, you don't know. What, I don't know. I have no idea. I love where I live. I love the people around me. I love to travel, though. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I could, I could do it. It'd be last minute. And it'd be expensive. I would need support. That's I, that's all I'm basically coming to the point of. I'd probably need some support. I don't I don't know what I'd do aside from rent a, a van and sleep in the back of it. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, rent a van for the the rent a van for the experience or the time that I'm there, and then sleep in the van.
first time today. During the stream, of course. Yeah, you know. Oh. Yo, Nader. That's a shame. I've seen pictures. Dudes stand in front of dudes and stand in front of basically hills of uh, buffalo skulls. It's, it's a shame. Uh, make, makes you makes you sad, you know. I'm 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 not vegan, but I care about all. Yeah, I care about a lot of the way that the world works and, and how interaction happens and it's sad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, it's all good. I mean, I won't click it, but I know what exactly you're talking about. Uh, makes you sad, you know? That people were willing to go that far. I can't believe I asked my brother to bring his guitar over and he didn't play it once. Not once. Sitting down, doing nothing. If if we had a brewery, what brew would you want us to brew next? If you were hanging out with us in the brewery. What brew would you want us to brew? <laughs> yeah! you're in Canada, but the, the distance, because the lager we just made, Perpetual Prost, uh, Prost, per Perpetual Prost, which, you know, like a, you know, an endless cheers, uh, it turned out just like a Vienna lager, just like it, just, like, mm, a Vienna lager, hands down, and it's good. It's like a, oh, it's like a crisp domestic beer, but it has that, um, that Vienna, um, biscuity, crisp, uh, flavor that, that rolls over your tongue. Yeah, 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 It turned out excellent. Um, we used, uh, what yeast did we use in that beer? 
We use the Colt Sheast. Yeah, we use the uh, No Starter Colt Sheast Smack Pack. Uh, I guess that is a starter, of course. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it tastes excellent. Had a... We used... I quick carved it last night, and we, we had a, a glass or two of it today. Very good. Just... I don't want to toot my own horn or anything like that, but yeah. I don't have to worry about, uh, I don't have to worry about anything coming up from underneath me with twisters or anything like that, but yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good stuff. Uh, conditioning and fermenting happened over a five-week period. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that fermentation stopped about five days after pitching. Uh, I mean, a lot of people will think that a, a uh, lager will take a lot longer because low flocculation. But uh, I assume that the, the main fermentation uh, happened about, you know, five to six business, you know, five to six business days. <laughs> five to six business days after it was a uh, the yeast was pitched, and then uh, conditioning happened over, uh, you know, say about a month, month and a quarter. You know, uh, when it comes to a lager, generally it's about a month, two month period. Um, oh yeah, no, we hit, we were, we were, uh, we were 60 degrees for 30 hours after we pitched, and then we were 50 degrees static, static. Uh, talking about a fermentation unit that only has one fermentation uh, vessel in it and we were static at 50 uh, for 33 days so that's 38 days in total uh, yeah real low 50 low like 5 0 5 0 um, it turned out I would I would suggest the next time I do it a one day 70 degree DSL rest uh, it's carbonated perfect it tastes good it rolls off the tongue and it's one of my favorite beers and I, I knew it was going to be two before I even brewed it with my brother. We did not. Not for this beer. Didn't do a D rest. And there's no D. The D isn't there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But yeah, no, it, it's good. It's very domestic. Uh, German domestic. Very good. Very, very good. Yep. good day. I'm serious. I love hanging out with y'all. It, 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 this has become a passion of mine. Uh, some people 
some people paint Warhammer figurines. Some people draw and very well or paint. Lazy Luthien. Some people work with clay. See not bush. Some people work with music. Morwick. El Pusher Man. I like I like I like this. I like I like making gear. I enjoy it. I learn I learn something new every time I do it. Last time I got hurt for the first time. Hurt. Like bad hurt. I got hurt the last time I made beer. Uh, there, there, there's some flame over here, and I have not felt that except for the last time I, 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 uh, I made beer. And even, even though I felt those flames, it still turned out awesome. I know. Where is my PPE? Where is it? We're not using alcohol when we touch stuff. I have... I have nitrile... I have nitrile exam gloves. We... We sterilize everything using star sand. Five star star sand. Uh... It's not enough, you know? And uh, the last time I brewed beer, I mean, I'm telling you. Could have been way worse. Oh my goodness. If I was working at a major brewery, if what happened to me happened with a big kettle, like a big old, we're talking a big old kettle. Oh my goodness. I, I, I could potentially have uh, Two-Face kind of thing, you know? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll explain it. All right, man. Uh, all right, so we've got this kettle right here. And it is a jacketed kettle. That has nothing to do with what I'm about to describe to you. We've got a sight glass right here. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom into that sight glass. All right, so listen. See this side glass right here? Uh, there's a tri-clamp right here. This little, this tri-clamp right here. Okay? That was not there. This tri-clamp was gone. I, last time I took apart the, the brewing system, I tried to take apart this sight glass elbow unit and I could not separate this from this but I had forgotten to put this tri-clamp back on so what happened was last time I was brewing I went to go sanitize our pump which is down here I went to go sanitize that pump and you do that with boiling hot wort that rolls down through this, through this pump, and then back up into the kettle, through this valve right here. You can barely see it, but yeah. So, I'm doing that, and there's wort. I'm, and this happens for like five minutes. There's wort going through here, 
and it through this pump and back up through here. And then I, I, I notice there's a drip, drip, drop from here, right here. There's a drip drop. And I walk up and I'm all like, what's going on? And I notice, and I do it with this hand right here, I notice that that is, it just, it breaks apart. It just, this hose right here falls down onto the ground and there's hot boiling work just flowing down from this sight glass. Just, it's bad. Just, right? So I reach up here and I, I turn the valve and I close it, right? I don't want that open anymore. But I had burnt myself because when I had done that, when I was doing that, I had grabbed the this portion right here, right? I grabbed it and I was holding it up against the sight glass right here. I was holding it up against the sight glass. So I'm, I'm holding that part and I'm, 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 I'm pushing as hard as I can up against the sight glass. And then I'm closing the valve up on top too. At that, as that moment. So I have this giant blister on my my hand, and I peeled all throughout my hand in 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 the end. But uh, in reality, I mean, nothing bad happened. But oh my goodness, safety first. Check your equipment before you brew. Yeah, yeah. Check your equipment. Make sure that everything is in place. Make sure that everything is the way, because no matter how familiar you are with something, make sure that it, everything is in place, because you can get hurt. I mean, you can get hurt when propane, water, it's like you're in a kitchen, you know? You don't want to get hit with a big tub of boiling water. You don't want to burn your hand so that you have you know, like your whole hands all blistered. No, you don't want that. So make sure that everything is a-okay with your equipment before you do any brewing, any cooking, any any kind of stuff like that. You just, no matter how familiar you are with the equipment you're using, make sure that you check it twice. It's always better. It's always better. I learned that the last time I brewed beer. I mean, like, I really did. I hurt myself. I have yet to hurt myself except for the last time I brewed beer. I never hurt myself. I never even, th I never even thought about this being something that could hurt me. Oh, yeah. So, you gotta, you gotta make sure that everything is in place and that you're, you're, you're in the mental state to create something. You know, you don't want to be... You don't want to rush into something you don't want to you don't want to do something stupid especially around something powerful like fire or heat that will really hurt you exactly always check your equipment before you brew boom oh boom nailed it all right Alright, so I've got a couple of things that I need to fix. Number one, somebody donated five dollars at the beginning of our stream. And I don't know who it was, and that's terrible. Yeah, that's bad. Somebody donated five dollars, and I don't know who it is. That's terrible. That needs to end immediately. I need to know. I need to know who supports. Yeah. Nom nom nom. Hmm. Pressure. 
Mm. 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 Nom nom nom. No, no, no. Hey, listen. Hmm. Hmm. Jesus, don't choke. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have to find out. I mean, have you ever played a have you ever played an RPG? Sometimes you have to Sometimes you have to fight that boss. Sometimes you have to fight it. You know you can beat it if you play it like 60 times. You can beat that boss. Sometimes you have to play that boss. You know? Handle? Nah, you can handle it. You just gotta get to it. You know? You gotta try and try again. <laughs> Rated boy, oh, baby, as you can see, yo. We at the end of a brew. You came by, you hit me with a ruse. Uh, you raped me, oh boy. Nick, Jupiter, Kobeck, Oi. Yo, we hitting it hard with the hard beats. But you know what? We slept with the war weeks. Yo, we got a new follower. Yo, what's up? I'm a bit late. Everything is done. There's not even beer in the sun. We rolling high with the wire. Everything's behind you. You know what you can wire. Wow, yo, dog, what's up? Rolling with it, uh? What's up? This is a high wall. We gonna clean this up. I'm eating dinner. Yo. <laughs> oh, we got so many followers. Oh my god. We made an IPA in a 10 gallon, or I'm sorry, this is a 15 gallon kettle. Um, oh my goodness. A little bit, a little bit try hard. You know what it is, Sergeant. What's wrong with trying hard? You know what? That's all I gotta say, Sergeant. You want me to try hard, don't you, Sergeant? You don't want me to, uh, you, you you don't you don't want me to try less, right? You want me to try hard, right? That's right. Yep. We try hard. Uh. Why why thank you. I'm just at the end of a brewing session. You know, we got a we got a acoustic guitar here, and oh, oh man. Well, you have to wait. I'm eating.
Alright, so, uh, there's a live radio station out there on YouTube, uh, and, you know, I can't say it's the best, I can't say it's really awesome, I enjoy it, uh, it is a channel called Steezy, that is S-T-E-E-Z-Y, as fuck. And I'm sorry for being not, uh, I'm sorry for being not, uh, PG-13, but it's steezy as fuck. So it's S-T-E-E-Z-Y-A-S-F-U-C-K. Yeah, it's a lo-fi. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the only reason why this keeps pulling up when I'm, when I'm doing my YouTube channel is because I am a huge, absolutely huge prog rock fan. And it generally takes lo-fi modern music and twists it into what prog rock used to be. Um, let's play some. Let's play some good music. All right. So. Uh, uh, I'm eating right now. I know that sounds so weird. We're on creative. Uh, we've already made the beer. It's like I'm, I'm not giving up. I'm not letting out the stream. But no, I'm here for y'all. I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all being here. Uh, do you guys know the... Do you know the, the water? We're made out of water, right? Everything's made out of... Everything important is made out of water. <laughs> Everything that is important has water in it. We'll put it that way. I mean, certain things don't, like gold and, you know, money. You know, you can go all about it. But, like, no, I'm saying, like, everything that's really, truly important has some sort of water in it, right? So, like, we made beer today, right? And I'm, I'm about done. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a pressure washer, and I'm going to pressure wash the freaking... Uh, Christian, uh, Christian Minecraft server. I'm mean, gonna get freaking wild tonight. No, I'm, I'm gonna clean out this, uh, this, this lovely kettle that we have here. It's by Bruha, a Canadian company. An excellent kettle. Uh, it is jacketed so that we can, we can cool the wort on the inside. Just super quick. Yeah, exactly. We're made out of water, man. Right. I love things that are made out of water. The best things are made out of water. I'm serious. The best things are made out of water. The best things are made out of water. I'm saying the best things are made out of water. Uh. Okay, boys and girls. I'm eating chicken, carrots, and some toast. You know, that's you gotta you gotta rock the the evening out. Everybody. Oh my god! Holy sh holy schmackles! Holy schmickles! If I missed anybody, I really sincerely appreciate it. Uh, I am sorry. Uh, the decent guitarist. What's up? Welcome to the Brew Nation. Statewide Space 4. Welcome to the Bird Nation. Thank you so much for joining. We've got uh, Zepastiacio. Zepastio. Thank you so much for joining the Brew Nation. We've got Makashi Blade. Thank you so much for joining the Brew Nation. Welcome, welcome. Everybody welcome these new members. Everyone's like a, a, a drop of water in the lake that is Brew Nation. We are a nation together. My goodness. Yes, my goodness. 
It's good to have you here. Excuse my eating noises. Excuse all the the chaos of the moment. We are done making beer. I bet. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I guarantee you this. Are you out there and you don't know how to make beer? If you don't know how to make beer, you need to speak up in chat. If you don't know how to make beer, I will tell you in chat. I'll tell you in, in real life. I'll tell you with some spice, some, oh! Some nice sugar. You know what? All right, so before I jump into my whole thing, I doubt that, Nader. I doubt that. I absolutely 100% doubt that. One, uh, uh, for you as, as who you are and what I know you for, for you to say that you don't know how to make good beer, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. You felt success and you know what's going on. So, yeah, that's that. That doesn't seem like uh, something that. That doesn't seem like something that would make sense. Anyways, uh, all right. So, Mr. Decent Guitarist, Mrs. Decent Guitarist, the Decent Guitarist. So you take some sugar, and you. You womp it into some water with some heat. You just womp it in there. You just get that sugar right into that water. Snapshot. You get that water sugary, right? And then you add your flavors, and then you uh, you populate it with yeast. I know that sounds overly overly simple, but uh, a lot of people will. Uh, will dispute the fact that it isn't that simple. So, really, we've got, I don't know how to say that, KSA? That's what I'm gonna say. Yo, KSA, what's up? Welcome to the Brew Nation. Yo, um, you know what? Again, I, I disprove myself. I disprove everything. You, you, you know how to make good beer. You work for a brewery. Breweries don't exist without good beer. I'm, I'm serious. Woo! Woo! Yeah, breweries don't exist without good brew. Yo, Nick. That's what I'm gonna call you. K N I I C. That's Nick. Yo, what's up, Nick? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Grenation. Uh, I'm gonna start cleaning this up in just a moment. I'm, en I'm enjoying myself after a long day of, of uh, a hard brew. Yeah, boy! We brew beer. That's all we do. And if you don't know anything about brew or beer, you can learn, you know. It might help you out in the future. Um, it is... An, I, I try to have fun. <laughs> I try to have fun. That's what I do. I jump in. We play some good music. We've got a 
got a nice setup and it's it's a fun time. Appreciate you being here. Yeah. Ah. Give me a moment while I take a break, uh, and then I'm gonna take this kettle. I'm gonna take this kettle, and I'm gonna take it down off of the uh, ladder that it is on, as you can see. I made two. I made two labels for that. Because I brewed it twice. Woo! You know what? Dude, decent. If I asked you if... No, listen. If you were like, Yo, playing guitar is easy. And you can do it anytime you want. And I was like, Oh, yeah, that's right. You know? And then if, you know, if I was distracted, there's no way I would be like, Yo, decent guitarist, you taught me how to brew, man. you taught me how to play guitar. It'd be like, nah man, you do what you do, not me. You play the guitar, huh, huh, huh. I don't, I brew beer, that's what you do. And that's what I do. It's not that I don't care anyway. I'm just saying that you got it down. D -d 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 Dang. Yo, uh, give me a second. I'll be right back. I will be right back. Give me just a moment. I got, I got followers hitting the floor. I got the D R U M Monkey G. You know what we got for you? We got nothing, B. Backdoor surprise is what's going on live with the newest follow. Yo, what's happening? I'm not shallow. Yo. Uh. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome to the Brew Nation. Everybody welcome these new members very nicely. We are a body of water. We are together. And, uh, you know, hey, we're all nice to each other. That's, what, that's the whole good thing about the Brew Nation. Uh, uh. Yo, done brewing for the day. Time to enjoy a vivid red, red, big red. I can't say it. A Vivian Big Red Cock. Yeah. That's the dang dang. Belgian American red ale Yes, the best things are made of water. That's true. I'm not kidding you waterfalls uh, Have you ever been have you ever been at a uh, 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 Say uh, Disney World or Universal Studios or you're at Carowinds or you're at uh, Six Flags or you're at uh, you know, any, any, um, you know, you're, you're at a place and there are rides and stuff like that. Some of the best things in life are like one of those, uh, one of those tents that has the, you know, like the water that sprays in a mist. It's so awesome. No, 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 the, those, those like, you know, like you, you, you walk in there and you're, you've been hot all day and then you walk in there and you've got this, this, uh, mist that sprays on you and it's just, you know, just water, of course. Hey, maybe I'm too simple. I don't know. I think about that. I'm like, oh, it's good stuff.
<laughs> yeah, for real. It really is. It's like the best feeling ever. You've been walking around all day. You're super, you're just overheating. And you walk into this tent and there are jets of just sweet, just awesome. Oh my God, the water just overcomes you and you're like, ah, oh, this is excellent. Please, throw more water on my sweaty face. My furrow, it needs more. Thank you so much. Uh, it'll show on the screen in just a second. Oh, I'm bad with with uh, follows and and all of that. If if this does not tell me who just hosted me, I'll be mad. Oh man, you already know. Uh. What a day. Brewed an IPA. Got a kettle behind me. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna use a. Uh, I'm gonna use a very simple electronic. Uh, an electronic pressure washer, and uh, I'm gonna make sure that everything is clean. And after that, you know, hey, you know, that's how it is. I appreciate y'all being here with me. I am gonna. I'm gonna hit the actually. I'm gonna hit the road. Uh, I don't. I don't know who to host. Yo, late. Yo, anus repairman is late. You late. We done. We we brewed the beer. It's done. It's in the fridge behind you. Uh huh. Yeah, you're late, man. You're late. It's already done. Yep. This is empty. This thing is empty. And uh, the beer is already in that fridge behind you. And... I can't reverse time, but you can. You can you can watch the the VOD. I missed you, man. I was waiting out for you. You said you were gonna be there. Oh no! Oh no, Drew, man. Dang, man. That sucks. Got an IPA hitting that right behind you. Oh. All I gotta do is clean this up. I'm gonna take a pressure washer to this and uh yeah yo drew yo next time you're in town during the weekend just come by we'll brew together seriously drew just come by we'll brew together dude seriously do it dude come by we'll brew a beer I'm not doing anything. I can't drive anywhere because I am intoxicated. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, dude, if you want to hang out, dude, hang, hit me up, dude. Yeah, I, I just, I can't drive anywhere. That's for sure. I don't want to, I don't want to be uh, a problem to anyone. Hit them on the roads or anything like that. No way. Nah, I'm past that point. But you know where I live? Hit me up. Come on by. Do whatever, man. It's all good. I'm all down with it. Ah, a little bit. Un, un poquito. Very small. You know.
first beer was 11 o'clock a.m. I eat you way. I mean, I've been drinking water the whole way, but I eat you way. You know? Well, I mean, back in the day, when we were at my brother's house, I know, right? <clears throat> Dude, Echo, I know, right? I know, right? I should have bought, I should have bought, um, I should have bought three packs of it. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have bought, I should have bought three packs of it. Uh, I should have replaced our. Uh, I should have replaced our need for uh, Citra with more Azaka hops. That's what I should have done. Um, that would have made more sense than what we did, because we replaced the need for more Azaka hops with Galaxy. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Galaxy. Galaxy. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah, no, no. Mosaic. Yeah, for life. For show. Oh, yeah, for sure. Welcome back to the Brood Nation! I'm here to do something so menial and unpresented that you won't even believe it. I'm gonna clean this kettle and that sight glass with tubes and pump included tonight. You will have no clue what is in store for you. I am Mr. Scott the Brew Nation here for you when I do this for you. You probably will have some idea of what is going to happen, but I am going to blow your mind. Here we go. Now, your ears are... <laughs> you need more pump action and definitely your ears are prepared for this exquisite exquisite demonstration of what happens when you are done brewing. As you can see, we have a full demonstration of amazing stainless steel power in front of you. We are going to clean those pipes like an alpha thing in, an, in a brew room. That's what we're going to do. We've got tri-clamps attached to tri-clamps attached to tri-clamps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect those tri-clamps and we're going to have an excellent night figuring out how to clean up the mess. There's a lot of things that could happen tonight and I'm going to tell you what, I'm excited about all of it. There's a lot that could happen. <laughs> I need to clean those pipes with some hot brew. Let's go out to some of the players that are happening. 
first thing, I'm gonna I'm gonna take off this piece of material right here. I've got a empty blue bucket behind me, and we're gonna use that as a safety bag. Everybody, stay calm, cause here goes everything. All right. All right. So we've got our blue bucket. We've got our stainless steel tin that is jacketed for amazing results. A little bit. Wet sock is the worst. Yes, I just got rid of that for sure. Toss that off to the side. Dude, hit me up, Echo. Dude, hit me up. And I'm not embarrassed for a bit. Yeah, a little bit. You know what I'm talking about, Nader. And uh, yeah, I got rid of my. I got rid of my wet socks. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this whole predicament and it's gonna be amazing. You guys are gonna love it. Do it. Alright. Boom. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one wants a mankini or a Budweiser. No, no, no. no. Cut it off. Cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants that. No. Alright. So.
Ooh. <laughs> the phosphoric acid will brighten their lawn. That's right. The PBW will definitely do good. As well as the as well as the five star. Oh my goodness. Yeast considerate sugar. Excellent. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything else I need to clean. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. All right, well, give me a moment. I'll be right back with new socks. And uh, I will be... Yep, I'll be back with new socks, the shoes on. I see you thinking long term there. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait. Come on. I know, right? Spiders? Come on. Come on by. You know? If you're worried about spiders, you need to come on by. There's plenty of spiders to happen, but if you're worried about my pro pain orifices, you need to you come on by. Come on! <laughs> oh, it's terrible. See you, man. Good to have you.
see, man. All right, we're all crooked. Alright, so uh, we're going to take the kettle that was on top of this bro uh, butane burner right here, and we're going to hit it with a pressure washer. Woo! Yeah, just hit it with a pressure washer. Oh, you know what I'm saying. Oh. But uh, yeah, having a good time. Very easy brew, as brewing is. If anyone has any questions, Join our Discord down below. You'll see a, a link with a blue cap. Join our Discord. Love that. Ask us any questions, anything at all. We'd be more than happy to help you out. Or if you uh, want to test us, test us. Love it. Love it. So, uh, yeah, hit us up. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll rock the dome out. Um... I'm barefoot. <laughs> I'm barefoot right now. And I'm gonna clean out this, uh, this kettle with a uh, pressure washer. I'm gonna hit it up with some heat, some electricity. We're gonna roll it out. That's what's gonna happen. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I gotta put my shoes back on, and then I'm gonna start cleaning all of this stuff. Pretty simple stuff. Clean the kettle. Uh, fermenter is in the fermentation unit, and uh, we're all good.
right, all right, all right. Dance. Thank you so much for being here. We'll, uh... Will you... Will you message me? So that we can talk about something? Yeah! shoes on get close to uh, to finishing up and yeah gonna hang it up for the night <laughs> yeah gonna hang it up for the night Thank y'all for being here. I appreciate y'all. It's been a good time. Have not had a bad time brewing here on Twitch. Oh my goodness. It's been a good one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody who joined, everybody who watched, everybody who listened. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been a good day. We have made a uh, an IPA for sure. Whether it be is whether it be an a uh, mango IPA that that takes time to figure out, but as far as I'm concerned, we made an excellent IPA. Uh, and if anyone has any uh, comments, questions, if anyone wants to compliment. Uh, do a, 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 a co-op I'm down with it so hit us up yo it's been a great time today I uh, we started bright and early at 11 11 o'clock and here we are boom it is 731 so that is a eight and a half hour stream boom baby we hitting it we hitting it off Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm all about co-op too. That's right. Me too. So, uh, hit us up, Nader. Yeah, no, hit us up. And this is it. I'm going to stop the stream. And thank you so much for being here. It's been a great night. I appreciate everyone being here. It's been a great day. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yo, so I hope everybody has a great night. Thank you, dance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you have a great night as well. Uh, peace out, y'all. Peace out. Pe peace, peace. Pe peace, peace. That's it for me. That's it for us. Brunation out. Thank you again. What an awesome day. I hope you are well where you are, and I appreciate you watching. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. This is Brew Nation out. See y'all. Ba -ba 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 -ba.